Okay, hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's, how's everyone doing today? Just got to adjust a few settings here. Yeah, we're going to be playing Medieval 2 Crusades campaign. Nice fresh install of it. And we're going to be playing as the Byzantine Empire. Now, what happens in this particular campaign fairly early on is that the Venetians show up in this area here and try to uh, sack Constantinople. So one thing I'm going to do is uh, try to prevent that from happening. And then just, you know, just try and have some fun. Do something a bit different. We haven't played this campaign in absolutely ages. Let's jump in. Uh, have I done everything? Yep. Yep. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't not tell me everything. Don't tell me anything. Okay, let's do this. The Holy Lands, Outrema, a land of faith, a land of war. Byzantium, the majestic gateway to the east and the Crusades. The Principality of Antioch, a proud crusader state and home to the Hospitallers. Jerusalem, the holy city, a kingdom forged by blood, steel, and faith. A place revered by the faithful and coveted by many. In the east, the mighty Saluks, led by Nur ed-Din, fighting to drive the accursed crusaders into the sea. And to the south rises the cunning Salah al-Din, builder of an empire. An empire ready to grind the crusaders into the desert sands. This is a time of faith. A time of battle. A time of total war. Uh, Zachary Grice did a twenty dollars super chat. Good to see a historical stream. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. So yeah, this is a uh, total war saga, uh, Crusades campaign. So it's a it's a focused campaign, um, set in the uh, the Middle East, where it stretches from uh, Constantinople all the way to Baghdad, uh, over. There, there's Baghdad. Actually, it even goes further, and to Egypt. So yeah, we're playing uh, <laughs> with, a, with a bigger scope than Total War Pharaoh here, <laughs> with more playable factions, with a DLC. This is one quarter of it that cost forty dollars <laughs> back in two thousand and six. Anyway, anyway, whatever. You know, costs are up. All right, so. Uh, what are we doing? So it's going to be... I can't remember exactly. It's, it comes in 1204, right? So we got, it. We got like, 20-odd uh, turns before they show up. Um, Constantinople's... Oh, buggery, but it's on normal unit scale. Hang on. I knew that there was something I was forgetting. Ugh, yuck. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when the fresh install all your settings go. All right, try that again. Yep, 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 yep. This. Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, oh man, the um, scrolling's really bloody fast. I got to get used to that. Okay, so what are we going to do first? Well, we're just going to sit around waiting for 1204. We're already at war with the Turks, so we'll go and do that. Uh, Turks are a pretty difficult opponent to deal with due to how many horse archers that they get. Uh, we don't even own Cyprus anymore. Okay. So looking at our finances, we're actually really rich, but I'm sure there's loads of inefficiencies here that we can tidy up. Do I have any spies? I do. Is that Smyrna? All right, let's have a look out here. All right, our first target, I think, should be Morium. Uh, garrisoning settlements out. Yeah, they've got this around the wrong way. You should have forts here and and cities out this way. Because this one's landlocked, isn't it? I actually have no idea. I haven't played this campaign in ages. It's not landlocked, actually. Okay. Just trying to get an idea of what I've got. We need to get these guys onto the land. 
and push against the Turks. Luckily, the Turks will be pretty busy dealing with the yes, my lord. Hospitalers. Uh, probably should shouldn't be having these guys here. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll uh, recruit a ship and we'll send it in. Merchant. Mm. I've only got one build slot, so never mind. Um. All right, we want to take these guys here out. And back to land, men. Yeah, get them up here. We're gonna go full aggressive. There's no real need to have large garrisons in your um, castles. Just leave, um, just leave basic troops there. Usually the AI doesn't land there, especially in the early stage of the campaign. Where are all our bloody family members? Where the hell are they? Do we do we just like not have them? Don't have many. All right, Trebizond. Okay, here's another uh, spy. Um, where? Okay, so that is. All right, well, we've got to go looking for it. Uh, DC did a five pound super check. Hey, Legend, would you consider streaming Rome 2 DEI or Parabellum? Really enjoying the time period, but can the mods override the shoddy R2 engine? Um, that is not on my to-do list at this stage, but, yes. you know, never say never, Orders. but I wouldn't hold your breath on that. But thanks for Super Chat. Uh, you can spam horse archers faster than the Turks. They need stables. You can get them straight from forts. Y yep, sure, but it's a matter of what your starting armies are, because I'm just going to go straight for it. I, I don't dick around. Uh, yeah, we want to go straight out here. Just Because yep. we've got fairly large gar garrisons yes. doing nothing. We just need to get moving. March. We can and march I'm not. I can't remember where everything is. We cannot travel there. Are you certain? No. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Probably some roads would be a good idea. Orders. Uh, what's our emperor's? Oh, okay, he's got good authority, so there's no chance that these guys here are just going to instantly Orders. defect. I don't like to roll around with like really large My Lord. garrisons because no I am an aggressive player, especially in these settlements here. If they don't have the free upkeep tag, then hell yes. no. Yes. Uh, I'm going to take all yes. of the troops from Constantinople, Orders. even though I'm expecting the the Fourth Crusade at some point. Uh, we'll we'll train up some troops yes, before Lord. then. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got a bit of time. All right, get moving. Orders. And. Yes. Get moving. Oh shit. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Hmm, okay. I probably could have besieged that, but I yes. didn't even know it was there. Majesty. Ready to trade. Alright, trade cotton or Yeah, marble seems to be better. Hello, Your Highness. Uh -huh. Very well. Sorry. Okay, too many units sitting around doing yeah, nothing. Alright, Spear and Militia can eventually get free upkeep, so I'll leave them behind. We just have to build the barracks, which we'll have to upgrade the settlement, but it's not too far away. So it's not a problem. Smyrna. Yes. Just leave behind trash, that's fine. March! Orders? Yes! We continue tomorrow, my So big advance here. Big aggressive advance. All right, let's get to building some stuff. Mines in Constantinople region will yield not much. What else is... Well, everything else has pretty much been built, so apart from the Tanner. I'd much rather go for money. Uh, it's already a huge city, so it's fine to tax it, as long as the public order's fine. It's actually not the best capital that we could have. We would be better more centralized. Our capital should be probably Nicaea. Or Nicaea. If we have a look here... Yeah, it increased our income by a little, just a little bit. But as we push further east, that's going to be more useful. In fact, probably putting Iconium over here. No, that's not Iconium. Ankara. Um, yeah, I don't know. Medieval 2 has no naval battles. That's right. There's no naval battles in Medieval 2. Empire Total War, the, the next game that came after this, was the first one that had naval battles. All right. I think I've done everything that I can for now. Well, in terms of military movements, that is. We will lower the taxes in small towns that we want to grow. Building roads in, like, 
on roads, on islands is absolutely useless. It doesn't provide anything. It just allows you to move from the the, the, ca uh, the castle to the port quicker. That's all it does. So sometimes people say, build roads first, but in islands, no. Unless there's more than one settlement on the island, which there is on Cyprus, but most other settlements don't. So another one at Iraklion and at Crete. That is another one that you don't want to build roads. There is no value in it whatsoever. Thanks for stream. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, we want to drop the taxes here. Might be quicker if I actually go through this. Um, lowering the taxes pretty much across the board. Alright, everywhere is building something. We've still got a little bit of money left over, but we need to be aggressive. Where to, sire? It's going to take a few turns to get all of our armies together. Hopefully the Turks don't hit back that quickly, but we'll see. But yeah, sitting around in your cities is of no value whatsoever. Uh, candidate for adoption, Emperor Manuel, Manuel or whatever. This guy here has dread. I like dread, so I'm going to accept that. Take rebel, rebel settlement of Quorum. That's on my way. Cool, yes. thanks for letting me know where it is. Yes, Lord. Ooh, that's a big. Okay, that's fine. Ends. Through the holy word of the prophet against the crusader states, Jerusalem. The right, okay, whatever. Oh, look who showed up! Holy crap! Is that okay? That's that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Okay. Orders? Well. Okay, uh, besiege this so they don't get away. We'll do a force draw out if we can. Uh, Patrick Mulligan did a five dollar super chat. Would like to see you and Volan have a chat over the state of Total War, his issues with Warhammer, and where you both want to see the series go, more SFO. Uh, I wouldn't rule that out, but we'll see how we go. I wouldn't rule that out though, but thanks super chat. Yes. Alright, so this is a large army, but we're actually bigger than it. It's got a lot of horse archers though, but so do we. I could get some mercenaries. But like I said, our army's bigger than it. So I reckon they'll actually run away. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall they meet won't. the enemy. Okay. Okay. Okay, we don't want any of this. Yeah. First battle of the day, big big battle. We attack! Saving disaster battle off the bat? No, it's just one we got to be careful about. We we can very much lose this. Luckily, our our king is or emperor is quite good. He's actually got a sort of magic ability, <laughs> which he um, I think he's like stuns units. All right, our reinforcements are going to show him from the other side. All right, uh, okay, how are we going to do this? Okay, how are we going to do this? Well, there's okay ground over here. Our reinforcements should be coming from over here. We should use our cavalry first. Hold the defensive possession over here, I think. Keep the flamethrowers out of it. I don't think they're going to be that useful here. Careful with him. If we lose him in the first battle, that's going to be embarrassing. These guys here, they're not going to be able to match their cavalry. So we need to go and meet up with our reinforcements. Then we should be able to match them. Uh, Expel looks at a $2 super chat. Do roads on islands increase trade or income? No. No, they don't do anything. All they do is increase your movement. Trade, the way that roads works is that you need two connecting roads in order for them to, um, to increase the trade income. So if you're on an island, the fact that you build a road there, it doesn't connect with anything. So it just doesn't do anything. Um, so if you build a, like a big road, like a highway, like Rome 1, in one region, and it's only connected by dirt roads around it, then essentially all regions have dirt roads. So you need to have equal or higher, uh, no, they need to be equal level, or else it chooses the lowest level for um, for your roads. It's it's a pretty simple system, but people do um, overrate it a lot. It's, it's powerful, but sometimes people are rushing to build roads straight away. It's, uh, it's a bit silly. You, sh you shouldn't necessarily do it. Okay. All right, we got reinforcements coming in. So we've taken a defensive position over here, but I'm going to take an aggressive position over here. Good, we've got 
horse archers coming in. That's what I was counting on. But not all of our units are coming in straight away. They've um, put horse archers on either flank. Now, a thing to note here is that this force here will not be able to uh, withhold a charge from them. Long term. So we have to hurry up if we want to do something about this. Please, please don't be bugged out. Sometimes when you come in from the corner, they bug out. It looks like it'll be okay. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're going to make it over there in time, but whatever. Alright, loose formation. Yeah, you can see they're, they're coming in hard and fast over here. I'm fully expecting to get bloody hit hard. Okay, our reinforcements are arriving. Because of the divided way in which we've organized our forces here. Yeah. You may want to might want to just stand back. If they if they, if we get overrun over here, I just want you to leave the battlefield. Okay, I want you to go around. No, no, you need to stay here and keep the morale in check. Hold out as long as we possibly can. Okay, we're overrunning their horse archers. I need to get over here. Turkish archer shooting at us. I need to charge in there. Uh, Marcuso, 92 to 2 euro super chat. Nostalgic, ME2 stream with legend. Perfection, mate. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. Don't worry about them. So, bouncer power is even at the moment. Didn't send that much out there. No, no need for a full-on attack. Okay, we're getting possibly charged here. Fall back a little bit. This is good. This is good. All right, pop this down. Not really sure what that does, to be honest. But apparently it bribes the enemy. It doesn't cost us any money on the campaign map. But apparently it bribes them so that they, um, they don't move for a short time. Good, the enemy general's getting torn to shreds with our horse archers. General. Our guys routing over here is fine, because if they get captured, well then I'll just get them back after we- hang on, we're getting caught over here. Counter charge where we can. All oh, right, our reinforcements came in with um, that formation on. Freaking skirmish mode, I hate. I pray the course of this battle. It's okay, it's just their infantry. It's okay. Because defeat seems almost Back certain. Back up a little bit. What's this? Get in there. Once we kill the enemy general, it'll make all the difference. He's almost gone. Okay, 
need to get in there. Take him out. Bring out Trebizond Archers back. Okay, start bringing out cavalry over here. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and here. abandons his men. We haven't captured him. Somebody needs to capture him or kill him. Whichever comes first. Our male infantry is holding. Need to charge into there. Oh god, come on. We've almost got him. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his Alright, we got him. We got him. Now what we should be able to do is just charge straight into them and they'll break. So once you're getting shot, get it out of here. Careful, don't want you getting killed. Even the horse archers can charge into melee now. Matt Ward did a two dollar super chat. Thanks for playing Medieval Two. It's my favorite Total War. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Okay, what we should be seeing is yeah, mass route there. With one. Twenty six percent of our troops got killed. Well, hang on, it's not over yet. Only half the enemy force remains. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Now we need to not kill 85% because we are trying to do a force draw out. So we need some of these guys to leave the battlefield. Stop running them down. Over here. Oh, we got caught by their cavalry. Otherwise, I need to release captives, which I don't want to do. Especially considering we, we captured the enemy general. Come on, we're getting pretty damn close to 85%. Uh, That's not good. Stop capturing them. Just break the rest of their army. Break them. As soon as we get that win order, we need to take it. Come on, come on, come on. What's left? What's left? Anything left? Everyone needs to stop shooting. The okay, enemy cool. Flees the 81%, battle. perfect. All of 79%, whatever. By the Good kill ratio against a pretty tough opponent to go up against straight away. Hard to hard to go up against the Turks and not take casualties. No. Good, and the drawout was successful. Our army took a beating, but worth it, worth it for sure. Orders. Okay, now to do the draw out, we need to yes. lift the siege. Yes. Crossing. I will not waste words. Right, what's in the garrison? How bad is it? A lot of horse archers. And we did lose a lot of them. Orders. All right, I have yes. to leave the infantry behind because they're not going to be able to keep up. I could hire some mercs. Orders. Yeah, worth it. Yes? Your will, your majesty. Even the army, my cool. lord. Now this time, yes, we want to wipe them out utterly. If we can manage this, then we get inside the settlement. A little bit tricky to do, considering how many cavalry they have. It's always tricky, unless it's like full of infantry. Yes? But we'll see what we can do here. St. Dylan did a 5 dollars super chat. Love the SYDCs. Like to see you play Berbers in Barbarian Invasion. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Thanks, super chat. We'll see. One thing I had about Medieval 2 is the replenishment. The of mm, fair enough. To turn uh, I don't mind. Us. We must act I just don't get attached to an in, in, uh, individual unit. You just constantly replace troops. 
But yeah, if you're looking for a more casual experience where you don't have to micro that kind of stuff, then yeah, Medieval 2 system can be a bit irritating. Alright, our reinforcements should show up from here, I think. Oh, right next to their reinforcements. Not ideal. I probably should have merged some of these units. Let's get somewhat organized. Yeah, most of our army is horse archers. Should have ran right into it. The middle of them there, trying to get organized. And their forces came in way faster than mine. My guys haven't come in yet. But without a general they can't really they can't really do much. Um, Joshua Graham did a follow up to Can you say the West in Attila again? Legend, genuinely my favorite series of yours was the WE Legendary. Uh, I'll think about it. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. A lot of guys with skirmish mode on. Wish I could turn that off from default. Can move back. Are our reinf... No, no, no. They're purple bannered, but that's because of the uh, the ability that I used. So they're actually sending their horse archers into melee. God, I gotta get organized quickly here. They're not giving us any moment to organize. Okay, these guys over here. I don't really think I'm gonna need a much move over. I guess we'll just go full melee on them. Since they don't have a commander... Wait, do they? The main army doesn't. The reinforcing one does. Okay, back off a little bit there. I don't even know where half my bloody units are. I need to get organized. I tell you what, I always find fighting Crusader units, like the uh, Christian ones, way easier than fighting the Turks. If you want to fight the Turks, the best thing to do is like just bring loads of um, long-range missile units and spearmen. Which is not what we've done here. We're fighting fire with fire. And the AI is actually fairly competent with um, like the horse archers in this. Press onward and break the spirit. Glorious heaven of I think that's a captain. Our men I think that's their general. The enemy general. For the moment, the Fortuna battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains. Right, they're, uh, they're advancing over here. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, well, what am I going to do about that? Uh, if I withdraw them from the battlefield. I just don't need my infantry here. I can win this on the cavalry engagement. Just get out of there. In fact, I need to win this just with my cavalry, or else the drawout won't work, because they're too close to the edge of the map there. Okay, could you guys just not shoot for a little bit here? Yeah, that's definitely their captain. Alright, the bouncer power slipped away from us, but it was a for a tactical reason. I did it for a reason. There's essentially only one cavalry unit left on the battlefield, which is the enemy general. My lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tide of battle seems man. to have turned against <laughs> us. 
We must act and hold this turn of events. It was a tactical decision, you fuck. Alright. Take this one out here. Alright, these guys here, they should be they should be able to just be routed. Now, the reason why I didn't want to stand and fight there is because it's the edge of the map and their general is probably just gonna smash us anyway. And we need to make sure we kill him. Best best way to do that, best way to guarantee it, is by using our horse archers and outrunning him. Problem is we're gonna be a little bit tired by the time he gets here. Come on, get back. Still got these guys harassing us a little bit. The enemy Okay, that's the first army dealt with. Run down those worthless peasants! Okay, we don't want them fighting to the death, move back. Okay, horse archers gotta get organized with them. Bounce power is fine. There's ammo effect, bounce power medieval too. Yes, but there's no army losses, so it doesn't matter about that. Yeah, you're not trying to inflict the army losses in medieval too. It doesn't exist. That was something they introduced in Empire Total War. There, there, actually, there is a dismayed by a loss of the battle, but it's not that big of a deal. We got Turkish archers here, but if I charge and no, no, let's let's just back off for a little bit. Back off. This is not ideal. If I go charging into there, their general is going to have a field day, ripping us to pieces. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? They've still got some infantry, melee infantry. We don't have to worry too much about them. Really important that we kill this guy if we want to grab the settlement. The Turkish archers are a big concern because they outrange us. Going into loose formation might help a little bit, but I don't find that to be overly useful. Recovering our fatigue would be nice, but I don't think we're going to have time. The AI seem to be pretty relentless against us here. Alright, I'm just going to charge the light cavalry in while these guys here have a bit of a rest. Because if these guys here get wrecked, that's no big deal, it's just mercenaries. While these guys want them going around the side here, going after the bodyguard. It's pretty obvious that they're targeting our general. So we'll keep them hanging back and relatively fresh as, as much as possible. Okay, that charge didn't do a hell of a lot, but it's better than nothing. Move back. I'm sure we got plenty of ammo. Yeah, you can see he doesn't care about this. He's he's going he's going for my generals. I need to keep moving back. I need to buy time. Good, caught those Turkish archers, they're out of here. Must be close to the edge of them. Yeah, we are. Okay, good. He's going after the light cav. That was silly of him because not going to catch us. Oh man, this went straight. Okay, that's weird. I actually need to go and change one of my control settings. It seems like I've got things around the wrong way with one of my key bindings. Don't do it right now, but I will need to do it to charge into this. Don't worry about chasing them, it's not important. Okay, move out of loose formation, there's no more archers left on the field. So loose formation is only going to make us fight like crap. Ugh, the unresponsiveness sometimes can really get us. Come on, you're supposed to be- they are- they are quite tired though. Okay. 
Like I said, keep focusing on the general. If we kill him, the rest of it will be easy. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Forgot to bind R to R, run to R. No, no, no. I've got Q and E around the wrong way. So when I try to rotate left, it rotates right. So I've got it around the wrong way. Easy fix, but it's annoying. It makes the camera controls a lot more <laughs> annoying than it should be. It's like, um, <laughs> yeah. Do you think province concept like Archer and Warhammer would fit with Medieval 3? Um, I actually don't have a problem with the province system. I never have. I have a problem with very small uh, number of uh, buildings, for sure. But I don't have a problem inherently with the uh, the province system. Come on, I told you no. Alright, we've, we've killed a good number of their general's bodyguard. That's good. And all of these guys here should be quite tired now. Keep it up. Yeah, our guys are exhausted. Hopefully he's getting pretty tired running after us. These guys here, they're very slow to recover the fatigue, but it is slowly happening. Slowly getting them. Although, that being said, we've barely got any horse archers left with ammo. Like, five here is not going to count for much. Okay, I'm going to bring these two in. And we're going to just charge at them. I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be able to kill them easily. Especially considering we'll have the high ground. Throw everything that we got at him. Don't give this guy a chance to escape. We have to capture or kill him. Didn't really get a charge in there, but that's okay. I should have drawn him a, a bit further away from these guys here. I think we'll get him before before they do any serious damage. Definitely keep our Emperor away. We need him. Okay, he's fighting to the death. The battle seems to there we go. We got it. It is men. Okay. Nice. Alright, and we've wiped them out, so we've captured the city. The force dryouts worked. Tough enemy to deal with, but we got the upper hand. Why are you no like Empire? It's my favorite other than brain dead diplomacy. Um look I, I get that some people really like Empire Total War. Is it, is it not acceptable that I just, I just really battle. don't? Run down those worthless peasants! The thing is, if I give you a reason why I don't like Empire of Total War, you're probably just going to get upset. And be like, oh, but I like Empire of Total War. You know? It's just not an argument worth having. Just sort of agree to disagree. We don't, we don't all have to like the same games. And we all don't have to dislike the same games. Like, if you like Empire of Total War, that's cool. I'm definitely not here trying to convince people to just... You should all like the same games I like, and if you don't, then you're fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not here trying to say that at all. 
You know, if you like Rome 2, Empire Total War, whatever. If you bloody like Pharaoh, it's all good. It's all good. I just tell you guys what my preferences are. And if they align with yours, great. And if they don't, also great. It's fine. All right. We should have wiped out both armies. This is a clear victory that goes Yeah, we got both armies. Great Absolutely right. shredded all of our horse archers. But that's okay, I'll just buy more. No. Ah! 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 We show little mercy. Alright. They deserve none. Oh god. Alright, merge. And Orders? merge. Oh, no, there's a, there's a merge. Okay. Orders. Command me. Your majesty. Name thy enemy, lord. Yes. 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 Cross All right, cool. Battle. I've captured that. The and reinforcements are on the way. My lord. Yes. Move out. Your majesty. My lord. Sire. Without a 52% chance of success. Ooh, that's not... Odds that I like is <laughs> fifty-two percent. That's like zero percent. So I don't think I'll, I'll attempt that. Okay, I need to save it and quickly switch something in the um in the key controls because I, I got it around the wrong way. It's this here. That should be E, and this should be Q. I believe. Because, yeah, it felt really off. Alright. Alright, yes. all right. All right. good. Have I tried Rome 2 in its final state? Yes, I have. Not the biggest fan. I understand why a lot of people like it. But I can't say I'm personally the biggest fan of Rome 2 in any of its states. What do you think of the princesses of Medieval 2? They're fine, I mean, they're just sort of like better diplomats. That's basically it. But that's fine, oh. nothing wrong with that. Okay, we want to put... Oh, right, I don't have a barracks here, maybe I should build that first. Uh, just leave behind the Byzantine oh, spearmen for now. Orders. Mars. Your orders? First. Yes, my lord. Orders. Orders? All right, if I go and besiege this, there's a decent chance that they'll sally out. There's only three units of horse archers, and we've got three units of horse archers plus a general. Our infantry... Actually, I think it's it's actually evenly matched in terms of numbers. I don't think they're going to sally out. There's also mercenaries we got here, which I'm pretty... I'm pretty pro mercenary in... where we shall meet the enemy. In this... Besieging settlement, my lord. Given the amount of archers, I don't think the Greek fire throw is going to be particularly useful. But it's actually not that expensive, so I'm going to get it all. Because I'm the Byzantines and I'm rich. Your Majesty. Ready to trade. Yes, your orders. Ah, look at this. We don't have any castles out here. Our only castles at Smyrna. Oh, and Rhodes. This is exactly where we don't want them. The... You want your castle troops to be dealing with the uh, the Crusaders yes, when they come. And that's going to take ages to recruit them from there. I mean, I can get started on it. Right, you get yes. down there and start picking them up. I think not I might switch now, one of these man. settlements to a castle. Uh, not Nikea. Not... What about Abydos? It is a very small settlement. This one here actually will translate its um, buildings one to one. So yeah, we'll switch that over to be a wooden castle when, when this is finished. We, we still got a few turns, but we really need to make sure we got a lot of troops here because I think there's four full stacks, and while it's mostly mostly infantry, uh, we've got to try to be ready. Hello, your highness. All right, let's have a looky here. Let me strike, my lord. Yeah. Your Majesty. Uh, Adam did a photo submission. Hey Legend, what are some tricks I can do to learn what the AI does in campaign, both modern and classic Total War? Just, you got to keep an eye on their behavior. That's all. There, there is no tricks to it. You just got to, you know, in certain situations, you'll notice that they usually do something. And so it's a, it's a, it's an experimenting game where you trial and error. Um, if I was to sit here and tell you every single scenario 
that we'd be here all day. You just need to figure it out for yourself. Sire. You'll never bloody remember if I sit here explaining it. And for the most part, I wouldn't really be able to just spew it off by heart anyway. I just got to um, go off muscle memory for the most part. Uh, wasn't there supposed to be a settlement around here? Or was it... Oh, no, that's one there. So this one's the best here. Or oh, Theodopolosopolis. Orders? I don't know where the settlements are. Sire, without a trace. And without a road to I guide me, I don't today, know where to go. Lord. I'm gonna go... Uh, I feel like Orders? it's there, but I don't know. Move out! Alright, finances. Yeah, we're still making decent money. Alright, let's do it with construction. Nothing to do here. Okay, a little bit to do. Yep, we need to get that population popping. Hey man, have you seen the new Manor Lords trailer? The battles are actually pretty large, what do you think? Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I don't think it's a Total War killer, but a lot of people are saying it's going to be the Total War killer, but we'll see. I will definitely have a go of it, for sure. For sure. Okay, these guys here, they haven't actually moved this turn. We may encounter another Turk army, so why don't we send these Turkmen just to go and have a look. We can use... How good is it to just use a single damage unit as a scout, so you don't get caught in an absolute clusterfuck? Onward! All right, looks like we're we're safe to move. Orders, Sultan. Orders. March, march. Yes. Move out. Yes. Orders. Your Majesty. March. Bringing our troops together. I need to get some money back. That needs to be. Your will. Recruited. Orders. Your will. Onward. We continue tomorrow, my lord. Let me strike, my lord. My lord. Very good, my lord. Where to, sire? Your majesty. Okay. Orders. Yes! My lord. Okay, a few troops in here, but we'll see how we go. I think I had trained a merch. No, I didn't train a merch in there. I need to free up a little bit of money. Maybe recruit one of the cheaper ones here. Yeah, that's a bit cheaper. That works for me. Put them in the queue so that they actually start replenishing. Because I need 800 gold so I can purchase that to help with public order here. Uh, funny thing is, I think making this settlement the capital may actually be the best choice for us. If we have a look at things financially, we're at minus 2172. Yeah, it improves things. It improves things. And that'll help with our public order there as well. Because you want to have a, your, your um, capital at the centralized position. What is the Byzantine flamethrower unit in the expansion? It's it's a literal flamethrower. Yeah. Yes. That's that's what they've got. They they use Greek fly uh, Greek fire. All right, cool. Let's move on next one. Oh, I forgot to move that army. Yeah. My bad. How many hours do I have in Medieval 2? It's hard to say because majority of my gameplay in Medieval 2 has been on the disc version. I did make... Yeah, I did yes. make that stuff. Okay. Another, another friggin' gigantic mega fuck-off army has shown up. Mmm. Yes? Okay. The thing is, if we hold the bridge, we should be able to beat them, though, with this guy. He doesn't have much... In the way of the Sultan will be command, neither does that guy. Your, your will, command me, sire. Yeah, this is the thing about the Crusades campaign. You go up against massive armies right from the get-go. As you wish. No, none of this like Today's tiny small army bullcrap. Yes, my lord. Full sails. Okay. Orders. They'll be able to besiege that this turn, but I don't think they should. They're, they're reinforcements for these guys. This yes. guy here, that army's bigger than us, but it's just garrison, so Orders. we should be okay. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Plus, it's such a wooden palisade that's usually fairly easy to deal with, although they've got a lot of Turkish continue. archers. 
So that that could be a bit of a challenge. I may need the, the other cavalry yes. there. Again, trying to find the settlement out here. I'm just not... Okay, there it is. Cool, cool, cool. Wasn't sure where it was. I had a hunch, but we found it. Yes? Yes! Crossing for battle! Besieging settlement, okay. my lord. Is it time to take the walls, my lord? Okay. Name that your majesty. Your will. Yes? Alright, so I think what we should yes? do here is... Hold the bridge crossing. Now, if I bring Emperor Manuel over here, or Manuel, I don't know, then they're not going to attack us. We want them to attack us on the bridge, so we need the balance of power to be in their favor. What we need here, this is a situation where I don't need horse archers, I need melee infantry and long-range archers. So it might be a good idea to send these Trebizond archers to come and help in reinforcements, so they're not going to make it all the way. Let me strike, my lord. Orders. So you just stand there. March! You yes. come back here. Leave this Name thy enemy, Lord. The flamethrower could be really helpful. Let's send it over. Move out. Combining force. Yes. Your Majesty. Onward. Oh, piss. We Whatever. This is reinforced. Uh, Nepite did a five dollar super Hey, Legend. Thanks for the Medieval Two stream. Also, did you ever play Kingdom's Grand Campaign for Medieval mod for Medieval Two? I did not. No. Thanks for the chat, though. I appreciate it. What operating system do you have? On my Windows 10, Medieval 2 crushes every damn time. I've got it on Windows 10. I've never had any problems with Medieval 2 on Windows 10. So I don't know what's happening there for you. Alright, now as for him... I think we should try to go around. Maybe head down towards Iconium. This actually is a good place to build a um, watchtower there. So we want them to, to attack us. The balance of power should be in their favor. But strategically, I think it's in our favor. Tactically, I think it's in our favor. This guy here... Just chill. Don't move at all. Like, just there will be fine. The Sultan will be most uh, Thomas Gannon did a twenty dollars per share. First time seeing you with the webcam. The face is just as sexy as the boys. Getting off since it's almost seven a.m. here. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Toggle some fog of war. I always love that shit. Now nah, that's cheating. Do that at the end of the stream. Orders. That's cheating, dude. My lord. Yes. Onward. Yes. Your orders. Uh... Okay, you know what? Yes, I'm gonna sir. just drop these guys off Locking here. Course now, my lord. Move out. Yes. Your orders? And we'll raise up a bit more force. And Locking we'll send something now, over here. Because I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be rebel controlled. And we can actually recruit pretty good troops from here. I just I just need money. Uh, John Calabro did a ten dollar super chat. Thank you for the content. No worries, dude, it's my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. So these ones here, we're training forces to go and get on this ship and be ready for the fourth crusade. Uh, we're making about six grand a turn. Uh, we've still got this settlement here to a strike. Let's go do it. I don't think this should be a problem. Yeah, we, we got we got uh, we got long range archers. They don't have long range archers. Should be fine. The troops are assembled. Prepare for battle! Uh, T, did a final super chat. Did you ever play DEI Rome 2? And if so, your thoughts? I did. Um, it's not for me. It's it's one of those things where I understand why a huge part of the community likes DEI. I gave it a shot. There's a series on the channel about DEI. I did not have fun. I didn't like it. Um, and it, I think it's not DEI's fault. I think it's... This is a moment. I think it's because I just don't like Rome 2. So it's just not for me. So I, I get that there's been a lot of people asking me to cover DEI. Like, oh my god, Legend's covering historicals again. Get him to do DEI. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's on the agenda. Yeah, that's not on the agenda. I'm saying I won't do it. But you're really going to have to twist my arm to get me to do it. I'm going to stick to the historical Total War games that I really enjoy, which is Rome 1, Medieval 2, maybe Shogun 2. But if I start playing um, Total War games that I actively dislike, then I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, 
I don't know if I want to go through the gate. I usually like going through the corners. Two towers there. There's only one. actually this this position here seems a bit better. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Doesn't matter about the formations, we'll reorganize as we go. Alright. Alright, alright. You start making your way up here. Let's get our archers over here. What about Attila Ancient Empires? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Is it a problem with Rome 2 campaign or battles? I, I've got lots of different problems with Rome 2. Um, the the biggest problem I have with Rome 2, though, is the battles. But like I said, I don't want to really get into all the reasons why I don't like Rome 2. It's just going to upset people. And I've already gone over this stuff loads of times before. If you like Rome 2, that's cool. I really don't have any problem with people liking Rome 2. But the game is not for me. It's lagging again. It's not my end. Look, it's not at my end. If we have a look... Oh, that's not going to show it because... I'm on game capture mode, not desktop mode. Um, zero dropped frames. The lag is not me. Maybe you need to upgrade your computer. Is Shogun 2 stream in the pipeline? Maybe. Maybe. Shogun 2 is not one of my favorites. But I'm not going to rule it out. Uh, they're just going to sit in, this, in the town square, are they? Yeah, the Q and E's been fixed now. It's rotating the right way. <laughs> I keep going up here trying to find the uh, speed up button, but it's down here. My bloody Warhammer instincts. All right, if they're hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. what's coming in? All right, we got a bunch of Kurdish auxiliaries coming in, and our archers should rip them to shreds. Do these guys here have shields? Yeah, they do, but only small ones. What's their shield value? Five. Okay. If they activate that tower, they're gonna get shot. You gotta turn them off fire at will sometimes, because otherwise they actually don't stop shooting. It can be very frustrating. But one of the worst things about Medieval 2 was actually the unit responsiveness. It's really bad. But if you learn all the quirks, you can get around them. One Shogun 2 doesn't interest you. Look, it's it's not that Shogun 2 does anything badly. It's that I prefer other Total War games. You know, it's just not my favorite. I don't I don't really have anything that I don't like about Shogun 2. It's just not my preferred Total War game to play. Don't miss my, your super chat. Sorry, it must have gone up real quick. Uh, Mesut Murat did a TRY55 super chat. Hi, Legend. It's great to see Medieval 2 from you. Keep the, them coming in. Also, sorry, I'm also Turk, but in this campaign, crush the infidels. Winky face, lucky stuff. All right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, look. Sometimes people with this game, they get uh, very nationalistic. Um... Please don't. <laughs> but yeah, it's good that you're not. Uh, CGE Me Me Mecco did a five years super chat. Do you think Medieval 2 has aged well enough for new players who started with newer Total War games? No, not really. It's it's really starting to show its age. Um, like the, the core gameplay of Medieval 2 is excellent, but it has a lot of... Um, it's got a lot of jank to it now. It's got a lot of jank. And I think that's its biggest flaw. Like... I can play it, because I grew up playing this game, but I think if I was to pick up this game in 2023, you'd really have to... You'd have to forgive a few things, like the jankiness of it, but in terms of like how the battles play out, it's it's really quite good. Um, so I would... I would... I would still recommend Medieval 2 in 2023, I suppose, yeah. But I think it's important to note that it's just not not for everyone. But then again, no Total War game is. I mean, the community is so divided now. If I did a poll about which Total War game is your favorite, you know, we're going to have like 20% people say Rome 2, 40% will say Warhammer, 
10% will say Empire, 20% will say Medieval 2. I don't know if I've gone over 100%, but the, the point is that it's like an even, not an even distribution, but there is a, a decent distribution among all the Total War games. One thing that you probably aren't going to find, though, is people that say Troy or Pharaoh as their favorite. That'll be more like 1% or 2%, which is really telling, considering those are the newest Total War games. If Three Kingdoms, I might do a Three Kingdoms campaign, I've been thinking about that. I really didn't give Three Kingdoms that much of a chance back in the day. Oh my god, he's cheese and che sieges. Siege and cheeses. Pharaoh's on for about 20 hours? Yeah. Well, one thing about Medieval 2 is that, like, the base game's fine, but there is, like, an infinite amount of mods out there. Well, not really infinite, but there are so many mods out there that you can very easily get thousands of hours of gameplay out of it, which is, I know, what a lot of people are looking for. Not everyone. Some people just want to spend a hundred bucks and play a game for, like, five hours and be like, good enough for me. And if that's the case, this, this isn't for you. But yeah, Medieval 2 will give you bang for buck, without a doubt. Rome 1 and Medieval 2 have bang for buck, although Rome 1 is definitely showing its age. Unfortunately, the remaster, in my opinion, did absolutely nothing to bring... Well, did very little, I suppose, to bring Rome Total War into 2023. Which is a shame, because I really love Rome Total War, but it's, it's so janky. So bloody janky. Especially the pathfinding. I actually tried playing some Rome Remastered the other day, and I'm just like, oh my god, the pathfinding is so bad. It was fine when it was the newest Total War game, because there wasn't anything better. But in terms of pathfinding, Total War has really come a long way. Alright, well... Most of what's left are missile units. We're, we're easily going to win this, but I'm just worried about how many casualties we're going to take. Yeah, using a lot of ammunition to kill one or two men here. Let me stop. Alright, let's break down the gate. If you break down the gate, you don't have to pay anything to repair the gate. But if you break down the wall, you do. So I'm being super stingy here, but since they're not controlling this area, why bother? I don't think bringing in the Greek fire thrower is a good idea here. Uh, they're just going to get torn to shreds by these by Turkomans. You want guys with shields charging. Legend, even in Medieval 2, units don't route with three people remaining. Depends on the situation. Medieval 2 is all about situational um, stuff. You can route a full unit with no damage if you do all the right things. Now, these guys here... We've got to keep in mind, we are playing on very hard battle difficulty, but also these are high quality units, and also they're inside of a settlement, and their general hasn't been killed, and they're fresh uh, in terms of their fatigue. If you tire out a unit, if you kill the enemy general, and if you flank a unit, that unit may have taken no damage whatsoever, and you may completely shatter it. Um, so everything is situational in Medieval 2, the way it should be, actual tactics. But yeah, if you're just shooting at some guys, they're probably not going to rout. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. Uh, Budget gave me the two euro super chat. Hi, Legend. Did you play DAC mod for Medieval 2? Um, I have played it before. Uh, yeah, I have played it before. Thanks for super chat. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave That's not team. one of my favorite mods. It makes the gameplay really slow, and I'm not super fond of slow game. Our soldiers slow paced gameplay, but uh, I can understand why people like it. It's just, it's just not for me. Now. Every time I play it, I'm just like, oh my god, I just want it to be over. It's like, drag this campaign out forever, why don't you? I know that's going to piss off a lot of people. Alright. Horse archers don't perform great inside of a settlement. We've also got this guy here tanking the... We're trying to tank the... Horse archers. Okay, that's it.
Alright, if they're shooting at the general's bodyguard, that's best, because they're not going to pierce my armor, especially when they're shooting from that angle. So you won't like stainless steel then? Stainless steel does slow down the gameplay, but not to an extreme degree. Like, Divide and Conquer really slows things down. Um, but like I said, if you like Divide and Conquer, that's great. It's just not for me, necessarily. You know, I've just, I've played it. It's cool, whatever. Uh, it's not one of my favorites. Problem is, with, with some of these mods, that some people are so attached to them, that if you say anything against them, if you say, it's not my favorite, they're like, how dare you not have the same favorite as me? Which is really, really an odd behavior to have. Okay, they're shooting at my infantry. I need to I need to push in harder. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, okay, they're victory not will be ours. The way I wanted them to. I gotta do it individually. Okay, just wanted them to get their missile attention. Keep pushing in there. I think we're going to take a lot of casualties. Our men have slain the <coughs> There's no way not to take lots of casualties when dealing with horse archers, really. This is a very dangerous unit. Yeah, we got to use up ammunition, take out their infantry, and now they're doing the same to us. What you want to do with melee infantry is not just give attack orders because they're very slow. You want to push forward, attack, push forward, attack. Otherwise, they just don't advance quickly enough and you're going to get shot to shit. How's their morale holding? Okay, we need to get in closer to them. Push in, attack. That's it. Do you prefer Romance or Records in Three Kingdoms? I definitely prefer Romance mode because the Records is watered down. Blooded. They have lost half their men. But there's def there's definitely things I don't like about Romance mode. It's just that Records mode is just it's just really bare bones. They should have added some features to it to make it stand out from Romance mode. All they did was remove single entities, which I just don't think is a big deal. Yeah, they're shooting at these guys here. That's fine. This we got lots of armor, and he's usually the first one to not the first one to die. Yeah, we're getting them bit by bit. We're getting them. Most of their horse archers are gone now. Will there be a return of the legend mod? Nah. Nah, I did everything that I wanted to do with that mod. This is a very basic mod. And you're all free to just download it and um, tweak it as you see fit. A, lot, a few people did that. But it was just a, just trying some stuff out, that's all. I don't have time to sit there and like mod. It takes a long time to properly make a mod. It's not like a five minute a day sort of thing. You're gonna sit there for hours, or else you lose track of what you're doing. It doesn't seem like they seem to be shooting very much now. That's what we want to see. Our melee infantry should be able to overcome it. They're actually doing a pretty de damn decent job, considering it's very hard battle difficulty. Pretty damn decent, I think. Do you think it even matters if CA make Medieval 3 at this point? Personally, I don't think they're capable of producing quality games anymore. Okay, so that's a good question. Given that this battle is essentially over, we just need to finish things off. It's actually a good time for it as well. Medieval 3. Let's just let's just do a bunch of hypotheticals. Let's just say that Medieval 3, made by Creative Assembly in 2024 or 2025, and it's like complete shit. 
it'll still sell like absolute crazy. It'll be another, let's just say, it's another Rome 2. Really bad launch, everybody hates the game, but it sells like friggin' 5 million copies, right? Because some people just want a return to the medieval time period. Now, I would say that there is a chance of that happening. Because, as far as I'm aware, they're not making serious updates to their technology. And so, the people actually making the game are dealing with tech debt. Um, which limits their creativity in these games. But I think that Creative Assembly understand that sh surely, like, it's, it's hard to give Creative Assembly the benefit of doubt, considering the last couple of days, right? But surely they understand that they cannot fuck up a Medieval 3. There's just no chance of, of recovering from that. If you, if Creative Assembly screws up Medieval 3 and makes it like a Rome 2, that is the end of Creative Assembly. That, that is just the end of them. They will Grace never the recover Saints. from that. Our yeah. men have taken control of the city. Except with a, I guess with a total war in the 40k. We have lost Maybe. Control of the city. So Creative Assembly surely knows that they cannot rush Medieval 3 out the door. It has to, oh shit. It has to be good. Which is why I think that Medieval 3 is not necessarily coming in the next two years, but it is coming eventually. Because Creative Assembly, they, they, need a, they need a big title to win people over. They've seen now that these smaller uh, saga titles don't work, and they can't just trick people into thinking it's a major historical Total War game. The, the Total War community is not that dumb. Yeah, it really, it really goes to show just how little Creative Assembly thinks of, <laughs> of us all. That they try to pull this kind of bullshit. Oh yeah, Pharaoh. It's a major historical Total War game. Uh, no it's not. <laughs> uh, what is it about it that makes it a major historical Total War game? If it looks like a saga, smells like a saga, but it doesn't cost the same as a saga, guess what? It's still a saga. Our men have taken control. Curses! Our men no longer command the city! They don't necessarily need a new engine, but they need to fix the engine, but they won't really put significant time into it. That's that's what I was saying, yeah. Like, building a new engine from scratch isn't necessarily what they need to do, because they've shown with games like Warhammer 2 and Shogun 2 that you can actually get really good games out of this fucking engine. Um, it's still not a great engine, don't get me wrong. But you can make a great game from the Warscape engine. But you've got to tidy it up. And we're seeing the problems now with Warhammer 3, that the engine is just... It's collapsing in on itself. Would you like to see another Gunpowder Total War game? I have no problem with any time period with... Or any fantasy period that Creative Assembly could make. I just want them to do a good job. So Gunpowder game? Sure. It's not my preferred. My preferred time period is classical ancient Rome. You know, the, the Rome 1 and Rome 2 grand campaign, right? From 272 BC to 14 AD. That is just... That's what I live for, right? Problem is, I don't like Rome too. <laughs> uh, then my second preference is medieval uh, time period. This is a clear victory that goes Good kill to all men of great. What a paradox made one. If paradox uh... made a good, like total war successor, Creative Assembly is finished. Absolutely finished. The day is ours. The enemy but then again, it has to be a good one. They can't just like do a half-assed run and expect that to work. So, but if, yeah, Creative Assembly is finished if that happens. Yes. They'll never recover. Because they're so far behind uh, their tech compared to um, Paradox, in my opinion. The only thing that Creative Assembly truly has going for it is that it has a monopoly. We've seen now that it just can't really compete with other things. And when it tries to, they either waste a shitload of money or it costs too much for them to actually make it. Like, for example, Alien Isolation, right? A really great game, for sure. But it actually cost as much as a, as what they made in the game to make. Maybe they made a little bit of revenue. Um, so it's not super profitable for them to um, do that. I don't know. I don't know. I think Creative Assembly's got some tough times ahead of them. And I don't think that slamming down the hammer on the forums is a good first start that's that's really stupid it like it, in my opinion what creative assembly should be doing is radio silence just go fucking quiet don't talk shut up for six months don't say a fucking thing okay zip it don't say a thing okay because anything that you say is usually stupid or just going to fuel the flames just don't say anything and just focus on getting to work make 
content for Warhammer 3 and focus on your next historical total war game, don't say anything. Okay, anything that they say now is just it's just uh, it's just gonna add fuel to the fl flame. Name thy enemy, Lord. <laughs> There's nothing that they can say that people are going to accept, in my opinion. Orders. Yes. Orders. Yes. Crossing for battle. Uh, can always hire the mercenaries nowhere, next time. But yeah. I mean, people have been asking for transparency yes. with Creative Assembly, but yes, here's the problem. And I agree that they should be transparent, enemy. but at the same time, time if they're transparent, Lord. we find out just how shit they've been. So, you know, they, they should just, just be quiet. This is a humbling time for Creative Assembly now. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. So we get a whole bunch of units over here, and then we'll sail them this way. It would be good to have a general, but it's not essential. Alright, Constantinople. Hmm. Ooh, for engine guard. Okay, but they're still increasing, so maybe not right now. It's not essential that we build stuff at Constantinople right now. It's already pretty well developed. It's not going to make that much more money. I was more so asking if you think that they are capable of producing a quality game, even with the legacy and nostalgia attached to Medieval 2. What? Yep. I, I tried to answer that as best as I could. It's just not a simple yes or no answer because if I answer it with a real simplistic answer it'll always be taken out of context so I try to be as very specific as possible so that you kind of get what I'm talking to the short answer is yes I think they can do I think they will eh, flip a coin basically 50 50 chance um, John Calabro did a five dollar super chat Rome 2 I lost a lot of faith in them it should have been good I did buy Warhammer after watching it on your channel yeah fair enough um, yeah, look, Rome 2 is a weird one because it is good, but it's not as good as it should have been, and it's not the same as Rome 1, which a lot of people were just expecting like a higher graphics Rome 1, which we kind of got with Rome Remastered, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's a weird thing, because Rome 2 is good, because a lot of people still play to this day, and even if I personally don't like it, or you personally don't like it, it did what it needed to do eventually got there okay so we sh hopefully we'll be seeing them attack God's us over the end turn traveling with God Leave we will see infidel. your will. problem is this guy is not a great commander the Sultan will be most pleased at your demise infidel mm, get ready to, get ready to plug your butts okay hang on let yes. me just check is there mercenaries on this side? Oh yeah, I'm a s oh. No, I need to steal those mercenaries. Actually, no, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, even if he gets it, he's got a full stack, doesn't he? infidel, or face the might of Islam. Yes. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. We'll just do the best we can. If we get defeated there, well, we'll take as many of them down with us. And we've always got Manuel over here, which we'll we'll redirect. Okay. 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 Yep. Okay. Moving on. I forgot to move Anna. And this army here, I forgot to move it. Good thing I gave them long move orders. Alright, are they gonna do it? 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 I want them to do it. I've set on the bridge specifically so that they'll do it. Nah, they're cowards. Uh, nah, I still want my princess. Uh, he had a lot of dread, but Your I still Majesty. want him. Happily, my lord. I forgot to Order. move these guys as well. Too used to Warhammer. One turn until available. Do we have anyone here yes. that we could use? Orders. Let's use a Byzantine Spearman. Yes. Yes. Anyway, it's probably good for these ones to catch up because there's a lot of enemies to deal with up this way. Move on. Yes. Onward. Name thy enemy, Lord. Alright, if we were to attack him, Orders. I wouldn't be able to bring this one in as reinforcements. The Sultan will be most pleased, your wife. Yes! 
Bringing our troops some of these units. A little bit. And then maybe the AI recognizes that a river crossing is not the best call for them. Maybe they recognize it. Who knows? Alright. Wooden walls upgrade. So the large town walls are my least favorite to assault. But I think we've got enough here that we should be able to overcome this pretty easily. We've also got some mercenaries here, which... Uh, money is coming in okay, so yeah, I'm not going to do that. And yeah, I'll get the Allen. Whatever. Whatever. If I can yes. afford it, I'll just do yes. it. It's all good. Crossing for battle. Men, bring our people honor, glory. Uh, what did you think about Broken Rampart's Medieval 3 project? Will he be able to make it? I saw the unit cards. It's amazing. I'm definitely rooting for him, um, for sure, but unit cards is, like, not a a thing to judge the game on. Like, are are the actual battlefield tactics going to be able to compete with Medieval 2? Um, I'm, I'm rooting for him, for sure. If he does it, that is going to have my full endorsement, absolutely. But it's a it's a big task. But, yeah, good, on, good luck to him, for sure. I really want to see how the tactical battles uh, play out. But, yeah. I'm definitely rooting for him. And here's, here's really like the state of the total war, really. When you've got people rooting for inde inde uh, independent developers to like overthrow Creative Assembly. Creative Assembly really should be reading the room now and realize just how bad people want them to do better or, or die, basically, <laughs> as a company. It's really bad. If I was Creative Assembly, I would be sweating bullets right now. Not friggin' shooting people down at the forums and DMCAing YouTubers. None of that is gonna make any difference. Okay. Right, we just gotta see where their weakest defenses are, which I think it's over here. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Okay, this is where we're going. I usually like to put the ladders up on the walls. Manalord is coming next year. What's your opinion? Um, I don't think Manalord is going to be a total war killer. I definitely think it'll be a interesting game, for sure. I definitely want to give it a go. Um, but the focus on Manalords is city building, not tactical battles. But we'll see. We'll see. I think it'll be more akin to sort of like a mountain blade experience than a um, than an actual total war game. Don't forget about my second princess. I didn't even know I had one. But yeah, you're right. I should look into that. Sorry, when I alt tab it, stops the music. CA is sweating band hammers now. Yeah. Yeah. And did you did you see? Great Book of Grudges made a good video on this. Oh my god, did you see the response that they did? Oh my god. Oh fucking They've shown their true colors now. The funny thing is that response that they got, the right to um, comment is a privilege. That's basically the attitude I've been dealing with for like the past two years. That sort of extreme pompous up themselves, we're in charge here, you don't get to say anything peasant. That's what I've happened to be dealing with for, for two fucking years. Which was weird, the previous two years, like 2021 and 2022, no, 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 2020 and 2021, those were good years with Creative Assembly. They were honestly really responsive to uh, feedback. At least I think they were. The and it was good communication. But then fucking 2022 hit. And it was like, fall. let's do a 180 and just go full full crap. I just don't know what got into them with that. I think these guys here are coming off the walls. You need to go around there and support them. See, I tell you, non-stop self-inflicted L's right now. It's utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous what they're doing.
Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. Do you think new people came in and changed the culture up there or what? I have no idea. I have no idea what happened. Everybody's noticed it now though. They've shown their true colors. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. All right, so this unit here is just a town militia. Okay, this one would easily smash it. These are desert cavalry, which means they have javelins. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. And Turkomans. Okay, I'm gonna need you to come over here as well. Because, yeah, this is probably gonna hurt. Give attack and move orders constantly, because we're gonna get shot to shit really quick. You can see here. We remain true and wholehearted. Victory will be ours. Ugh. Oh, well, good thing they're only mercenaries. <laughs> they can rip to shreds. We're ripping them to shreds as well. How are we going over here? I really need these guys to hurry up and shoot over here. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, need them over here. Need the morale boost. Okay, this one's now free to get up here. Ah, damn it. They broke my dude. They hit me in the rear. Like I said before, a near full strength unit can get routed in this game. Unfortunately, I just didn't get here in time. It's okay. Those guys will survive as long as we win the battle. So, route getting routed is not a big deal if you're going to win. Yeah, that unit is fucked. Okay, these guys are ready to start shooting. Let's do that. Alright, while that's going on, they're distracted. We should... No, they're still over here. Alright, let's see if we can pull out their cavalry so we can fight them out here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And it looks like that's not going to work. Oh well, that's fine. At least they're over here and not elsewhere. Our men have reached the wall. Oh, hang on, it's working. Hands. It's working. We're pulling them out. It's good. Sorry. Do you feel that Orthodox factions are underpowered because no Crusade or Jihad? Yes. Well, it depends on how you look at it. Um, the Crusade mechanic is kind of busted in how powerful it is in Medieval 2. There's no doubt about that. The, uh, the Orthodox factions are supposed to make up for it with really versatile uh, unit blessed. rosters, which they do have, the for sure. Is dead. We have sent the idiot to but hell. is that enough to compensate them for the, the absolute powerhouse that is a, a Crusade? In my opinion, no. But the thing is about a single player game is that it doesn't really matter if there is an overpowered race or an underpowered race, as long as it's fun. And if there was ever anyone that was supposed to seem really powerful but is actually underpowered due to missing a core mechanic, it should be the Byzantine Empire, I suppose. Okay, there's only town militia. They actually don't have bonus versus cavalry. Yeah, they got, they got nothing in their description. Their attack is reasonably high, though. So you got to watch out. Even though they don't have a bonus versus cavalry, they sometimes do just because of the animation. There we go. They route one of our units, re route one of theirs. Will you, uh, will you cover mods like Warcracked Total War, Elder Scrolls Total War, Warhammer Total War mod for Medieval 2? 
Um, Battle is in our favor. I'll think about it. It's definitely not something I'm going to commit to that straight away. Victory will be ours. I'll think about it. Okay, definitely want to get these Turkish archers, but I want to avoid these spear militia. They've blocked me off here now. I'll have to go around this way. They do actually have a bonus versus cavalry, but significantly less than actual spears. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. I always thought that they were decent against cavalry, despite it not saying that they've got a bonus. Any chance you'll play Rome 2? There is a chance. There is a chance that I'll do a Rome 2 campaign. But here's the thing that I want people to understand. Um, I play Rome 2 in a way that people really don't like watching me. And so that's why I've sort of not really wanted to cover Rome 2 very much, because the way I play Rome 2 is, in my opinion, pretty efficient, but it's, it's a very boring watch, because I understand the way that this game is broken, and so what ends up happening is I end up not fighting very many manual battles, I, fight, I, I do a lot of auto resolves, Only because the game is the busted, and they never fixed it. So, and the thing is, if I was to play it the way people would want me to play it, I would end up rage quitting because I fucking hate the way the battles play out in that game. The melee cheats that the AI gets on harder difficulties in the early stage of the game are so frustrating to deal with. And then when time you get your really good units, it trivializes everything. So there's, there's big problems with Rome 2 in terms of covering it on this channel. It's it's not a good game to cover. Sorry. Is stream stuttering for anyone? Shouldn't be stuttering for you. I'm not got zero drop frames. All right. Cool. All right. All that's left are melee infantry now. I think this went, apart from this, this went pretty well. And like I said, I'll just get all those units back. That's why I don't really mind it when a unit gets mostly captured, as long as I'm going to win. What about the Total War genre? Do you think it's still strong or dying out? Mm. Mm. It's look, it's still strong. It's still strong. There's definitely still a demand there. It comes down to this. All right, th that's actually a really good question. Talking about is Total War strong, there's many different aspects to that. That is a really good question. So do I think that people are ever going to stop playing Total War games? No. I think for the most part, Total War games, even if no new Total War games are ever made, it'll still maintain, like, across the board, like, thirty to 40,000 people concurrently playing it, which is a lot of people. Um, but what might end up happening is Creative Assembly might go out of business because they have to keep selling new games in order to get revenue. Because these games, once you buy them, they're not live service games. You don't need to pay for a subscription. You don't need to pay for mods. You know, if they can't sell stuff to you, Creative Assembly will go under. And what will end up happening is no great Total War game that could potentially show up um, will. So do I think that the future titles are going to suffer due to Creative Assembly's decisions? Absolutely. Unless if the next historical total war game is not medieval 3 empire 2 or world war 1 maybe i think that the sales are going to be less than what they've projected and if they even attempt to do a mesopotamia total war <laughs> saga i think they should just scrap that idea i've heard that that's on the table but i think they should just scrap it um it's clearly not working and they need to do a good job of it because people's patience is running thin especially with the historical side of things but if, they're, if they are truly making a Warhammer 40k Total War game, then that will sell no matter what. Even if it's garbage, it'll sell. So there is still a big hunger for Total War games. 
but Creative Assembly's got to realize at some point that that they're poisoning their own waterhole with their behavior, and that they're the only ones that are really going to suffer from it if they keep this up. The thing is, nobody really wants them to suffer. They just we're not we're just not going to reward bad behavior. Okay, that is not going to rout because they're going to have one troop still in the in the settlement. Come on, be a bit more responsive, please. Yeah, I thought so. Need a scrap saga? Well, I don't. I actually don't agree. I think that they can do saga games, but Praise the Almighty. they need to. Our um, enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. <sighs> it's not. It's not a brand that I particularly like within Total War at all. But I think sagas can work. This is a clear victory. But what you need is a better foundation. Like, they keep making saga games of bad Total War games. So it's like, uh, you're, all you're doing uh, is polishing a turd. It's, it's not going to work. If you had, like, let's take Medieval 2, right? Did you know that the expansion for Medieval 2 is essentially four victory. saga games? <laughs> because, like, the, what, what are we playing here if not a saga? You know, you have a look at, at the Crusades campaign. It fits all the criteria for a saga. It is a focused campaign, focused in a small area with a, a, a particular theme. It has fewer factions than the than the base campaign. It uses the exact same mechanics as a, as a previous Total War. It's essentially a mod of a Total War game. This this campaign here is a saga game. Um, but the thing is with this one is that it was built off a good foundation because Medieval 2 is good, right? Really good. Fantastic even, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Anyway. Um, and so if you build a saga game of a game with a great foundation, you can totally do that. So if you make Medieval 3, right, and it's amazing, and then you do um, Crusades Total War, a Total War saga or some shit like that, and it's like reasonably priced. I'm not talking $90, right? And that's ridiculous. But you make Crusades like a mini campaign. Instead of making it DLC, you make it a, a full, like a, a saga game, and you can you can sell that for... $40, maybe $30. Um, as long as you have some changes to it that make it at least slightly different from the, the from the base medieval uh, 3, if they were to do that. But if you take Troy, right, and then you just mod that and then go, here's the next major historical Total War game, it's Pharaoh. And it's like, it's just from here, although admittedly further down south, just from here to there. And all the factions more or less play the same. It's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I mean, I, I could have told them... Like, if, if I was sitting there in a boardroom meeting when they were discussing the idea for Pharaoh, I could have very easily told them that this game wasn't going to sell. In fact, when they announced the game, I knew straight away this was, a, this was not going to work. Straight away. Because I know what works with Total War games and what's don't. And what don't. And I predicted this stuff so many times. I predicted it with fucking Thrones of Britannia. I told them, hey, this is not going to fly. And they're like, yeah, shut up. You you don't know. You're just a YouTuber. Well, I was right about that. <laughs> yeah. Orders? Sire. Without a trace. And I'm not saying that they should... Command me. They should hire me to, like, tell them this stuff. I'm saying that they should get somebody who actually understands Total War to advise them because whoever is currently making these decisions doesn't understand Total War. Your will. Name the all right. Enemy, Lord. All right, all right, all right. Well, it looks like we're going to just have to take these two armies and advance up this way because this guy... Leave these lands infidel. What I could all do I is if I move to here, he might move north, trying to chase after me because there's no way I can hide. Leave these if I stand over infidel. here, he won't be able to all catch I me. Shall remove... Onward. The Sultan yeah, he can't. He can't catch me from there. Even if he does attack me, I'll just withdraw. All right, and we'll advance from here. I need to merge as much as we can. Yes, yes, march. Ah, uh, okay. Your will. Can we can we merge a bit more? No. 
Right, you stand out and... Oh, he's not going to attack us. He's not going to attack us, so that's fine. You can stand there. Move out. Yes? Your Majesty. Move I feel like out. we need the reinforcements there, because they're going to take the most Today casualties. Marks. We've also got this battle here. Uh, yep, grab that. And I shall save it, just so just in case it crashes. I don't find Medieval 2 yes. crashes that much, but yes, it does happen. Bounce Bell's not too bad. A lot of dangerous enemies in here, but it is a small town, which is usually easy to deal with, usually. Um, let's do it. The troops are assembled. These decisions are made by finance guys. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And that's that's fine, but l let me ask you this question, right? Um, d do you think Pharaoh made money? Because I don't think it did. Didn't make very much, if it, even if it did. So just because you've got finance guys designing Total War games, or designing what to do with the, the franchise, they clearly don't know what they're doing. Here's, here's another thing. Um, it, ta it, takes, it takes a village to raise a kid, right? And in many ways, it takes a village to make a Total War game. If you have lopsided leadership, like if, if all of the people working on a Total War game are just business degrees, right? And you don't have anyone there that's actually passionate about Total War, right? You've just got the you've just got the you've got the um, dick of the uh, of the business right, and that's the only thing that's working. Then that's not going to make a good total war game, and it's not going to make a good financial decision. So you need the financial guys, but the financial guys need to work with people that are passionate about the game and understand what makes total war games work. They also need to work with technical people, people that understand the the actual programming of it, the limitations of their programming and what they can and can't do. And if all of these people together as a village work together, then you can make a great Total War game every single time. But what happens here is that the business, the money, the dick of Total War, of Creative Assembly, are always making all the decisions despite everybody else telling them to stop doing that. And that's why we keep getting into this situation. It's just unfortunate because they, they run the show. They're I wouldn't even call them the brains of the operation. They're the dick of the operation. Because all they do is think with their dick. All they think about is money. And here's the thing. If you think with your dick all the time, that doesn't mean you're going to get pussy. <laughs> that doesn't mean it at all. It's, it's, it's a bit of a crude analogy, but I hope it makes sense. Because let's be real. The people who are in charge, they're men. <laughs> Anyway. And here's another thing. When you whip out your dick in public, people usually don't like that. I'm looking at you, Rob Bartholomew. Get back in your fucking cage if you're still even working at the. At the uh, <laughs> if you're working at Creative Assembly still, that is why you put pants on and you don't show your dick in public. Chris, Creative Assembly is like, oh. Uh, they don't like the the price of our DLC. Let's whip out our dick in public. We'll show them our dick. And everyone's like, "Ew, ew! I don't want to see that. Get that out of here. Yuck! Yuck! Get that out of here. Put that dick away. We all knew it existed. We all knew it was there. But now that we've seen it, it's like, ugh. It's like, ugh. I've seen that. I've seen that corporation's dick now. Ugh." Hope you enjoyed that analogy. <laughs> Better legend, you're a dick too. Oh, uh. I 
think we're outranging them. It's not good that it's raining, because I'm pretty sure that the... Um, maybe just drop that. I'm pretty sure that the missile damage is reduced when it's raining. <laughs> they got so many friggin' archers. Alright, well, they're actually shooting us. We can outrange them, so we need to stand back a little bit. Are these coming in from... Right, they're coming in from Turkey. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, okay. I'm okay with this. Let's go. Yeah, we go straight into melee when they come out like this. I'm down. Okay, I wasn't expecting them to do that, but I'll bite. Back over here. It is unwise now you might be thinking, but you're using your horse archers in melee. But so are they. They're all horse archers, so it's like a trade off. How are we going? 8 to 14%. Well, we're winning, kind of. Alright, let's move back. We could have a little bit of back and forth for these kind of battles. Otherwise it gets boring. Uh, Zia Zia did a THP179 super chat. You're right, a brain without passion can't make money. And if an ego is also added, that is a fuck up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, thanks super chat. Yeah, it's just an imbalance of, of what's going on. They, they clearly just don't have um, people who actually understand the, the game calling any of the shots. I just don't think that's that's gonna work. You, you've got to have you've got to have some people there that actually understand the product, not just understand business. It's just not good enough. I mean, if I just sent the general, because honestly, the horse archers really didn't do a very good job there. We are blessed. Nice, the that's a good start. That's a good start. We have sent the idiot to hell. Eleven to nineteen percent. That is a good start. The Don't forget as well, we're outnumbered in this battle. If we remain true and wholehearted, quality is on our side, but we are outnumbered. Will be ours. Warhammer 3 to a game last updated eight years ago. This? More like more like fifteen years ago, dude. If this is what you're talking about. Go wide. Uh, Mr. Richard did a five dollar super chat. Hey, legend, love the content. Would you ever play the Divide and Conquer Lord of the Ring mods from Medieval Two? It recently got a major update. Isengard, Mordor, Rohan. I I'll think about it, but I wouldn't hold your breath on it. But I'll think about it. Thanks for super chat. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. We don't want him fighting. in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Good, they close the gate, which means these guys can't leave, but unfortunately we have that bug where we can't run them down properly. I need to create a breach. guys move over this way. Alright, create a breach over here, right in the middle. Alright, they're shooting at us from a really bad angle, so that's fine. They're wasting their ammo. 
because I don't know how we're going to get rid of these Turkish archers easily. What are these? Town militia. Uh, that is worth shooting, I think. Yeah, they're just wasting their ammo. I'm more, I'm inclined to just let them do that. Once the A doesn't realize that most of the people don't rage on the forums, they are talking to mostly an empty room. Uh, yeah. Also, most people don't even engage on the forums. Most people just play the game, especially on Steam. There's, there's really not that much activity on the Steam forums. And so with them taking a heavy-handed approach on Steam and showing themselves to be assholes on a platform that a very small number of users actually use, the rest of us kind of see them for what they are. So it's it's very stupid of them. They the should fall. learn to pick it's their battles a bit better. Men through to slay our ungodly foe. Problem is as well is that Creative Assembly have admitted that masks are off now. They've they've shown how much they <laughs> they think about your right to speak and your right to complain. But I think there's a big thing that Creative Assembly don't understand, right? And, and this is another thing that, that is quite powers. difficult when dealing with them, is that they don't realize that people are extremely frustrated, and extremely frustrated people that have been put through the ringer very unfairly, which a lot of the community has been, usually aren't respectful in their tone. And so Creative Assembly asking people to be respectful is a bit bit bullshit because they haven't been respecting the players. They haven't been respecting uh, the players, they haven't been respecting the YouTubers, they... But they, they respect... They've got a very, um, very significant definition of what respect is, and that's about the tone of your, your voice, right? You can say whatever you want as long as you say it in an ingratiating tone. Oh, mighty Creative Assembly, how art thou? Please stop making shit Total War games. Pretty please with sugar on top. I want to give you more money. You know, they'll, they'll accept that kind of shit, right? But if you're like, damn it, Creative Assembly, this is like fucking 10 years since we've had a Total War game. What the hell? Then that crosses a line, you know, with them. So it's all about tone. Even though both statements, the exact same thing is being said. And I think Creative Assembly should look more towards the content that people are talking about rather than the tone. And come on, why, do, why does... Why should the community by and large be verbally respectful when Creative Assembly is basically doing what they've been doing? Like, Total War Pharaoh, come on, it's a saga game, it's an overpriced saga game. Literally everybody is calling it out as such. That wasn't respectful of them to try to pull that. That was like borderline a scam. With the Shadows of Change DLC, costs are up, you know, because of hyenas. Again, that wasn't respectful to the community. They weren't being they weren't being transparent. They were being truthful, but not really. And that's not respectful behavior. So if you want respect, you have to earn that respect, and you can't just demand it. Because you're not gonna get it if you do that. Uh, Mako PLN25 to the super, uh, 25 Super Chat. Um, hey, Legend, would you consider streaming Rem Total War 2 at some point, or is it too much for Pain to set up to run properly on stream? Um, I'm thinking about it, but here's the problem with Rem Total War. It is very difficult to stream. I have huge technical issues and it causes massive amounts of crashes because OBS does not like, um, Rome Total War. Not at all. So, I want, I want to. I can stream, um... Rome Remastered, but I feel like people would rather see the original more so than Remastered. But yeah, Rome Total War does not run well with OBS. Like, I can play the game on my own just fine, but when I put OBS on top of that, it doesn't run very well. Attila instead of Rome 2? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I've actually started reinstalling a lot of all the Total War games, so I'm thinking about it. Problem is, though, I've got a problems with a lot of these Total War games. So I gotta, I gotta think about it. A 
Okay, that's good. This is worth shooting at. You may need to try SS HIP mod for Medieval 2. It makes the game harder and more fun. Uh, I'll think about it. But vanilla is usually the safest bet for streams. What's wrong with the remaster? Uh, remaster just isn't very good. Yeah. It just isn't very good. It's not a very good remaster. I don't have a problem with it, but it's just not very good. But OBS likes it a bit better. Like, I'll, I'll, give, you an, I'll give you an idea of, with the remaster. The save files that are being sent in for Rome Total War, they're all original. None of them are for the remaster. None of them. I'm more than happy to take a remaster save file. I'm not getting any. What about BG3 with Okoye? Uh, that's not a Total War game, so probably not. I wouldn't mind playing BG3. I mean, I'm talking about it a fair bit. Doing that. It's on my to-do list. But I don't, I don't know if I'm going to stream it on Total War game. Please Shogun 2 follow Samurai in your consideration list of possible streams too. I am thinking about it. We'll see. We'll see. Only half the enemy force remains. All right, I reckon if you charge in there, you'll insta route. Alright, we have killed 60% of them. It's time to send our infantry in and try to win the rest of it. There's mostly just missile units left now. Yep, they pretty much routed straight away. Good, good, good. Let's try to run them down so we don't have to fight them again. Alright, we've got Turkmen's over here. It's to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Yeah, wait for your reinforcements before you go up that way. So yeah, when facing missile units like this, using cover from buildings is a really great way to protect yourself. Because when they shoot at a high angle, the chances of them actually dishing any damage is basically zero. In fact, we we could waste their ammo. We could do that. Like, no joke, it's terrible for their accuracy. Because Turkish archers are no joke, they're very dangerous. I don't think there's any more melee infantry left. Alright, I'm gonna charge these guys in. I don't really like wasting ammunition in Medieval 2. It's cheese. And you guys know I'm not about that cheese. Mm, actually... I, uh, these guys here, we've only got a level 2 general. If I don't stay close to them, I think they'll rout. Anyway, it looks like they're going to let us jump in really easily, so that should be fine. Have you played Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign? Kind of looks fun. Um, I haven't played it. I definitely played the original um, Knights of Honor, and it's on my to-do list to play, but I haven't played it yet. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. All right, I need to do these individually because otherwise they're not going to run in properly. Got to stop these guys shooting. So they're trying hard to shoot at the general. But he's got so much armor, and they're not shooting at a good angle, so it's unlikely they're going to get him. Still possible. Only takes one arrow. Actually, that's not true. It does take a lot of arrows. The generals have more than one hit point. They've, they've usually got 
like five or six, depending on how healthy the general is. Okay, now if we want the bodyguard to fight, but not the general, what we do here is we we set ourselves up so that the back is facing the enemy, so that way the general is the furthest person away, and that way when we send the attack in, it takes too long for him to get in there, and the battle's over before he has a chance to fight. Because we don't want him getting killed, having the, the fact that we've won the battle here. If we lose our general, that doesn't seem like a good idea. But we can save some of our men's lives if we use our bodyguard. So I just need to keep an eye on him. Make sure that he stays in the rear. Which he didn't. Which he didn't. There we go. That's what we want to see. Good, good, good. That's good. Yep, he's nice and safe. Good. As long as he's safe, that's all that matters. Car says our men no longer command the city. No stand in the horn to keep the general back? No, that only works in uh, Rome 1. That doesn't... In Medieval 2, this doesn't cause an animation from the general. Yeah, that little trick was... Uh, was Rome 1 only. Yeah, Rome 1 only. But yeah, that was definitely a nifty little trick in Rome 1 to keep your general out of combat. How many casualties do we take? Quarter of our army. Considering the size of their garrison, I said it's worth it. This is a clear victory that goes. Uh, um. The day is ours. The enemy are beaten. Pretty much always Double sack settlements. We what do we get? Conquered. Five thousand florins. Nice. That'll be good. That's not a small amount either. Cool. Yeah, since we battered down the actual wall, there. Orders? Who do I face? It's gonna cost us money. Okay. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't keep them there. Just merge and keep moving. Any recruits available? Not for two turns. Okay, repair that and yep, get the small Orthodox church. Lower the taxes. Not a particularly valuable settlement, considering the size of the garrison. It's <laughs> not really worth it. Just leave a small one there. Um. Man, traversing through Anatolia at the moment is fucking painful as hell. Right, just wait and see. Yep, public order's fine. Okay. Yes. Maybe I should build roads first. Just help to get us around. Move out. Once you've got it all under control, Anatolia is really good. Uh, but traversing it is a pain. Uh, Patrick Mulligan did a two dollars chat. Why mod out the AI battle cheats in Rome too? I didn't. I didn't say to do that. Oh, there's their other one. Um, yeah, you could do that if you wanted, or you could just play on normal difficulty. Very well. See, I don't understand this. Why do people play on like the hardest difficulty, and then use a mod to turn it back down to the the easiest difficulty? I don't. I don't get it. Where to, sire? Like, don't get me wrong. I can handle it on the highest difficulty. I just don't like it. Investing. I'm done for today. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, I don't think there's anyone going to be available to recruit straight away. Let's go with the town guard this time so we get better quality of militia. And there is Van. Van is... Oh, fuck. This, Van's got a lot of gold. 
If I had to guess, I think it's somewhere in here, but I'm, I just can't bloody remember. Command me, my lord. All right, leave yes. leave this one behind. Oh uh, shit. Okay. Okay, you're gonna need to leave a little bit more than that behind. Let's have a look here. What are the problems? Well, there's a lot of religious unrest. Obviously, distance to capital is a problem. The garrison is okay. Who do I face? I'm, this army may just have to stay here for a short while, and in fact, we're, we're probably going to need to do this. Your Majesty. Yeah, can't be helped. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's see what happens here over the end turn. That's looking iffy. Yes. yes. All right, we got a few units here. We got more coming. Cool, keep them coming. Over here, keep these coming. This is my anti-crusader army. Wonder if I should bring these up this way. I did also say I was going to turn this settlement here into a castle. Shit, are we even going to get a chance to get to turn 20 in this? <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we can lower the taxes there. Constantinople should be the bottom for priorities for building. It's, it's already maxed out, essentially. We definitely want to get population growth going to get these settlements bigger. These settlements suck. Okay, we still got a little bit of money left over. Uh, yeah, go with that, whatever. Can jump, chunk up the taxes a little bit more. Since we don't need population growth there. Alright, cool. Let's just make sure our public order is okay everywhere, which it seems to be. Cool. Could also recruit cavalry from here and sail them this way. Mm, maybe when I get a little bit more income. At the, well, it's improving. It's improving, but we're not quite there yet. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, just a little later. Okay, anything else to do? Nope. Nope. I th okay, let me just check my armies because I keep... Missing Name one each turn. Your will. Who do I face? Right. All oh, right. Yeah, this one I couldn't move because the public order here is absolutely shit. Over the next couple of turns, it's not necessarily going to get better because I sacked it. It's all about this religious unrest. Sixty percent. Yeah. Well, if I can wait just a couple of turns, I'll be able to recruit some town militia. That'll help. Okay, moving on. Kind of crazy you have 476 subs now. 500k no time soon, boss. Um, I think it'll still take about a year to get to 500k, to be honest. But we'll see. Because we hit 400k at the beginning of 2022, and it's been kind of slow since then. Um, no. Send emissary to the Principality of Antioch. Okay. Well, we'll see. Yes. All right, this army here. Oh my god, it's Infinite. full of fucking horse archers. Where to, sire? Jeez. Yes. Okay, we can actually do a force draw out. So As we besiege it and. Don't oh worry, legend. They're not going to spam horse archers. At your demise, name thy enemy lord. Yeah, you Orders. move to the side here, because if he does Let withdraw from this, which I kind of feel like he's going to, but may not, um, we don't want him to run in the wrong direction. Hang on, if we're going to do this... Uh, yes, command me. Yeah, all right. We shall send him okay, he didn't. Or worse, march. Okay. Hang on, what's he got? All right, how many, how many horse archers? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh God, that's a lot of horse archers. All right, just gonna take a look. No matter how they beg, let none escape. Attack! 
Van is close to the lake with the same name. Okay, thanks, dude. That's helpful. Alright, our reinforcements should be coming in from... Here, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of horse archers. That's a problem. I really wish it wouldn't default to bloody skirmish mode. Always gotta remember to turn it off. See, in Warhammer, you can turn it off by default, which I like. You can't do that here. Hmm. Yeah, let's set up here. Doesn't need to be pretty. We'll have to adjust as we go. Okay, wasn't quite where I thought it was going to come from, but that's that's fine. It still works for me. All right, mostly horse archers coming in. All right, let's reorganize. Good, everyone came in pretty quick. Alright, we've got six horse archers, but ours are all badly damaged. What are they doing? They are taking a defensive position. Okay, that's good. We've got mostly melee infantry, which is not good. We've got reserves, but the bouncer power is even, so I'm not gonna... I could withdraw some of my trash to bring in some other units, because I think there's still some cavalry waiting to come in, isn't there? Byzantine cavalry. Yeah, we could withdraw this one here, that doesn't matter. Do you have any more cav in reserve? No. Wait, that's assuming that one even comes in next. I'm not sure if that isn't going to be the case. It's good they're giving us time to set up. This is something that they didn't do the first time we fought these guys in a big battle. horse archers over here, and none of them are over here for some reason. There's one there. Alright, well that's interesting. What if we go around... Are we going to be able to do this? Let me just check. Unfortunately, the terrain here blocks us a bit. We can get up this way though. This is going to be... It's going to be a bit of a squeeze. In my opinion, the maps in Medieval 2 and Rome 1 are better than what we see in the newer Total War games. In my opinion. Okay, we want to stay fairly close to our reinforcements so they can react to things as needed. Alright, we've got to wait for that one to leave completely before another unit will come in to reinforce. How do you see a Rome 3 with the diversity of rosters and in-depth mechanics as Medieval 2? I don't understand the question, sorry. <laughs> sorry, can you try again? I feel like there's something in there, but... And I'm sure you're going to get a bunch of people trying to interpret what you said, but if you can just repeat yourself, because I, I, I couldn't quite make sense of that. Here, there we, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hopefully, I didn't screw myself up by doing this, but I may have. Charge at them, charge in melee. There's heaps of horse archers versus so few of them. Cool, that is a great start, taking out that Turkish horse archer that quickly. That is really good. That was very cheap for us. 
It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Okay, change of plans. If we stay up here, we're going to get slaughtered. I didn't think that they would focus on us, and that looks like what they're going to do. So let's turn back around. Yeah, look, all these horse archers are coming over here. They've reacted to us. Let's get out of here before we get slaughtered. Move it, move it. Okay, the fact they're charging in their horse archers at the start isn't necessarily a bad thing. If we can get in and get them off the battlefield early, that'd be really good. Good, they've only sent two horse archers down here. If we can cut them off. Good. These guys here are lagging. Come on, move. Good. This is a really good start so far. That guy's about to leave. Good. Good, we've caught them. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Alright, so what's going on here? Yeah, this is fine, although these guys should be in loose formation. But they seem to be shooting these guys here first. It's fine. We don't have the high ground there. That's a little bit of an issue. I need to get over there and stop them. What's this? Armenian archers, I mean, okay, no, no, deal with that. Careful though, because the enemy general's not too far. Okay, don't worry about them. Get, get over here. These horse archers are going to rip us to shreds if we don't, we don't deal with them first. Taking out their horse archers, taking out the legs of their army. I probably should have set up over here. This wasn't too bad of them to, uh, think to to uh, come up on this high ground here. But I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Not yet. Good. That Allen light. Oh, that's only light cavalry. That's not the horse archers. So not that big of a concern. Okay. Good. The enemy generals move back around. Oh shit! No, there he is. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Good. At this point here, most of their horse archers have been defeated. Most of ours are gone too, though. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Alright, we should be free now to use our horse archers to try to snipe their general. At least dish up some damage. Probably don't have enough damage to actually kill him. Make sure we run down whatever we can. Okay, don't need loose formation here. Get ready to protect the flanks. They're going to be charging headfirst in here pretty soon. They've still got Turkomans there. 
go do with that. Alright, I think that's the last of the horse archers. So that means we've we've won. We've definitely won. There's no doubt about that. Is in our favor. If we Unless, of course, our king gets killed. Victory will be ours. All of this stuff is really like trashy infantry. We should just be able to charge in on them and kill them quite easily. How are we going here? We haven't done any damage to him. Armenian archers are coming in. Alright, just all that charge. We don't have missile superiority here because we're on the low ground, so we might as well just charge at them. Oh, I got a reinforcing unit. Cool, we routed there. Archers, move back, move back, move back, move back. That was the only unit that we had to uh, get rid of. I wasn't expecting them to rout. But they did. Good. Okay, you, get around over there. Run down those archers. Good, these guys showed up in time. Nice. Alright, we're almost out of ammo. Let's hit him in the rear. No, not you, not you. Actually, no, just escort them off the battlefield, because we don't want to wipe out this army. We don't want to get 85% kills. All right, you guys, let's go in. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a world... Okay, mass route incoming. We got this. We got this. Has no honor. Okay, no, no, we need someone to run him the down. Field of battle and abandon the Lord above the enemy flees the battle. Did we run down those worthless peasants? Did we get him? We got him. Okay, cool. We got him. We need to get less than 85% casualties on them. You know, only just. I think that went really well. Okay, stop shooting. Yeah, run down those Saracen Militia. Anything that's like a high quality unit, run them down. Let their low quality units go to get away. stop that because yeah we need to make sure that we want to we want to execute the captives because a lot of them are horse archers we don't want them to survive plus their general don't want him to survive but we don't want the army to get wiped out because this is their ticket into the city so no do not do this show Allah's mercy yes the sultan will pay mm. no do not abandon your honor please you can't abandon what you never had <laughs> Okay, then we lift the siege. And now these guys here, they have no choice but to uh, stand and fight. What remains here is just total trash. 
So we'll be able to just rush straight into them and slaughter them. Also, this guy should be getting a fair bit of dread now. Yeah, not too bad. Six K. It's not worth it. Not worth it. They probably would reject it anyway, and I want my dread. My lord. Don't deny me my dread. Okay. Yes. So this guy is not gonna show up. Your will. Alright. What I want to do here Who is do take Let me strike, my lord. Manuel, man, Manuel, Manuel. Yes? and all of the Orders? cavalry, all of it. Orders. Yes. Orders. Merge the infantry into one army. March. Yes. Combining forces, my lord. Who okay. Merge all of that. Uh, it's messy. It's messy. What, what are our odds here infidel. with what we got? There are quite a few missile cav. So, 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 yes. using Trebizond archers can actually complement cavalry quite well, especially against other horse archers. So let's let's bring yes. the horse, uh, the regular archers. As long as we use our cavalry effectively, we shouldn't have to worry about them getting killed, apart from whatever shots they take. Onward. Let me strike, my lord. But these guys don't have a choice; they have to stand and fight now. Bounce panels are even. That's fine. Because honestly, having high command doesn't really reflect that much on balance of power, but will reflect massively on the battlefield. Anyway, I didn't want to bring all of my force to bear. We've got to have a somewhat fair fight. It's just somewhat fair. And in this battle here, absolute obliteration. Everybody dies. Of, of the enemy, of course. What's the Amani ability the Byzantine Emperor has? Uh, I can't remember what it's called, and I don't really know what it does, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, it's like some magical ability that he has. It's called Byzantine Politic. I think he technically bribes the enemy units, and just... The enemy can't give a command to certain units for a certain amount of time. But I'm really not familiar with it. So I don't know. Alright, we're going to stand up here. And we're going to... Hang on. Make sure everyone is off skirmish mode. Skirmish mode sucks. Yep, they're all in guard mode. Yep, don't want these guys in guard mode. Alright, enemy reinforcements will be coming in. I think we should just rush at this first army. Don't give them any chance to meet up with the rest of them. And don't even bother shooting at them. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. Mm, problem is this bloody rough terrain. Hmm. I was going to rush at them, but the ter terrain is really bloody rough. Okay, uh... Yeah. yeah, I think we'll t claim the high ground over here, and take out these two, and then shoot down at them. Hang on, you three, take out those horse archers there. Okay, maybe with these guys, if we could manage to get up here, this would be really good for shooting down the enemy. The high, this high ground would absolutely slaughter them if they come up this way. But they've got to run it, run over there pretty quickly. Now, even though these guys are spear militia, it's not going to matter when we charge into them. We should just be able to break them straight away because we outnumber them by so much, such a massive degree. It They're low quality units. To praise the day and but our men are winning the battle and forging they a don't worthy have a general. But uh, okay, there we go. Took a little bit of damage. It's okay.
general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Okay, these guys here. Stop that. You gotta keep running up the hill here. Lord above his kind. Good. We have the enemy general. He is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Uh, do we have a better spot to maybe shoot from? No, this, this high ground here is definitely the best one. We'll take that. What's this? Turkomans. Okay, the first army appears to have been obliterated, apart from this unit here. Alright, I'm going to put all these guys back on fire at will. No, they were going to play skirmish mode. Okay, just get back. Don't worry about it then. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost this. All right, from this angle fight. here, with such a huge advantage. high ground, we are going to cause so much damage on them. High ground is worth so much more in Medieval 2 than it ever was in the newer Total War games. It's absolutely devastating to take a high ground like this. These guys have started to shoot. Awesome. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. So yeah, see here, they just stopped. They just sit there for a, the for a enemy moment. General flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. The Lord above his kind. Oh, wow. We have captured the <laughs> They're so far, because they've already lost their general. That will teach the cowardly Both generals are gone. We don't, didn't have to kill them. Rest at our leisure. Well, they're so screwed. They can't run away. They have to climb up a hill. And they've been pinned down. They are so screwed. They could not really get into a worse situation than this. It's like reverse Manzikert. Not that I know anything about Manzikert. All I know is basically the Turks obliterated the Byzantine Empire. Uh, Kasper Kuzak did him in for nine months. It's over Sultankin. I have the high ground. Pretty much, yeah. In Medieval 2, the high ground means just about everything, unless you can... Unless you're really good at the game and overcome it. The AI is not, so... They're not going to. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Cool, make sure we get them all. In there. Unfortunately, the rough terrain is not great for these units. Come on, it's only Turkish archers. We don't have to pull out of that fight. Dismounted Hasham, on the other hand, that's a little bit, a little bit of a tougher unit.
But the archers are obliterating these guys. Yeah, that's good. A little bit of friendly fire, but that's okay. We have reserves. The, battle, the, enemy the Aussie are 84 the became a new member. Thanks to appreciate that support. Thanks for the membership. Sound keeps turning off because I have to hold down Alt to use alternate attack, and I use W A S D. So every now and again, I press Alt and then S, which turns off the sound. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? It's a workaround. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. All right, let's run them down. So we have currently killed 86%, but really, don't leave anything to chance. Run the whole lot down. Don't let a single one of them get away. Okay, everyone can stop shooting now. Because we want to get lots of captives to execute. Never did, did it again. What time period would be perfect for a total war game, in your opinion? <coughs> I reckon, um, uh, 1200 BC, um, in Mesopotamia. Yeah, 1200 BC, uh, Mesopotamia would be good. Call it Total War Babylon. And it should have, like, the map should stretch from, like, Assyria to the end of the Euphrates. And it should have um, three different cultures. Assyria, Babylon, and... That's it. <laughs> and um, it should be charged at $150, because it's a full game. All of Christendom will... Yes. You have honor, we see. Ah! Don't leave him hanging for too long, yeah. Good, great, great success. We friggin' smashed him. We tore them apart, my lord. Yep. Victory! Okay, and then you get to sack the city. Yeah, send them to hell So we've war. just taken I think that was their capital. I think Ankara was the capital. Alright. Oh shit. Happy Halloween, how are you? Back to the classics? Yeah, I'm well, thanks. Is it Halloween today, is it? Oh, okay, how about that? Oh, I don't sell that Halloween. Uh, Marco did a 20 euro super chat. Hey, Legend, thanks for the content. Nice to look on a campaign while sick in bed. Sorry to hear that you're sick, but good to have you here regardless. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. Yes? Uh, okay, so that was good. That was good. Now... This guy is not as good of a commander, but there's You're no commander down here. Oh, no, there is. You dead. No, there's no okay. Uh, let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six versus there. Not waste words on mm, you, it's too much. It's too much. We're badly outnumbered there, and the quality is on their side. I, I wouldn't be able to overcome that. Not with this. No, I'd have to send reinforcements. Yala, my sultan wishes mm. you dead. If this guy was a like a five star yes? commander, maybe. But it's just very difficult to overcome that many horse archers. There's just way too many of them. Way, way too many. Um, Abu Dalagul did a TRY 110 super chat. Try to toggle on alternative fight mode with F4. By the way, there is a small town east of Corum and southwest of Trebizond called Tokak, where I was born a few years ago. Thanks for super chat, dude. You were born a few years ago? <laughs> uh, what? Southeast of Corum. 
Oh, okay, cool. Is it on the campaign map? Your will. So down here is another Turkey settlement. Okay, let's or go does. down this way. Follow the road if we can. Yes, Lord. Uh, this settlement is Caesarea. Yes. Okay. March. It's somewhere in this area. Way. Okay, how are we going for public order out here? It, it did improve a little bit, so the Christian... Uh, um, religious unrest is even worse. But I think that's because of this guy. Sometimes these guys exacerbate the problem. Yeah, I went down with him getting out of there. My lord, if we just did majesty. this... Orders. My lord. How bad is it? 50%. Forces, my lord. Uh, yeah, we got to wait a little bit longer. This one here will provide 10% extra public order, so... Yes. Maybe have to wait till that's done. So people said Van is near the the uh, the um, the lake here. As you wish. There it is. There's your Van is over here. Where to, sire? Sire. Okay, all in due time. In fact, it might be easier to get over to your Van. This is probably all just rebel territory. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Where we go next? Yes. Like I said, that is just, I think, out of our scope. Yes. I need to draw these forces away somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it. Alright, what if I take this melee infantry and the Greek fire thrower and the Trebus... Yes. No. Okay, how about you? You go down over here. And I'll take these here. March. And these, I guess. Move out. Yes. Orders. Yeah, we'll bring this down yes, here Lord. and meet up with them. I bet you come over here first March. and build the watchtower. Yes, Lord. Cool. Building a watchtower. Yes, Lord. Your Majesty. Cool. That Very gives us well. more line of sight. Sire. Uh, chances of me getting him in there is pretty damn low. Okay, now with these here, Please with all of these cav. Orders. Yeah, just, um, let's continue to be super aggressive with this, go that way, and all of these, can I recruit here? No, not yet. Just leave yes. this one here behind, and these will just have to catch up. Cool. We continue tomorrow. Uh, Norwegian Viking did a 10 RON super chat. Yola, my sultan wishes you dead. That's fine, thanks for the super chat, appreciate you dude. Orders? That's fine. Hello, Your Highness. Oh, we got a new general. Okay. Okay, yep. Get your ass down here. More reinforcements, good. Okay, if these two armies here, along with this one, come down here, they're probably going to keep recruiting. We should stand a chance. Alright, this should be enough now. Let's get going. Just take it, everything except for the peasants. Yes, my lord. Yes, my and set sail for Cyprus. Full sail. Hopefully we don't get sunk on the way. We shall continue tomorrow. Over here, I still need more. Always more. Keep them coming. Yeah, okay. Get that going. And let's do some building. Uh, yeah, I already checked. There's not a huge amount of... Um, actually, go with the communal farming. We need the population growth. They get a fortress going. Roads. Yeah, just go with that. You don't build roads at roads. Okay. Your will. Let me strike, my lord. Okay, that's all looking pretty good. And our finances, we're making about eight grand a turn now. That's, that's good. We, you know, income's going up. Costs costs are down. <laughs> so so taxes are down. You know, most of my regions are not being not being heavily taxed, except for Constantinople. Costs are up there. 
They have to pay 25 dollars each. Your Commander. Uh, yeah, I just gotta wait. Okay, moving on. Oh man, they just, they love sitting around their damn cities. I need them to come out into the field. Prince Stefanos. Okay, where is Prince Stefanos? Orders? Yes? Which one is he? Alright, so that means he's gonna to go to the capital. Which means I want it to go. Oh, I wanted it to be attached to that, so where do I want him to go? Oh, what if I put him here? Hang on, what is he? A little bit of dread. Mm. This guy here, a bit of chivalry. How's his religious zeal? Okay. Okay, let's make this work for us. And then, yeah, I think I'll make Ankara the capital now. Make sure we don't have any bad public order anywhere. Uh, worst one is in Crete over here. Which I forgot to drop down the taxes there, my bad. That should have been on low, because we need the population to grow. Okay. Yes. Alright, I think there's two settlements here. There's one here and one here-ish. Uh, we'll go for the one in the south first. Yes, my lord. Limassol. Yeah, that seems easy. All ashore. Yes. Move out. Okay, I can besiege it. Orders. Yeah, I doubt they'll sell you out. Orders. Yes. And the other guys can just catch up next turn. At least we'll have Orders. some siege equipment built. Yes, lord. Closing for battle. Besieging settlement, my lord. Yeah, just build build ladders. Your yes, my lord. Orders. If we're lucky, we, they may even sell you out. Yes. All right. So with this Your situation lord, over here, wishes you dead. God damn, that's a lot of horse archers. Where to, sire? All right. I am going to. Your I can't will. besiege it, can I? Damn it. Yes. Who do I face? Sire. If I put this guy in here, he is definitely going to die. Try playing as the Mongols, yeah? Uh, well, they're not really playable, and you would just instant win, basically. The Mongols are brokenly overpowered. They are Orders? so fucking strong in this game. March. Yes, Lord. Uh, where is it? Maybe it's on this side here. Onward. There it Continue is. Continue okay. tomorrow, my Lord. Name thy enemy, Lord. Yes. Follow the road. When in doubt, follow the road. Who do I face? Let me Good, his name is Manuel the Merciless now. Approaching, my lord. Alright, there it is. Good, we make it, and... Oh, no! I didn't bring any freaking infantry, and there's no way to do a forced draw out there. <laughs> okay, I'm... Yes. Um, uh, yes. Shit. Alright, I need to send reinforce. I can send these guys back over here. Command. We march on our victims. Yes. My lord. Yeah, I'll just have to send them back over. Orders. Alright, I need to rearrange this army a little Your bit. Will. Orders. Your Majesty. Your right, all Majesty. cavalry Orders. go with him. Yes. And all archers Orders. go with him. Your Majesty. Yes. Yes. March. Orders. And the rest Your is will. all just melee infantry. Yes. From those. Move out. Yes. Your Majesty. Yes. My Lord. Try to make yes. sure all the fresh units are the ones yes. uh, showing up. Order. March. One more. Orders. Showing up first. That yes. is. My Lord. Okay. Combining forces, my Lord. Yes. Combining your will. Move out. Yes. Onward. Yes. Happily, my lord. Name thy enemy, lord. Uh, you can go to Ankara for Man. now, but I'll we keep march. moving you along. 
All right, now that we put a uh, general in here, he might be able to maintain the public for order for us. We just got to figure out which one is the right one to put in. So this one here is a governor. Okay, that that one's better as a governor. He was at 65%. I think if we recruit this one in here, we'll maintain public order. So he is now in command of this, which is fine because he's the dread general. So that, that works out just fine. And like I said, we'll go towards Yerevan because actually that's where all the gold and silver is. Who do I face? Those Armenians with all their money. <laughs> we march. Stop in for the night. Where to, sire? Without a trace. Today's journey is 60%. over. Sixty percent. I thought it was at sixty-five. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine because that'll get us to seventy percent. It'll be okay. I thought you didn't stream on weekends. What a wonderful surprise. Okay, so that was the old stream schedule. The new stream schedule is anything goes. It's whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. And there's no way for you guys to know exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> so this is just this is how it is now. Yes. All right. Doesn't look like we got any battles to do this turn. Uh, did I leave someone behind? Oh, maybe it was already queued up. Whoops. No, get rid of that, because that's going to cost us money. Alright, and over here we should have some recruits just about ready. Not yet. Okay, it's fine. Alright, construction. Let's have a look. So Constantinople just finished something. That's a low priority, so let's build in other places. Main thing we got to do is get these public or, uh, population growth up. Uh, fine, it's not that important, but whatever. Hmm. Didn't have enough money to build everywhere. Still making good coin. Enemy, Lord. How do you calculate your income in medieval? I don't understand it. Uh, it's real simple. Um, however much money you had in the previous turn, plus whatever you're going to have in the next turn. <laughs> sort of. No, no, it's, it's real simple. See the projected treasury total? That's how much money we're going to make minus what we've already got. So our income is about 7,170... Don't ask me to do maths with like that. 79, no, 73. Yeah, okay, seven seven 7,173. <laughs> yeah, don't look at profits. Don't look at that. That doesn't matter. Yes? You know, you take, you protect, uh, take your um, income. Ugh, yeah, whatever. Don't, don't look at it too much. Don't look at it too much. Just know, if, look, if, as long as this is positive, you're good. You're good. All right, I think we're all done here. Let me just double check to make sure I've actually moved all my armies because I have had a habit of missing some. Your orders, number one. No, he doesn't yes? get to move. Yes. Yes, my lord. Name thy enemy, lord. What am I doing? They're trying to. They're trying to kill my. My princess by boxing her in or something. Oh, they're going to sally out. Good, that makes it easier for me. I wasn't trying to do that. Just want to point that out. I wasn't trying to do this. Oh, that makes it so easy for me. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. All right, let's do this. That order resolve calculation is bonkers. Watching a bit in delay, but I don't think CA should be in... Should be quite... I think you mean quiet. They should speak, but they should speak wisely to the point with apologetic tone. Tune, they need to communicate. Yeah, yeah, but they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that, though. I, I get what you're saying, dude, and I, I'm on the same page with you, but they're not... I've never really known Creative Assembly to, like wholeheartedly apologize for anything. If they ever apologize, it's like, we apologize that you guys sucked so much sort of thing. It's like a half half assed apology. Um, they never take responsibility for their actions. So yeah, just 
given their sort of uh, the way that they run things, they should just shut up because they're only going to make things worse. Norwegian Vikinger did a 25 RON super chat. Byzantium will be my first choice in the next DLC of EU4 since it adds a lot of flavor and will have the possibility to mend the Great Schism. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really sat on top of EU4 to be honest, but thanks for the super chat. They should key tau, knee tau to the community at this point. <sighs> They're just not gonna do that though. It's like an. Like, I hear what you're saying, and I don't necessarily disagree. I just don't think they're gonna do that. We've got plenty of ammo here, so focusing on the Byzantine cavalry is fine. Now you might think as well, why not use loose formation here? Loose formation is ideal when you're actually outnumbered, because it spreads out your units. So what it will do is it makes sure that some of our units can't shoot. So in this situation, it's actually better to stay in tighter formation so that everyone can shoot. You increase your damage output, but you also increase your damage input. But luckily our damage output is so much higher than their input. It's uh, fine. You can see here, we're just not taking damage. One of the problems here is that it's raining, and raining definitely reduces the amount of missile damage that you uh, inflict. It was Kowtow? Okay. That's not what it was written, but okay. CA be like, if you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's just pause this for a second and talk about this, because it's, you know, it's an important topic. Yeah, look, Creative Assembly's caught in a rock and a hard place. They've had it too good for too long, and now their luck's run dry, basically. Um, nothing that they can do will will be seen positively. Everybody is out to get them at the moment. So they're, they're a very prideful company. So they're very unlikely to take a big L, at least publicly speaking. They just, they just don't do that. They, ever, they very rarely admit fault. So the other option for them is to just wait out the storm. Now, they're going to be waiting for a long time, I think. And even when they do have some good stuff to show, people will still throw it in their face. But their options aren't good. They just, they just can't get a win now. They've, they've been put into a corner. You know, they've just had a very humiliating launch. They've just lost, what, 40% of their staff. They've got essentially a huge revolt in terms of their marketing creators. They, it, it's, all, it's all falling apart for them. And they've, they've basically got an engine that's falling apart at the seams. Nothing's going right for Creative Assembly right now. And the thing is, the community can also be seen as kicking them when they're down. But I would say that you, you had it coming. You had it coming. You treated the community like shit for too long. This is... Yeah, they're going to get you. Um, the funny thing is that Creative Assembly doesn't learn from history. Because they've essentially just replicated what was essentially the French Revolution <laughs> in, in a gaming sense, where, you know, uh, peasants, you have to pay more money, pay more taxes, peasants, pay me more money. And the peasants are like, no, fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut your fucking head off. You know, I'm not going to buy your games. What do you mean you're not going to buy my games? What do you mean you're not going to buy my games? How dare you not buy my game, peasant? Yeah. Join the pack. Let them eat a DLC. My lord, the peasants are starving for content. Let them eat DLC. <laughs> Let them eat pre-order DLC. The peasants exist solely to provide me with money. Creative Assembly would absolutely hate. I mean, they probably will hear this. They'll probably be like, be like, fuck, fuck, 
fucking clip you fucking he's right that fucking bloody prick he's telling them the truth <laughs> Yeah, the way I look at Creative Assembly at the moment is kind of like Braveheart, the movie, where Prima Nocta is like legalized, and then they're like, fuck you, man, you, look what you did to my wife. He's like, it was my noble right. It's industry standard. It was the industry standard. I'll show you fucking industry standard. Blech. So you can't really use industry standard as a shield. It just, it isn't going to fly. If the industry standard is shit, you need to change it. And <laughs> let, let them eat change. Yeah, we had Shadows of Short Change. Guess what you've got next? Thrones of Delay. I do not think that Thrones of Decay is coming this year. <laughs> Thrones of Delay. I'm gonna kill 20% of them. I need to kill their general. It's always a cavalry unit, so. Yeah, them being in loose formation and the, the weather is definitely working in their favor. But you know what else? I've got the high ground. Yeah, you know, the thing is, right now, Creative Assembly really needs to eat some humble pie. There's just no other option. They're gonna have to eat some humble pie. You know, they were warned well in advance about their behavior, but they didn't learn. Okay, I need to go for those Trebizond Archers. And you know what? It's not the worst thing ever. I've had to eat humble pie. It's not so bad. You just gotta eat it. Just gotta, you just gotta eat it up. Eat the whole thing. And then just get on with your life. It'll make you better for it. Eat some humble pie. It's alright. It's not the end of the world. It's really not so bad. You know, if it's, the, if it's your first time eating humble pie, I get it. It doesn't taste great. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. The battle is in our favor. Uh, if we what if we just don't want to fight them anymore? Victory will be ours. What if we just get in? Can we, can we capture that? Glorious heaven above! Our men have captured the enemy general. Uh, I don't think we need Guard to resort well. to that Keep particular the cheese. Wine and, and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Come on, come on, come on, getting shot here by flame arrows, and we don't have a proper general. Need to reclaim the high ground there. Look at that, they're already routing. That's good. Mick Killy did a five dollar super chat. Good morning from Canada Legend. Curious of your feelings towards Rome Remastered. As a total Warhammer noob, uh, it's been very fun and different so far. Okay, so yeah, I definitely have mixed feelings towards Rome Remastered. I'm all in favor of remastering Rome 1 and Medieval 2. The battle is in I don't our dislike favor. Rome Remastered, but what I think is that it didn't bring Rome Total War up to 2023 standards. It, it did a good job graphically updating it for sure. I don't have any problem with that. But I think its biggest failing was it didn't it didn't do enough to upgrade it to, to be of 2023 standards. So it's not a good, it's not a great purchase, but Rome Total War is, is always a great game. It's just, it's, um, it's very much outdated. And so you've got a remaster that came out outdated, essentially. That's, that's what I think of Rome Remastered, but I do kind of like it. <laughs> can put it that way. Kind of. The enemy flee by the Lord above. Doesn't CA want to do the same thing with Medieval 2 like Rome 1? Remaster it? Oh, oh, 
They probably are, but the way that it works is that they give um, Feral Interactive the rights to do that, and Feral just takes their sweet time doing it, because what they do is they, they make it for mobile, they make it for Android, they make it for your iPad, and then they get the remaster done. Another thing to keep in mind is that Medi uh, the Rome 1 remaster didn't do very well, and so... Well, Creative Assembly might do a Medieval 2 remaster, it's really hard to say if they're going to justify it, given how poorly Rome 1 remaster did. But I would argue that less work needs to be done to a Medieval 2 remaster than a Rome 1 re remaster, so you can get away with it. No. That That's my thoughts on that. Okay, cool, that worked out pretty well there. Any chance of... Uh, yep, we can get some peasants. Ooh... Should we stay around and get some more? Yeah, let's get some more. We're in no rush. Yeah, income's looking good. It's only turn seven. I, I don't I don't know if we're gonna get to two two hundred and four. Uh twelve oh four. We'll see. <laughs> I'll have to stop conquering. Alright, this is a bit of an iffy situation here. If I could open the gates, and this is a big if, what we can do here is cut these guys off. That'd be amazing, but this is big, big if. Moving in unseen. Let's see. Okay. Take take your bets, people. 50-50 chance with Legend of Total War on an agent success action. Not only does he have to get in there, but he also has to open the gates. Okay? So I reckon it's about 95% chance of death. Smelvin did a DKK 100 super chat. Oh yes, good old horse effing sandwich. Nice to see you playing. The nostalgia gem. Yep, he's dead. Of course he's dead. Of course. <laughs> of course he died. Of course he did. Of course he did. 100% fail chance. Of course. Your will. I'm not even surprised. Sibni Lawadi, infidel. Yala, my sultan wishes you dead. All right, well, 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 okay. On the plus side, I don't have to pay him anymore. Yes? They might sell you out against us, which would be totally fine. Yes! Crossing for battle. We'll have to stop him out for a little bit otherwise, because that looks uh, that looks pretty damn dangerous. Oh yeah, that's super dangerous. We're gonna have to wait for the sally out, I think. Who do I Alright, you got a little bit of travel time, but yeah, there's so many gold mines here. It'll be mostly corruption though, so it's not that big of a deal. Orders? Oh, this is a troublesome situation here. Yeah. A lot of a lot of bloody horse Yala. archers. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. Yes. We besiege ah. the settlement, and I reckon those guys this is where we shall meet the enemy. will stay there. Settlement, my lord. Your will. Yes, lord. Yes. Crossing for battle. I think they that they'll stay there. They're going nowhere, my lord. Either that, or they'll try to sally out. I don't know. We'll see. Name thy enemy, lord. Orders. Your Majesty. Onward. Orders. Learn enough, my lord. Should we spare any of them? Ah, uh, this will be quick. No matter how they beg, let none escape. Attack! Classic legend? Of course, yeah. There was no doubt in my mind that he was going to die. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it to be bad weather. Success chance under 100 equals 10% fail chance. You actually can't get it to 100% in Medieval 2. Can't get to 100. The highest chance you can get is 95%. And I think the lowest chance is 10? I'm actually not sure. Uh, let's see. All right, let's try to attack them around here. Alright, so the three units that we're dealing with are basically just 
spearmen, and some more slashes. Okay, it should be easy for these guys. Should have plenty of ammo. Legend of No Luck. Well, remember what I said before, guys. Um, a long time ago, I made a pact with Zinch. And when you make a pact with a Chaos God, you get a gift. But that gift also comes with a curse. So Zinch gave me... I'm probably talking to the wrong crowd here. Um, gave me the power of cheese. Gave me the power to look at a situation and manipulate it to my advantage. But the downside was, I have god awful luck. Not, it's not every single time, but it happens a lot. 50% of the time, I fail every time. So be careful when you make a pact with the devil. Or a demon. You know, there's a price to be paid. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Oh, that's freaking awesome there. Okay, we just need to smash the gate down now. Yeah, a bit of lore of legend. Saracen militia. Cool. Good, they're ripping them to shreds. Nice. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. I need to get a little bit of friendly fire with that. Alright, there is still a unit of Turkish javelin men. They're not great in melee, so technically our Emperor should be able to handle it, but if they take one single shot at him, they will rip him to shreds. So i got to be careful with that. Soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy also, if any, any of you guys played now. the game uh, Return to Moria, I started playing that yesterday. It's pretty good. Not too bad. Might play some of that with Great Book of Grudges um, sometime soon. We'll see. Quick, 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 quick. Don't let them shoot. Just charge into melee. They're going to break anyway. You have archers. Praise the Almighty. This is a. It's alright. Very buggy and kind and quirky. Buggy? Mm, I didn't encounter any bugs, but fair enough. We tore them apart, my lord. Then again, survival they games are usually super buggy, so I'm like, chance. yeah, it's fine. I have silenced them. It's still in EA, isn't it? Most survival games when they come out are in early access. Yes. Essentially. Who do I face? It's industry Your standard. Bodies. Oh, I could bring him over here. Orders. And that way we could win. But then again, they might sell you out, so maybe I don't want to do that. Well, there's nowhere else for him to go. Unless I run down to here. Command me. Oh, I could run down here. I think I might do that. Yes. Stopping for the night. Orders. All right. Just leave a unit of damaged archers yes. behind, Your and have these guys try to keep up. March. Oh, we're going into um, hospitaler tomorrow? territory now. That'll be interesting. Fight a different enemy for once. Let me strike, my lord. Alright, that appears to be that. Alright, we got a nice big army here. Next turn, we'll set sail and bring these guys back over to Constantinople. In preparation for the Crusaders. Eh. 
And then we'll be able to get a whole bunch of units from here. Thing is, I'm gonna need to get a general back over here, so... Your win, yes? This guy here. Is, I... Oh, he's got no fucking command. Um, I don't think that matters. Alright, bring him back. Command me. Yeah, he's Stop gonna command the situation. How old is he? 24? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, bring him back. He'll command against them. Alright, we got a bit of money. Let's build. Yeah, we need population growth first. Wait, what's what's going on with this settlement? Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so the, yeah, the public order's fine. And it looks like he can get moving orders, now with this. Orders, my king. Yeah, public order's fine, okay. We should still try to uh, improve it a little bit. So best thing I think we can do is just get the town guard. The religious unrest is going away, so that, that'll be fine. And as long as we keep... The militia high, yeah, that's fine. Okay, this one here, try to catch up if you can. Who do I face? Where to, sire? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what else can we construct? Ankara. Uh, probably should focus on garrison there a little bit. Uh. Yeah, if I had money, I'd do that, but I'm out. Okay, cool. Making about 8,700 a turn. That's not too bad. It'd be interesting what happens here. It could be an absolute bloodbath. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Let's see how they like this. How do you say, please do not attack? <laughs> you, you can't. Hmm. So I'm considered untrustworthy. What if we go with, say, 3,000? A very reasonable proposal. Mm. Very well. We accept. Their wealth is boundless, so Please let's see what else we can get. We are listening. There's an exploit that we can do to basically take all their territory off them straight away. We shouldn't do that. Fair enough. We accept your proposal. Cool. Yeah, I, I made some money. Cool. A most worthwhile meeting, mon ami. Uh, nah. Okay. Looks like that big fuck off army fucked off somewhere and left all these guys here to die. Which is not good for them because if they lose Iconium, that's pretty damn important settlement for them. That is a very important settlement. And. Where did they go though? I didn't see where they went. Alright, so I saw over here that they did not um, sally out, which means launching an attack there is very dangerous. Let me strike, my lord. We march on our victims. Now we have them. We lay siege. Your orders, noble one. Yes. Good, caught up. It is nice. an honor to lead these armies. Alright, 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 alright. And over here, yep, that's fine. Yes! Well, at least we'll be able to kill these guys relatively easily. But yeah, where did their army go? They would have... It was standing here, so in order to go anywhere, he probably went up this way. Because there's no way he ran around us. He's, he's got to be running around here. How much territory... Let's have a look at the Turks and see what's going on with them. Alright, we have just surpassed them in overall ranking. So militarily, they are considered significantly stronger than us, but they're also fighting on two fronts. Production, we're way higher than them. Territorially, we've we've taken a lot of territory away from them, but they've managed to expand. Obviously not on me, I haven't lost a single battle yet. Uh, financially, they are fine. They're richer than us, slightly. Uh, no, by a fair bit. 
I suppose. Population, we're rocketing above them. Okay. Well, we're about to kick him out of Anatolia, so that's no small... Right. Oh, what well, you... You fucking bloody... You fucking... You fucking bloody crusaders, what do you think you're doing over here? Guess what? Attacking on your command! Ah, suck shit! Uh, the whole the whole army got sunk. Oh, that's that's very bad for them. But legend, they're Christian. Blech. They were clearly going to attack us. Yes, my lord. <laughs> yes, my lord. All right. Your orders. Yes, my lord. Full All right, where is yes, uh, what's the settlement called? Nicosia. Yes. Leaving the men ashore. Okay, I can make it there, but I've got to do yes. this. Move out. As my lord wills, we march to battle. I wonder if we should try to draw out this garrison as well, like we did the previous one, because that worked out really nicely. Considering this is all infantry. Your might. Yes. And like low grade infantry. I'm pretty sure I only need a handful of troops. It depends on what this one is. I reckon it's just more Byzantine spears. Uh, what's the minimum amount needed? So these are Trebizond archers. Okay, okay, okay. I reckon just bring two of these healthy ones. And that's. I don't think I need any more than that. Because whatever this unit is, I'll just snipe it, and then the rest of this will just fold over like butter. No problem. All right, you need to. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Who do I face? All right, let's keep moving down yes. here. Approaching, my lord. But legend, you got a trade agreement with them. Meh. We shall send them to hell or worse. <laughs> yeah. Orders. Yeah, whatever. Let me guess. Yeah, untrustworthy. Yeah, fair enough. Marco did a two-year submission at Jerusalem. Got drowned like Barbarossa. Yeah, pretty much. Although that was that was like happened here, fair enough. All right, these guys here are yes. finished for now. We need to get them up to yes, Constantinople, ready for oh, twelve oh four, which is not too far away because it moves this it two years per turn. Okay, we've also got more troops over here coming in. We need more cavalry. Yeah, just keep them coming. This will spend the next few turns recovering. Yeah, whatever, just get some more. We can send more shipments. Your Majesty. Yes! Yes, Lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Just in case they do a sally out. The seat, Lord. Oh, don't say that. I mean. Alright, we've also got this to do. So, which yes, army should we use? Way. Probably mostly melee infantry. Considering what we're up against, we'll use, um, use this dude here. Yeah, as well as just melee infantry. Just rush at them. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Yeah, right, Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Men, bring our people honor, glory, and most of all... Should you convert both settlements on Cyprus into towns? Eventually, yes. But what you should do is convert them to... Car oh, I'm sorry, upgrade them to castles first. That way, when you convert them, they won't be small towns, they'll be large towns. But yes... Uh, typically speaking, with island settlements, they get attacked very much infrequently, and port settlements are more valuable as a city than as a castle. But if you want a defensible settlement, then obviously castles are better, so there's no wrong answer with city or castle. And really, you could put castles everywhere if you really wanted to, but you will limit the amount of money that you make. Alright, this is a bit of a mess. Right, the enemy have got some reinforcements, which I think this guy here will be able to take out by himself. We've got battering ram coming through here, and then we need these... Hang on. Are there two gates? I think there is with this... Yeah, there is with this type of settlement. We just need to find out where they're least defended, and then smash them.
All right, looks like this flank over here is poorly defended. That's where we're going in. This is a regular castle. Okay. All right, just bring these around this away. Uh, I probably shouldn't run. Yeah, if we charge up over here, we're going to take excessive casualties. Go around that way. A bit more. Dealing with Squalor in Rome Total War. Um, yeah, so Squalor is... That, that's a good question. It's, it's what happens with a, a lot of people um, ask this question. Um, what noobs do is that they abandon the settlement and then just reconquer it and exterminate it. But if you're good at the game, you shouldn't ever need to do that. So managing Squalor is simply a case of keeping an eye on the situation because when Squalor gets out of hand, it starts to snowball and you just, you, you, you've lost control of it. So when growing a settlement, here are some things to keep in mind. If the settlement is growing too quickly and its public order is deteriorating, start to limit the amount of growth. And the way you do that is either by increasing the taxes or by recruiting peasants and sending them elsewhere. So when you recruit a peasant, it draws it from the, um, the, from the settlement. Let's just say, let's just say hypothetically you're playing as Rome and you com conquered Jerusalem, right? Which is a settlement that has a very high population growth and a lot of unrest, right? If you start to see that the population growth is like 5% per turn and you're sitting at like 20,000 population and and you're like at 80% public order, that is not a time to sit on your hands. You're not going to be able to get ahead of that before too long. So recruit peasants, recruit shitloads of peasants, and then just get them out of there. Just get them out of there. Just keep recruiting peasants and send them elsewhere and disband them in another region that doesn't have many. So that's one thing to do to keep the population down. Um, destroying things that provide population growth is something. Obviously, you can't destroy farms. They don't build more farms. But in, in key settlements that have high amounts of, of uh, unrest, because some settlements have just like a base amount of unrest that you can't really do much about unless you've got a governor in there, um, you should really in, endeavor to build your public order buildings first and also to try to remove any any buildings that are not of your culture. So it's, it's a matter of foresight. A lot of people, they just don't pay attention to it and then they see that red face. Oh no, it's about to revolt. And then they just exterminate the population. You don't need to do that because... Even though you'll make like 10 or 20 grand from, from burning the settlement down to the ground, you have to consider the amount of forces you'll need to retake the settlement. You know, that's paying additional troops because you're not going to take it back with one unit. Um, and also, when you lower the population of a settlement, you will lower the amount of income that it makes. So keeping population high is actually a good thing if you can manage it. So this is one of the good things about the older Total War games like Rome Total War and Medieval 2 is that when settlements grow and become bigger, they actually become more problematic, especially if they're on the outer regions of your settlements. But a bit of planning and foresight should be fine. Obviously, when you're capturing the settlement for the first time, don't occupy anything that's like... A big city you always want to either enslave them or exterminate them just for public order sake otherwise you're gonna be there forever maintaining public order and he can't properly run them down so it's the same thing with medieval 2 you shouldn't ever need to abandon your settlement and burn it to the ground, ever. With a uh, with a bit the of planning and foresight, you know, seeing seeing when no things are starting place. to grow out of, out of control, no match for valor and the you can uh, take control of the situation. If like like an example for medieval two, if your city is becoming ours. quite large and it's on the edge of the of your border, like eighty uh, percent of distance we'll to capital, and it's like eighty percent not your religion then you probably are fucked up. You really need to keep an eye on that shit. So, it's the, it's the age-old saying, the best... Um, the best cure is a prevention. You know what I mean, I can't remember what the exact saying is. 
the best cure is a, is is don't let it happen in the first place. Our men have done well. The gates have fallen. But all that just comes with practice. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Thanks for the tips. I started building up farms at all, or at least if need be. Oh, I started not building farms. Okay, so if if the settlement is small, like if it's a town, then yeah, you're definitely gonna want to build farms. But yeah, you. I have seen guides on the forums where they say, "Oh, don't build farms at all." But to no, you definitely want to build sunset, farms in your smaller settlements because otherwise the you're gonna miss out on a lot of money we have and population growth, general. which is which is money. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can rest at our. But you can end. definitely maintain public order with, um, with this careful planning of your city. That's all it really is. Okay, let's get these guys in here. All right, these guys are yeah they're getting off the bat off the um, the battlements here. Now's the time for us to advance. Oh nice, there we go, Turkish archers. I'll take that. Oh, that's really bad for them. These are good units that went completely to waste. Our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Oh, he shot me. Uh, Sipahis, okay. Sorry. Alright, he should be able to handle that as long as the general doesn't come in here at the same time. Religion, I'm considering getting back into historic Shadow War games. The Medieval 2 is just too clunky for me. Is Rome Remastered any good? Men have reached the walls Rome Remastered is way more clunky than Medieval 2. Way more clunky, in my opinion. Pathfinding is absolute trash in that game. Um, I, yeah, I would say that it, it's um, really clunky. I, I would recommend Medieval 2 over Rome 1 Remastered. Personally. Rome one's a great game, don't get me wrong, but it's place. very, very clunky. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. That starts shooting at me, that's gonna be a problem. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Battering Ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Okay, I think we should go around this way and get them, rather than through here. Is this base gate or modded? Um, this is a Total War Saga Crusades. It's a Saga game. <laughs> oh, I didn't get there in time. Should have gone the other way in hindsight. Oh well. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours.
Ah, uh, watch out for him. Yeah, we got this. We've got this. I don't think anyone really questioned whether or not we had this. What's with the Fs? What's with the Fs? Sorry for ping, but you missed my super chat earlier. Does it still show for you? So sorry, dude. Let's have a look. Oh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Uh, just put it in the chat and I'll read it out. My lord! Yeah, sorry. I, I must have just missed it. I, I just I can't see it. Sorry. Stream crash. I got no dropped frames. So it must be a problem at YouTube's end this time. It's not my end. Everything's completely solid here. I've had no dropped frames whatsoever. My lord! We have lost control of the castle! The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. But yeah, um, Silver Dark Moon. If My you lord, could repeat what you said in the super chat, in command of the castle. My lord, including the amount that you super chatted, I'll just read it out as if it was a super chat. I just, I can't see it. What do I think of the Greek Fire Thrower? They're very powerful, but they're not great to use against Turks because they'll prioritize shooting them and they're not going to get close. These are really good against the Europeans, though. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Dead Like Me says, Since auto resolve Curses. is one of the biggest problems for Rome 2, no will you consider playing DEI if you had a mode that replaces the auto resolve, actually stimulating battle? No, not really, because the problem with uh, DEI is the battles take way too long. Like, I just, I can't just, I just, the amount of time you have to justify to play a DEI campaign, it, they, it just takes way too long. And I don't enjoy the battles for Rome 2, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't solve the inherent problem with the Rome 2. Is in our favor. It was five dollars and asking and how shields work in Medieval 2. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Thanks to the chat for five dollars. Alright, so let's take a unit with shields. It's real simple that the shield value is essentially armor value or defense skill. So it reduces the amount of damage, sorry, it reduces the chances of taking damage only from the front. So a unit that gets hit in the back or shot in the back, their shield value is zero, absolute zero, right? So if, you're sh if you've got a, a, um, an archer unit that's shooting into a unit that has three armor and eight shield, then that is the equivalent of having 11 armor. But only if it's shooting it from the front. So think of it that way. It's front armor. It also applies for melee defense as well. So shield value is very good. Look, here's the thing, guys. Um, I've played Divide Ed Impera on the channel before. It performed like absolute ass. Um, I just don't think it's a good idea. And I, don't, I didn't enjoy any of it. Does that also apply in melee? Yes, from the front. So if you hit someone in the back, their shield doesn't count. Whereas armor applies if it's at the front or the back. Doesn't matter. It is unwise to praise the So armor is a better value, but our men are winning it's good to have shield as well. The enemy general lies dead. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Order resolve should never in any Total War game make clear you're winning or losing the order resolve. Yeah, yeah. There's there's issues with auto resolve. Like it's there for a reason. It's there to um, reduce tedious campaigns. So I definitely think there should be auto resolve. But there's definitely total war games where auto resolve can be um, uh, abused. Rome Two is one of the classic examples. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the total war games where you can abuse um, auto resolve. Shogun Two, 
to a minor degree, but you can. Shogun 2, uh, Rome 2, Attila, Warhammer 1, Thrones of Britannia are the most notable examples of order, uh, order resolve abuse. Then from Warhammer 2 onwards, they fixed that little problem. Now, the thing is with Rome 2 specifically is that I hate the battles in Rome 2. I can't stand the way that they play out because in Rome 2, on very hard battle difficulties, right, the AI cheats are absolutely absurd on the lower... So they're absolutely absurd, right? But if you, when the early stages of the campaign, you simply... It's really difficult to overcome um, the insane melee cheats. Killing the enemy general in Mel in Rome 2 doesn't do much, so trying to cause a rout in Rome 2, even in the early stage of the campaign, it's just freaking impossible to do it on the um, on the higher battle difficulties. So it makes battles feel really unsatisfying, right? So I just prefer to just skip the beginning of, of a campaign. I hate the beginning of a campaign in Rome 2. Then you get to the later stages of the campaign where you start getting heavier infantry. Even though the AI have melee cheats, you can overcome them because you start getting better units. You start getting a bit more tactical competence with your armies. But the problem is still that in order to beat any army, you still have to obliterate it rather than killing the enemy general. So the game doesn't have very good tactics. It has just really high... It's, it's all about just modifying the stats. Um, and I find that to be incredibly unsatisfying in, in Rome 2, which is why I just don't play it. And unfortunately, Divide and Impera just leans straight into that. It's not, not the game's fault, but I'm just not interested in playing that at all. DEI is balanced for normal to avoid cheats. Yeah, okay, so dead like me. Um, that's a good point, but here's the problem then. If I play Divide and Impera on normal difficulty, it's so ridiculously easy, I might as well not even play it. So that's, that's the problem, right? On normal difficulty, it's too easy. Way too easy. I, tr I tried it on normal difficulty. I basically cakewalked it. So I put it up to legendary difficulty, and it becomes not fun. So it's not fun on normal difficulty. It's not fun on legendary difficulty. Not Divide and Impera's fault, but I just don't like it. It's, it's Rome 2's fault. And I don't understand why people who like Divide and Impera go to so much effort to try to get me to play Divide and Impera. It's not Divide and Impera's fault. It's Rome 2's fault. Um, let's ransom. Yeah. I was going to give them a chance to live. Oh, well. Wasn't that much. The reason why I was going to take a ransom is because I was just going to attack him again. We show little mercy. They deserve none. We march through your enemy's streets. Victory! I understand. My solution was playing versus the player, but I agree with you. Oh, that's fine. Like, if you're playing in, in like, a co-op or a head-to-head -head mode, then that's fine. But I, I play by myself. It's just... The inherent problems of Rome 2, like Rome 2 is super easy if you if you don't if you sorry if you don't lean into its mega problems, right? It's a super easy game. But that makes it not fun. But the thing is if you lean into its problems, it becomes not fun either. So it's just I, I can't play Rome 2 and have fun. I just can't. <laughs> it's just unfortunate. There's no way for me to play Rome 2 and actually enjoy it. I just don't like the game. Would you say the Kingdoms campaigns are harder than base medieval 2? Uh yeah, I'd probably say that. But, you know, I don't want to take away from the enjoyment of those of you who really enjoy Rome 2 and Divide Ed Impera. If you're enjoying it, by all means. It's just it's, it's just different tastes. Um, but I don't like campaigns that take a month to play. I, I want to play a campaign that can basically finish in one or two days. And Divide Ed Impera is not that. I'm fairly sure that that other army ran out this way. The enemy are beaten! This army here should be able to handle that, actually. Okay, hang on. We got reformed a little bit because of these guys coming in as reinforcements. Yes. Yes. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Need to fight this manually because order resolve won't wipe them out. Your Rome 2 gameplay rant described every Total War since Rome 2, though. Same thing about Warhammer 3, just stat stacking on top of stat stacking. Only viable strats to blob and missile spam. No, that's not entirely true. Not entirely true. So, all right, let's let's use some examples. In Attila, it's not the case because in Attila, there are a lot of tactical options available to you to overcome the AI melee cheats. 
that are not available to you in Rome 2, right? So in Attila, if you kill the enemy general, which is not that difficult to do in most cases, because they will just usually zerg him straight into your, your front line. But if you kill the enemy general, morale is heavily impacted. It's the opposite of Rome 2. In Rome 2, killing the enemy general is like a minus two lead, uh, morale penalty. It's, it's nothing. You know, your peasants like go, Pfft, so our king died, who cared? They just don't, they don't really care that much. Barely does anything. But in Attila, uh, you, you kill the enemy general and the entire army starts to waver. Another thing is that in Attila, you've also got other tools to cause um, morale penalties. So flanking with cavalry is really impactful in Total War Attila. So if you've got some heavy cavalry or even light cavalry with, with uh, diamond formation or wedge formation, you can inflict massive casualties on the charge as long as the infantry is embraced, right? In addition to that, you've also got archers that have flaming shot and whistle shot. So you can overcome amazing odds in Total War Attila because the amount of tactics available to you are way better than in, in Rome 2. It's just that the melee cheats are still there, but you have the means to overcome them. Now, in terms of Warhammer, it definitely still suffers from the same problem of Rome 2, absolutely, but you don't have to lean into it. Whereas in Rome 2, you have to lean into it, right? Uh, well, actually, no, you don't have to lean into it in Rome 2. What you can do in Rome 2 is just auto-resolve your battles. If you just stack high melee defense, cheap infantry, just overwhelm the enemy with numbers, you don't ever have to fight a single battle manually. But with Warhammer 3, or 2, or 1 even, actually, with 1, you can do the same thing. Uh, just order resolve. But in Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 3, you can't really just order resolve your way through a campaign. In Warhammer 3, actually, you can by putting the battle difficulty down to easy. You'll never need to fight a battle manually in the entire campaign. Um, but you just don't lean into the problems. So, for example, Lord Sniping in, in Warhammer, it's not about trying to rout the enemy. So, morale is not a robust mechanic in Warhammer. And this is why I very rarely lean into it. But in Warhammer, you have other tools to cause mass amounts of damage in order to inflict the army losses, which is why I'm always talking about the army losses in Warhammer. Whether that be using archer spams or whether that be using monsters or all these kind of things. But you've got a lot of units at your disposal that are able to cause mass amounts of damage. And you can use single entities to guide the, the enemy me into what you want it to do, which is something that you can't really do in Rome 2. Now don't get me wrong as well, I'm not saying that Warhammer is perfect, it's got a lot of issues, and I think that not having ro robust morale is a huge issue that I've had with it all, all along. But there are ways around it to make satisfying battles, you just have to not lean into the problems that exist in the game. But like I said, with Rome 2, it's very hard not to lean into the problems, because that problem exists with every single unit in the early stage of the campaign. Like, if you, let me, let me ask you this. If you've played Rome 2, you probably know this. You've got an army, early game army. Let's just say it's, um, you know, medium sort of infantry. And the you kill the enemy army, but the enemy general is still on the battlefield. A unit of Oathsworn. And you surround that unit of, of Oathsworn. Because you outnumber that fucker five to one. You've got five units still remaining, and they've just got their Oathsworn. You surround him, and he kills you down to the last man. Because you, no matter how many times you cycle charge into him, you kill their general. But they kill you down to the last man, because you just cannot overcome those cheats. How many of you guys have been in that situation? Because I have. And that makes me not want to play the battles in Rome 2. And every single army is going to be commanded by a freaking Oathsworn general. So battles only become satisfying when you start getting heavier infantry that can actually fight the enemy generals toe-to-toe -to -toe and not get completely wiped out. Rome Total was a pure stats game? Yeah, and some people like that, but I don't really like that. I don't like it when stats determine the outcome of battles. If I wanted stats to determine the outcome of battles, just play, like, Paradox games. Only half the enemy force remains. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. 
So again, this is one of those situations where people would mostly go into loose formation, but because we have massive archer superiority here, going into loose formation would actually make that some of our units wouldn't shoot, so it would reduce the amount of damage that we dish out. And you can see here, we're not taking much. Taking 1% casualties. Nothing to be concerned about. Let's get up in their face. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! Alright, 87%, that's advantage. good. That means that they are wiped out. Good, that's three units of horse archers taken out. Cool. Bit of damage to us, but we'll cover a little all bit. Of Christendom will be all that's why I go one general, five artillery, rest heavy infantry in Rome too. Yeah, that's that's similar to what I used to do as well. Like, a couple of artillery and just like all spam the heaviest infantry that you can get. You basically just doom stack in Rome too. So in the early stage, you auto resolve crap stack and then laid it on. It's just like massive amounts of heavy infantry. It also depends on what faction you're playing. So if you're playing something that's got pikes, then pikes can overcome pretty much anything as long as they're not getting shot. Um, but some factions don't have access to that. And other factions will have access to elephants. Elephants can usually overcome. Like o elephants can kill an oath sworn unit as long as they don't get hit by the javelins, the precursor javelins. Um, where the hell did that fucking army go? There's another settlement over here that I forgot to get or didn't get. Who do I face? Yes. Yes. Approaching. Approaching. Where the hell did he go? Yes, marching. Huh. Men, we march. Continuing tomorrow. He's got to be hiding in here or something. I'll leave those units in here just in case he besieges. Hang on. Your Majesty. If he's in there. On my way. Happily oh, he ran out this way. You can actually. On my way. Very well. Happily. Where man. the hell is he? There was a big full stack. Where'd it go? Uh, DTM became a new member. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Oh, there's another one over here as well. Shit, I forgot about all these coastal settlements. Where the hell did he go? Let me strike, my lord. Yes. Bringing these lands under your gate. Uh, there he is. Okay, there he is. At least we know where he is now. Okay, that's fine. All right. Well, this army here isn't going to be able to handle him. He could come back here and besiege the settlement. Who do I face? Uh, there's no siege artillery. What we could? Ooh. Name thy enemy, lord. Ooh. What if I hid most of my units in the forest here and tried to lure them back over? That could be interesting. I mean, I'll need to bring this guy back over, but he'll be able to make it. Or this guy is just going to make his way over to here, I suppose. But I think we should try to wipe him out because he's going to just surprise us later down the track. All right, let's hide our units yes. and bring them over here. So Order. let's leave behind the Good Greek points. fire throwers and put our guys in the forest here. Move out. Hiding our there we go. They're hidden. Now they're not. All right, maybe she's going there then. Yes. March. Move out. Hmm, I think you need a certain amount of movement to go into ambush. I'm really not super familiar with, with uh, ambushes in this game, because I just don't do them very often. Uh, they might besiege it anyway. I don't know, I, I couldn't figure it out. They were in ambush dance and then they, they got pulled out of it. I don't know. Alright, this guy is heading back here. Oh yeah, I can recruit a merchant here. <laughs> Yay, merchants! Okay, we need uh, these. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. Your orders. All right, who else needs to move? Let's have a look. Who do I face? Orders. Oh, we've got this. But yeah, my problem here is that if I launch the attack, I'm pretty certain I would lose. Although I've got these guys here, they will help. This is a wooden castle. These are fucking difficult to attack. 
Um, I think I'll just cheese it. I'll just cheese it. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Your Majesty. Orders. You come stand over here. My lord, yes. And you guys come stand over here. And they'll probably sally out. Your will. Cool. Name thy enemy, Lord. Over Khmer. Yep, okay, what else do we have? Name to move. Death? Command me. Your orders, noble. Who do I face? Yes. Your orders? Let me strike, my lord. Who do I face? Or your majesty. Orders. Your majesty. Can you not tell friend from foe? Yes. Mm. Stop that, you imbecile! My fleet might get attacked by these guys. I do find that the AI is not super aggressive with their with their Challenge fleets, but we'll see. Alright, let's do some construction. But Legend, what about putting the 20 merchants in the fort strat? Does that even still work? I'm... I could have sworn that was a disc version only um, exploit. I don't know if that works in Steam version. Um, but you got to keep in mind that forts cost two and a half grand in the Crusades campaign. They're permanent. So, I don't know. Let me know if it still works. I don't know if I'll do it, but. Roads could use chapel, I guess. I'm only on turn 8. God, I get through these campaigns kind of slow. Alright, I need to free up some money. Okay. Alright, and we'll see what happens. Oh, they're going to sally out against me. Roger the Crusader with a whole bunch of melee troops. Okay. Waste no time as sparing enemies this day, man. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. No, they're not. See, they lack mobility. They've got heavy cavalry, but we can outrun them. Just harass them. I think visually that Medieval 2 still holds up even in 2023. Is this one long range? Okay, I gotta be careful about them. If they start shooting, I'm gonna get out of there. Your uncle who used to work at CA told me that it still works? Okay. Ideally it'd be good to hit Roger the Crusader first. He's coming up. Where is he? Now these Crusader Knights here, they're kind of akin to mailed knights, so they're actually pretty damn quick. Whereas Byzantine cavalry aren't that fast. That's how they caught up, even though they're heavy cavalry chasing after missile cav. So they get a couple of the guys at the back, but 
Not that big of a deal. Doesn't reduce the amount of ammo we've got. Your thoughts about agents throughout the series? Do you have any preference? Um, I think that agents should exist, but they should never be overpowered, so... The effects of agents should be pretty, sort of, meh. Like, not that big of a deal. Um, I think agents are good for scouting. So, discovering fog of war, that kind of stuff, that's really good. But, like, having agents with a 100% chance of assassinating a character, that's fucking bullshit. And I don't think that difficulty modifiers should include agent action success chance, because it can get really quite bullshitty, where um, enemy heroes just basically start assassinating all your characters, that would really suck. But I definitely don't think they should just be removed from the game. So I think Medieval 2 does a good job of keeping it pretty balanced. Does a pretty good job of it. The AI very rarely uses assassins like crazy. Um, they do when I think uh, stainless steel when the Mongols arrive. They come with a whole bunch of assassins, which that's really irritating. But uh, through the natural gameplay of, of it, it um, assassins don't really don't really succeed all that often. Why don't you have a video about Jade Blood of Vampires? Um, well, I don't know. Did I need to do a video about that? Sorry, I didn't know that I that it was something that I was supposed to do. Yeah, like Merchants in Medieval 2, they're okay. I, I meme on them a hell of a lot, but... The thing about the Merchants is that they're not overpowered when they need to be overpowered. Sorry, they're not overpowered at a crucial point in the game. They become overpowered when the game doesn't matter anymore. So, you know, really late in the campaign, you can make a lot of money from merchants. But early on in the campaign, you're not going to make much money from merchants. So they've actually kind of balanced it correctly. But it's, a, it's not... It's definitely something that you could build upon a, a bit better. It's not great in Medieval 2. I think getting rid of diplomats and just being able to open diplomacy is actually a good thing. It uh, reduces the amount of um, busy work that you want to do. Because diplomacy in the older Total War games is not very good. It's definitely better in the newer ones. Yeah. Best soundtrack in Total War in your opinion? Definitely Medieval 2. Then I would say Warhammer. Then Rome 1. Th that's what I would say, yeah. I think I did a, a uh, top 5 video on this once. I really like the Warhammer soundtrack for most of the races. And the fact that each race, more or less, has their own soundtrack is really cool. But Medieval 2 soundtrack just slaps. There's nothing quite like it. These two here, these three, have exhausted their ammunition. I'm going to move them up ahead. No one went after my general, so I didn't need to move him. He's just sitting there nice and fresh, which is good. So these guys have a lot of armor, so it's hard to get a lot of kills on them. But just any kills that we can get is worth it. Because this infantry here is going to fold like butter as soon as we kill the enemy general. Plus he's going to be exhausted. So keep this up, keep exhausting him. This one here is out of ammo as well.
so far. You don't have any good shots there. Back off. Alright, so I'm a little bit concerned that we're not killing anywhere near as many as I originally thought I would here. It's clear that their general's not exhausted yet. Alright, we've got some more guys here that are spent of their ammo. That's fine. Keep it up. Seem to be catching up to us here. A little bit of an issue. The Byzantine cavalry are probably some of the slowest missile cavalry in the game. Oh, freaking... Whatever. Alright, what we want to do now is start bringing our guy back around. Because they're nice and fresh, and all the other forces are exhausted. We should be able to charge right into him and absolutely kill him. Because I forget we got this as well. And these guys here, they can still fight in melee. Very fair take on my question. Cheers, man. No, Zed, I do my best. So in terms of kills, how have we gone so far? Only 9 but Man, all those horse archers got 9% of them. Although we're taking out their strongest stuff. The rest of these infantry won't count for shit. Just a little bit more. Take him out. Okay, they're wavering, so I think we could just charge into them. Yeah, we got him. And good, we ran him down to the last man. Awesome. We got this. It does say defeat is a distinct possibility, but I think we got this. It's all about their most dangerous units. What are the top three worst Total War games for me? Oh man, you really want me to answer questions that's going to piss people off. The absolute worst Total War game, I think, is Empire Total War. But that is just for me. I just want to point that out. A lot of people love Empire Total War, and I recognize that. I'm not saying it's necessarily a... Like a... Uh, a really bad Total War game, but I personally think it has some of the worst battles because of just how buggy and slow-paced it is. Um, I love the naval battles in Empire Total War, don't get me wrong, but the land battles ruin it. Then I would say the next worst Total War game is actually uh, Troy. Now, I've never played Pharaoh, so I can't put it in my bottom three. Um, so after that, after Empire Total War and then... Come on, move it. After Empire of Total War and Troy, I would then say Thrones of Britannia, just because it's such a it, the game wastes my time. It just it's a game that is a shell of a Total War game. It just doesn't have anything in it. This is an absolute shell. So, I think the worst battles in any Total War game is Troy. I think they're the absolute worst. But the campaign mechanics are good in Troy. Um, same sort of thing with Empire, I just don't like the land battles. Not because it's gunpowder, because I like Fall of the Samurai. So I like gunpowder battles, but I don't like the way that Empire does it. And then, yeah. Thrones of Britannia, not a game I'm particularly fond of. Sorry. Okay. Why would you say so controversial yet so brave? Well, people people get pissed off at you if you slam their favorite Total War game, right? 
But the, the problem here is that every Total War game is someone's favorite. There is somebody out there whose favorite Total War game is Throne to Britannia. And I'm not trying to invalidate them at all. I'm just saying my personal preference. You know, somebody out there thinks that Medieval 2 is the worst Total War game ever made. How dare you! You know? But if, you know, if someone comes to me and says, Oh, Medieval 2, I hate that game. You know, my whole world doesn't crumble around me. I'm just like, yeah, that's fair. Whatever. But I don't know, in this day and age, the way that people behave a lot of the time is like, you have to agree with everything or else they hate you. It's just weird. It's so sensitive. Especially on subjective things. Like, we should all just be automatons and just believe the one, one thing. So I, I totally didn't expect him to be able to beat them on the charge, but he did soak up the charge. And now, with no ammunition, we can break the general's bodyguard because he's exhausted. The Lord above is kind. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can rest at our leisure. <laughs> oh, what's that? Don't capture it. Don't capture the gate. Don't capture it. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, good. They're not going back in. That's fine. No, no, they are going back in. Draw them out over here. Never seen that Byzantine ability? Yeah, it is only for this one dude here. So if you've never played the Crusades campaign, you would have never seen it. Somebody's still got ammo left. And so this just reinforces what I was saying before. You can have really high tier units that absolutely will not fight to the death if you give them the right conditions to be pussies. Which is exactly what's going to happen here. Look, dismounted Knights of Antioch, shaken without having taken a bit of damage. And they are just about going to break. I didn't even need to flank them. Whoa, maybe I should have flanked them. Yeah, maybe I should have actually flanked them. I'm trying to prove a point. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. Maybe, maybe I should be flanking. Maybe I should be flanking. I thought I could just charge in here because I'd be exhausted, but not quite. Their quality is overcoming just a little bit of their situation. Just a little bit. I just need to... Um, I need to flank them a little bit better. Oops. Oh, 
The battle seems to be... It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy... Only half the enemy force remains. The enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! The enemy are overcome! Yes. This is... <laughs> Victory! There stood no chance. Okay. I have silenced them. Yeah, I chased this. Men, bring our people honor, glory, and most of all. America's campaign is only focused on Central America and part of the North. Oh, I feel like I missed the first part of that conversation. Alright, we don't have enough here to be able to overcome this. We're actually very outpowered. But if we get to our reinforcements... I just need to get this into a field battle, because I just I couldn't assault this. Without ridiculous casualties, which I'm just not willing to accept. For the moment, the Fortuna battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Adam Clare did a two dollar super chat. Unit, 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 unit charge. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, super chat. Appreciate it. Swiftly moving swiftly. What was the other thing you just said? Oh god, they're catching up to my general there. Oh, these are desert cavalry too. They are. Javelin men, which is kind of more dangerous. Gotta be careful. Always going to take some damage here. This is just a very dangerous army. Quickly, swiftly. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, yeah, we're going to suck up damage here. General flees like the coward he is. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a world. And the reason why I don't put my melee infantry in front of the archers is because your archers will shoot at an angle instead of shooting straight ahead, which will lower their damage output. So even if it means getting the odd charge sent in here, it's worth it, in my opinion. So actually make your archers actually dish out damage, which they definitely are. They're ripping them to shreds. I think that's their general there. I need to charge at these Turkish archers. The enemy the general shreds. has no honor. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. The Lord above is kind. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can rest at our leisure. Okay, it's all good here. 
when do you even use the horse arrow formation? This? Ugh, I very rarely use it. It's got too many downsides to it. So I would use it if I was trying to waste enemy ammo. That's the only reason I would try to use it, which I just try not to do that in Medieval 2. I don't need to. Because, yeah, the problem with it is that it makes your units super exhausted really quickly. The enemy are badly come on, bloody. come on, come on. Break, 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 break. They have lost half their break. men. Yeah, it makes them exhausted really quickly, and they're not particularly accurate while they're doing that. So, I just don't prefer doing it. The battle is in our favor. doesn't increase your damage up, but it's, uh, it's, um, it's definitely a good Victory technique if you need it, but I usually just don't need it. There's arrow physics in the game? Oh yeah, for sure. Alright, we've essentially won. Just need to route them all simultaneously. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the praise the Almighty. This is a clear victory. So it is mostly useless. Uh, Again, it depends on the situation. The the yeah, some people will be able to get really good use out of it. It, it just depends. Oh man, we had a lot of sally outs this turn. I didn't necessarily cheese this. I just um this one here. I just knew that they would sally out because I got a ton of inf- Oh, I wasn't expecting that to be cavalry. Uh, we'll manage. <laughs> I could only see all of these units, so I just assumed that this was another unit of Byzantine spears. If I had known, I would have put another horse archer here. Uh, I think it'll be okay. Draw your weapons, men. We bring the when should fire arrow be used, and when should regular arrows be used? 99% of the time you should use regular arrows. Flaming arrows should Your only be used. Appear to be gaining the upper hand in these battles. They should only be used when you are trying to rout the enemy. So if the if you're in a bog, like defending a settlement or, or something, and the enemy units are wavering, that is the time to use flaming shot. If they're like eager, don't bother. So it's just that last little kick to get them to uh, to break. Flaming arrows, otherwise, you shouldn't use them because they are... In terms of damage output, the regular arrows actually dish out more because what ends up happening is that flaming arrows are less accurate. So unless you're shooting at point-blank range, you're not going to dish out more damage per flaming shot. But in another thing is that they take twice as long to reload. So if you're trying to dish out damage, the regular arrows is the way to go. Alright, we've got a nice big high ground over here, so that should compensate us for our numerical inferiority. Because, yeah, we are very badly outpowered. Maybe you should try to surround the horse archers and melee it. Yeah, not while it's in a bunch of their units here. Well, I'll just end up dying. Alright, so this is one of the situations where I think uh, loose formation actually might come in handy, because we are... They have better archers than us. Having the high ground really does help. I really wish this one would come at us a bit more. If I kill that general, everything will be fine. 
I think. Yeah, go for the Scythicon. If we have a look here, these guys have a missile damage of 6, and Scythicon have a damage of 6 as well. They've got pretty much no armor, where these guys have some. Oh, I've got Scythicon as well. Okay. But we have the high ground. Don't try it, Scythicanikin. Okay, here we go. Okay, I need to take out the enemy general, because these guys here didn't break from that charge, which is not good, because that's what I needed them to do. Okay, that one broke, that's good, that's good, it's a start. Enemy general flees like the coward he is. We need to kill him. Glorious heaven okay, above. Him. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard G -G. him well. Give the dog some Not wine WP. and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Okay, that's good. That one's gone. So they should not be using flame shot there. That, that's a mistake. Because morale only matters when you hit zero. Oh, uh, what's that? Looks like the bounce of power's turning. The enemy are badly flooded. They have lost half their men. Yeah, these are good cavalry. They're very responsive because they're not super heavy. For the moment, the fortress has shitloads of damage on the charge. Let's pray it remains as such. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Praise the Almighty by the Lord above. Oh, did pretty well. Our foe has <laughs> been much. I wasn't worried. How do you use wedge on a charge? Well, you gotta the click the wedge ours, button. I just Lord. usually don't because it tends to, to do less damage and it makes your unit less Lord mobile. Lord. So we it's alright. I don't use it. Um, yeah. Take Alania. Okay, I was heading down there anyway. So that is for, what was it, two grand? Some military units, okay, that's fine. 
So it is currently the year 1190. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said we were going to deal with the, yes, um, the thing. I don't know if we're going to. Back to land, men. Yes. Yes. Yes, my lord. Command me. The orders? Plotting course now, my lord. Cool, we've got more cav coming there. No, what am I doing? I don't need that. Um, go, go with the ship. Need someone to take them there. All right, cool. This province is sorted. So yes. I could probably reinforce the Dana because most of these, a lot of these are cavalry. Orders. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. All right, any recruits here? Yep. Cool. 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 All right, and we're out of here. Yes. Orders. Ma, yes. On to the ships. Cool public order will be fine. Yep, yep, yep. Get this one going. Nice. Yes, my lord. Yes. No, I'm not gonna use the moving box. Yes. We might get sunk Four on the way there, saves. but oh well. We'll see. Yes, my lord. Might be a good opportunity to get a man of the hour out here. Be gone. You are Because no this guy lead. is not gonna live forever. And this will, uh, this will be an easy-ish battle. I need to find out exactly what they've got, though. Sultan. So just press How M may I serve, Sultan? You, yes. go and scout ahead. What, what are we up against here? Yes, Lord. Closing for mm, battle. In fact, I think I can send all of my horse archers at that, and they'll probably still stand and fight, because these guys here are worth tons of balance of power. But all I really need to do is take out the Knights of Edessa, and then we should be fine. So yeah, I'm not going to yes. bring the Emperor because I want to trigger a, a um, Man of the Hour. Yeah, look at that, even, even then. We march to battle. I got four units of, no, five units of fresh horse archers. They're mostly Byzantine cavalry, which aren't great though. Well, these will be able to outrun them. It's in a mountainous terrain, that could be a problem though. Could be a massive problem. We can't have a look at the map. So that could be an issue. Um, hmm, I kind of feel like I, I shouldn't risk it. I should bring in the Emperor. Name thy enemy, Lord. Yeah, the, yes, Lord. these mountainous he terrains, I may just force. need to like bum Who rush them. I may not have a choice. Even the match there. No matter how they beg, let none escape. Are you making preparations for the Venetians? Yes. The tide of yes, battle yeah. seems to have turned against us. Okay, we the map doesn't seem too bad. We definitely events. don't have the advantage to begin with, but I think we can turn it around pretty easily because we've got all cavalry, and cavalry is king here. If I... If they're giving up the high ground, I'll be able to have it in just a moment. Cool. Yep, they've given up the high ground. Alright, maybe I didn't actually need Emperor Manuel. But I just wasn't sure. Use burning head. Yeah, no, you've actually got to use uh, flanking maneuvers and high grounds and stuff like that. Yeah, the burning head is the the sun. Yeah. Good, the Knights of Edessa have just been torn to shreds. This guy here is getting torn to shreds as well. Only intervention oh, shut. by the Almighty Lord or a military you, genius. Advisor. Seriously, we are doing fine. From this disgrace. Bloody advisor. Two to thirty percent. Oh, you're, you're not winning.
What does the Emperor's ability do? Our men have slain the um, enemy I think it stuns a couple of units on the battlefield. It's not that big of a deal. You can only use it once per battle. It's alright. Only half. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! Definitely helps the, the end enemy right there. are overcome! This is a great vi Hmm. The king will pay for our return! Nah. <laughs> I'm just never not going to execute prisoners. Because I like having... Oh, he doesn't even have that much dread. Jeez, come on. What's a guy going to do to be more dreadful? Let me strike, my lord. Your orders? Alright, well, let's go to the coastline here. And then we'll assume that the... That the ship is going to arrive here. And then they'll take us to Antioch. Name thy enemy, lord. Approaching, my lord. Oh, yeah. Be gone. You are not my liege. <gasps> Who do I face? Oh, piss. <laughs> uh, Name thy enemy, lord. Uh, uh oh. Yes. yes. So, yeah, I don't have any units in here, and I can't recruit anything because I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, I will only address you in battle. Whoops. Uh, okay, how can I fix this? Name All right, I need to fix lord. this somehow. I can recruit a unit, but it'll have the same movement as the general, so that's not gonna work. Let me strike. I think I may have just be gone. Who do I face? Maybe if I stand right here, yes. they'll come and fight me, you coward! <sighs> Damn it. Oh well, maybe I screwed that one up. Your orders? Oh well. There's also a possibility they just won't make the attack, especially if they see this Name guy right here, they might just run away. Uh, there is a possibility that they'll just, they'll just snatch the settlement. Whoops! Oh well, easy come, easy go. Let me just send reinforcements down here. Yes. Yes. All right, at Caesarea, let's leave behind. Orders. Your will. One unit. Orders. Send this down here. Oh, I just remembered they've got a guy on its way. Big army. Now, oh, well, we'll see what happens. All right, we need to. Name thy enemy. You know what, I'll send this Your army eyes. to go and smash Alanya. This guy here needs to go after the Turks. Yes. Yes, Martin. Come be here, my lord. No, I cannot go there. I guess I need to guess which way he went, but I, th I think he went this way. I night. think the Turks went over that way. Name thy enemy, lord. All right, I need to leave one unit behind. Martin. Let me strike, my uh, lord. Orders. This... One yes. here. Yes. Come yeah, here, I should be able to handle that. What does chivalry do? Um, okay, so chivalry is good for governors. Dread is good for generals. Um, on the campaign map, putting a chivalrous general inside of a settlement will increase population growth and increase public order. Dread on the campaign map will not increase public uh, population growth, but it will increase public order. On the battlefield, chivalry increases the morale of your units. On For Dread, it decreases the morale of enemy units. So, it, excuse me, in my opinion, having Dread is more important. You can basically cause insta-routes with, um, with super high Dread generals. It's actually kind of ridiculous. We're making shitloads of money. Who do I turn now? My lord, should we spare any Alright, it should be easy. Let's go do it. This is going to give us a whole bunch of gold. Do you still play CK3? I'm hyped for the upcoming Persia stuff. I've actually never played CK3. I don't own it. Units, I wait my 
Yeah, my thoughts on CK3 was that I own most of the DLC for CK2, and if I'm ever going to get CK3, what I'm going to do is just wait for like a massive sale after they've more or less made most of the DLC. Because I'm just not really interested in paying like a lot of money for a game that I've essentially already got. Especially considering I have no intention of covering it on the channel, I just... Yeah, I just, I just gave CK3 a skip. I hear it's pretty good though. But I honestly don't see anything wrong with CK2, so I just play that one. Okay. Fall! It is time to charge men through to slay our ungodly foe. Cool. Three kills, that's what I want to see. Not exactly the most exhilarating thing, but this is incredibly effective. Praise to our Lord! Our men have slain the enemy. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. Now Look, men I got the, uh, the audio phone fixed up. We sh that should have hopefully improved the audio. We spent a bit of time over the weekend to uh, fix up the audio. D did you guys notice a difference? I've definitely noticed a difference in the sound in the room, but I'm not 100% sure. Does the audio sound better now? Alright, so... It's just missile units left. All out attack time. Mishi Zero Tail says no. Okay. Can you write any Total War DLC off for taxes? Yep. In fact, I can write any any game purchase off for taxes. Any at all, even if I don't cover it on the channel. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Right, they're shooting at us, but I can shoot back at them. Sounds much better? Okay, cool. Danger zone right there. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half. Yeah, he's okay. Men. He's okay. He's okay. He's not even bloody yet. They haven't landed a hit on him. It 
It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but Quick and our men it. are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. So it's a risk whenever you send the generals in, but we haven't we haven't killed any generals or any generals in this campaign so far, which is unusual for me. I usually get a general or two killed. This is a clear victory that goes to only. Ah. Uh, uh. We show little mercy. None. We have crushed them. This place is. All right. So this settlement here is making lots of coin because it's got shitload of income from mining. So that's great. But the corruption's a bit of a problem. Not much you can do about it with this kind of settlement. It needs time to grow. If I had just occupied it, it would have been fine. Would have grown. Okay. You can see here the chivalry is providing one percent population growth. There is another settlement up north. If I leave him Name behind, enemy, Lord. How let's may see. I serve, Sultan? 60%, 65%. Uh, if I leave one unit Extract, behind, let's leave um, this one. Orders. Okay, cool. let's go north. Approaching, my lord. Stop in for sire. As you. Tbilisi. Nice. All right, let's go do that. Yeah, I fucked up here. Well, let's, let's just see. Let's see if they take that bait. Command me. Name thy enemy, Lord. Okay, 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 okay. So yes. this guy here. Let me strike, my lord. All right. What yes, I want to do lord. with him Name is build enemy, an actual fort here. Man. We march. They are not going to get into Constantinople. I can fucking promise you that. That's a permanent fort as well. And I'm pretty sure two units will be free of upkeep from them, but they can't get in there this turn. Actually, I'm not sure about that. Maybe that's uh, stainless steel. All right, let's, uh, let's build some stuff. Just leave that be. Abydos is a large town. Let's do that. Yep, that's getting close to growing. Smyrna. Yep. Snoop. Uh, Sindem did a 10 euro super chat. Hey, Legend, what race lord would you suggest for a ranged mixed build army in Warhammer 3 outside of Skaven? Um, high elves? Go with like five spearmen and the rest archers? Uh, thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Yes? March. Your will. Yes? It doesn't look like they ever put a road through here, so I might as well put a watchtower. Yes, Lord. Give us some. Build there watchtower. Yala, my sultan wishes you dead. Command me. Hmm. Where is he? I've been hunting him down for a while. Yes, on my way. God's seventh, my lord. Continuing tomorrow, my lord. Cool. Let me strike, my lord. Cool. We shall All right, let's have a look if there's any more armies that need to move. There could be one or two that I forgot to move. No, that doesn't count. Yes, my lord. Yes. Let me strike. Who do I Okay, cool. Let's move on. To do what? Damn, I'm making 15 grand a turn now. Shit. Didn't know I was making that much money. Okay, moving on. I don't... They didn't take it. They had an opportunity to take it, but they didn't. The Turks are all over this shit, though. 
Um, Prince Stephanos. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's him. Yes. Actually, that would be good. All I have to do is get into Adana. Onward. And then accept it. Yeah! How about that? Suck on them titties. Still, public order's a problem. Command me. And there he is. Wasn't that commanded by a general? Or maybe a mistake? No, 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 he wasn't. Okay. Name thy enemy, Lord. Your orders? I never played Medieval 2. Why do you only see Asia Minor? Where's the rest of Europe? This is the Kingdom's expansion. This is essentially a saga. This is like the first saga Total War game, right? Um, this is just one of the campaigns. Medieval 2 has five official campaigns. It has the Grand Campaign, and then it has the four mini expansion campaigns. The Crusades Campaign, which is this one. The Americas Campaign, so you're playing in like the 14th, uh, 15th and 16th century in North America with like Aztecs, Mayans, um, with the Spanish and that kind of stuff. Then there's um, the Teutonic Campaign, you know, 13th century um, Eastern Europe. And then there's the Britannia campaign, 13th century um, William War Wallace era. So those are the, the three, the four uh, campaigns for medieval two kingdoms. And they're all fucking great. And you can get them all for like a super low price. This went back when it was an expansion. The back when Total War used to provide shitloads of value with their expansions. Honestly, the Kingdom's expansion is largely considered to be one of the most, uh, like the highest value expansion that Creative Assembly ever did. Four really strong campaigns that offered something unique in each one of them. I really can't praise enough what they did with the Kingdom's expansion, and they never did it again. <laughs> it's just like, hmm, everybody loved what we did. Not good enough. Let us sell each individual lord for five dollars or whatever <laughs> when shall we attack the wars then my lord mm, people used to love us mm, but we weren't making enough money i don't know who do i face let me strike my lord yala my sultan wishes you dead mm. yes my lord your will Yes! Crossing for battle! The day is ours! Yes! Your orders? Name thy enemy, Lord. Orders? Sibni Lawadi, infidel! Uh, let's have a look at the faction rankings and see how things are going. What? Why did my overall ranking go down? What did I do? I didn't do anything. Alright, well, let's have a look at, you know, the top five factions, because that's all there are. So, overall, I'm number one. Do we start off as number one? Yeah, ooh, we're tying with the Turks at the start. Militarily, I've gone down. Maybe it's because I lost a bunch of troops, uh, ha you know, having fought. Hmm. Maybe I just haven't been recruiting enough. I'm actually the, I'm actually the weakest of the five. Well, that's bullshit. I never lost a battle. Anyway. Production, that's just about how much you're building and producing and trade and shit. Doesn't really matter. Territorially, yeah, I'm number one. Financially, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, AI get cheats. Population, I'm definitely number one. Okay, I need to hit them harder. Alright, we need to hit harder. Who are we gonna smash next? God's service, my lord. What year yes, is it? Lord. 292, so that means six turns. Yes. Alright, we need to start picking up Plotting course now, soldiers from here and shipping them over soon same thing getting another shipment from there going uh we've got these yes, guys my... here and I, I could actually yes. drop these guys off i don't know where though name thy enemy lord command me this guy could be um ferried over by sea yes Continuing this would be a good place for a watchtower, actually. Alright. Just gotta figure out the best way to deal with this guy, because there's a lot of friggin' horse archers. This one, not so much. So that actually might be quite easy to deal with, with this. That, that actually shouldn't be a problem. They've already run away once. So there's just... Essentially one unit of horse archers, because that's not a full strength unit. 
Yeah, this is actually mostly melee infantry. There's no general there. So this guy here should be fine to handle that. Prince Stephanos. Alright, you don't need Emperor Manuel over there to help. So handle this yourself. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Be ready to give all for God and Kingdom men. If you you have troops but unit wise low, some of your units, like one to five people in them. Yeah, you're right, yeah. I, my military is I've been pushing it a little bit. I'm a I'm a pusher. <laughs> Alright, I think we can just take a defensive position and just let them rip. Might use this guy here to just harass their horse archers. Rest them just chill. <laughs> Deleted. It is unwise to praise the day. The enemy general lies dead. Oh, nice. Good riddance to that desert dog. Pray his death will break his immense resolve. Only half the enemy force remains. God damn, what a slaughter. That went way better than Battle I thought it is would. in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. So yeah, in this particular situation, this is a good time to use that uh, shooting circle because this one here, if it doesn't do that, we will slaughter it, and it's wasting a lot of my ammo. But at the end of the day, they're gonna lose anyway. It's not gonna make any difference. But that's, when you're going up against an archer line like this, that's when you would use it. It's just that I'm not really finding myself in that position. Because I wouldn't go the up against this, I just find a way around the it. Battle. Run down those worthless peasants! Alright, we're done here. All of Christendom! Mongols spawn this campaign? Yes, they do. Yep. is ours. The enemy are beaten. Your will. Orders? Mm. Okay. Your okay. will. Your orders? Orders? Your will. Alright, well, I'm not sure what this guy is going to do here. And I can't get all my infantry inside the settlement. Orders. Yes. Who do I? Yes, my I've got some infantry that I can shove in there. Your See, way. even if I, hmm, if I don't get this public order under control, it's going to revolt. Orders. Yes. Splitting the troops. Oh God, he made it worse. It'll get him out of there. Holy shit. Your will. Yes. Yeah, he actually lowered the public order. Ooh, okay. Um, bring them here. I think I can get these guys in there. Okay, cool. That fixes the public order at least. Alright, and that way you stand here. And if he attacks us, we'll have some backup here. And we might be able to win. Maybe. Then we come over to... Hang on, let me just have a look. How many cab units do we have? Cool, it fits kind of perfectly. And we make our way to... Just hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Come on. Yes, Try to make our way towards Antioch. Yes, not in course now, my lord. Let me strike, my lord. Orders. Yes. Woo! Let me just merge all that. Alright. That's a lot of a lot of crap in there. Okay. Okay. What kind of mercs we got? Yeah, let's go full hang on, hang on, hang on. What if they don't sally out? I'll need to leave a merc behind. Uh, how about we recruit a... 
this one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. After I besiege the settlement. Command me. Yeah, I reckon they'll try to. I reckon they'll try to go me. Any of them. Sooner or later, they will relent, my lord. When shall we attack the wars then, my yeah, lord? Yeah, we need something just in case they don't sell out. But I kind of feel like they will, because horse archers on their own are not worth a hell of a lot in balance of power, and uh, hospitality units are worth fuckloads. So I reckon they'll sell out and have absolutely no chance, because this guy's going to run ahead and just get slaughtered. Wind, legend, wind. Thanks, Wolf Paul. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, we'll see. Okay, cool. And then the ship can be used next turn to ferry this guy over here. Depending on what this guy does, he's stuck. We've caught him between a rock and a hard place. He has to stand and fight now. If he tries to run out this way, we'll catch him. Okay, this one over here. There's more mercs. That's good. I will besiege... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Men, we march. We shall send them to hell or worse. March! Cool. Now we have them. Your Majesty. Happily, my lord. Hello, your highness. Very okay. well. Looking good, looking good. Oh, what the hell? Stop that, you imbecile! It's fine. Your Majesty. Or onward. Okay, none of these units get free upkeep. But we're just getting our army ready for the Crusaders, which, you know, they're on the way. He can still go north. Yeah, he he can still go north, but if he does, um, I'll be able to catch him. Let me strike, my lord. Sibni Lawadi. Yes. Yala. My sultan wishes you dead. Your will. I will not. I reckon he'll just go. I don't know what to do, and just do nothing. Yes. Orders. Ooh, if I put one sultan. unit here, here. Mmm, I could block him off, but that would leave me with no reinforcements. Alright, let's have a look here. Who needs to move? You've moved. Yes? You've moved. Let you've moved. Your you should you... No, no, don't move yet. Your orders, number one. Your orders, number one. Command me. Yes. Your orders? Who do I face? Command me. Yes, my lord. Who do I face? Did you know that the uh, the voice lines that they use depends on whether they're chivalrous or dreadful? Different voice lines for different personalities within the same faction. How about that? Don't get that anymore. All right, all of our recruitment and stuff has been sorted. Time for building. Wait, let's have a look at the settlement. Might be better to get the night stable because we still need more cavalry. Because at the moment, we're one army versus four armies. And we're not ready. Uh, although, one army is not terrible against... what we're, We'll see, we'll see. If it's all cavalry. Making our preparations as best we can. Alright, so this one, no, I'll just wait. Trebizond, yep, do that. Roads, yep. No, it's not an economic building. Okay, cool. Alright, we're making nearly 14 grand a turn at the moment, which is pretty nice. Taking Antioch is going to be worth lots of money for us, because most of the settlements we've been taking are minor cities. Uh, not even that. Like, they're like um, large towns. I meant minor cities like Your Majesty, Rome 2 sort of. Not very valuable tonight. settlements, rather than the actual settlement level. Okay, cool. And the only faction I'm not at war with is actually the, um, the Egyptians. Okay, moving on. I thought that they would sally out. Yeah, I thought they would. Look at that, the bounce of power. Imagine if your name was just Guy. It's like, hey, let's call our son Dude. Err, oh, Legend, it's actually Guy, it's French. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, this is super easy. All right. Waste no time sparing enemies this day, man. 
Not gonna lie, Legend not building roads everywhere is giving me anxiety. I actually addressed this in the earlier stages of, of this campaign and explained how roads are actually not very, not particularly valuable, right? It depends on the situation. So you were probably looking at all the settlements that weren't building roads and going, oh, why is he not building roads? Most of those are island settlements where roads are not the priority because roads don't do anything in those settlements. You need to leave straight away. I'll try to give you some cover, but you need to fucking leave. Why did Antioch attack you, by the way? Oh, you think they attacked me? <laughs> you think they attacked me? I attacked them, okay? Make no mistake. I am the one who declares war in this game. <laughs> yeah, they actually wanted like an alliance with me, and I was like, nah, I'm gonna kill you instead. They're sallying out against me, but Make no mistake, I attacked them. Why lack of roads trigger my aesthetic senses? Not everything should be logical, Kappa. Yeah, that's fair enough, but whatever. Like I said, building roads in... In, um... Uh, what's it called? Island settlements. It doesn't make any sense because roads only provide extra income if they can if they can connect to another set of roads, which is ironic for a settlement called roads. <laughs> it's, it's one of the few settlements in the game that you shouldn't ever really build a road. I think I should rename the settlement. Are you planning an Attila campaign anytime, or is that out of the question? It's not out of the question. I'm thinking about it. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, it has been a long time with Attila. Can't say it's my favorite Total War game by a long shot, but I'll think about it. That's the best I can do at this moment. Just, just think about it. Right, have we gone so far? 6%. But we really need to be killing the General's Bodyguard and the Knights of Antioch. Once you sort that out, the rest of it's easy. It's just like the last time we fought them at Adana, where you just make them really tired. And this is exactly what Salah Hadin did. He just wore them down, you know, essentially cheesed them. Kept using horse archers, because all their heavy armor is fucking useless in the desert sun. If you don't go into melee with them. You know, it does obviously block a lot of shots, not totally useless. But you make it work against you by making them exhausted. Because even if you're in a bloody tank of a tin can, it doesn't help if you're totally drained and you can't even swing your sword. Uh, Golden Inos did a PLN 10 Super Chat. Thanks for continuing streaming. I enjoy them a lot. I know he's dude. I do them when I feel like it, but thanks for Super Chat. I'm pretty sure you still get money for the roads and islands, but it's... Granted, it's literally like five gold a turn. Uh, that is... No, it doesn't. It depends if you're playing a mod that provides public order in terms of law on a road. So if, if, if for example, I think maybe... Uh, what's it called? Uh, stainless steel? I can't, I can't remember if it does. The upgraded roads might provide law, which reduces corruption, which makes you money that way. In... Um, Medieval 2, it does not, like the base game, it does not provide any public order bonuses, so it's not going to provide you even a single cent. Not a single florin. See, a lot of the cheeses that are used in these games, they're largely based off historical, um situations. Most of it Eastern Warfare, like the Battle of um, Kare with uh, the Persians, and I forget what's called, like Salah Hadin. Because most of the time these big armies, they come in super arrogant, you know, like the Romans example. 
and a more mobile army that just refuses to engage with them oftentimes defeats them. Never used mods, I was pretty sure they did give you like a small buff for trade value. Don't think so. Blue Spart did attend a little super chat. Hey Legend, love the content. Have you given Warhammer 3 faction mods like OVN Lost Factions, SCM Marienburg, or Ketaf Southern Realms a try in your free time? Curious your opinion on them if you have. I'm definitely more interested right at the moment of trying out some mods, but at the moment I'm still playing my Scarbrand campaign from what I was um, doing that live stream. So I'm playing SFO. Maybe when I'm done with that, I'll consider doing some other mods, but we'll see. Thanks for Super Chat, appreciate it. Capture enemy town center now. You can do that, you're absolutely right. They, they will have left that gate open over here. Yeah, the gate's open. However, while they still have cavalry, it's not worth doing because they'll they'll cut you off. Now that's an exploit. You shouldn't do that. Blizzard Matchmaker did a GTQ, I don't know what um, currency that is, uh, 40 Super Chat. Hey Legend, hope you're doing well. Recently got Medieval 2 and loving it so far, but assaulting settlements always goes bad for me. Any advice for a noob? Yes. Um, don't suck at it. <laughs> it. It just takes practice. It just takes practice. Yeah, if you just like go up to a castle, like a fortress, and just like, I'm gonna attack it head on. You're gonna take casualties. One thing that you can possibly do is try to find weak spots. If you have more siege equipment than the enemy does infantry up on the walls, you can try to move your siege equipment around, especially ladders. Ladders are really good for, um, for uh, Medieval 2. Don't use siege towers, use ladders. And find a spot that they can get up and open a gate. You can open a gate if you can open a gate, you can dodge a ball. And if you can dodge a ball, you can dodge a wrench. Uh, and if you can dodge a wrench, you can... You can I'm getting out. <laughs> it's a gun. I think I'm tired. <laughs> if you can open a gate, you can dodge a wrench. Oh my god, what an idiot. Uh, does total defense reduce the chances of arrows killing a unit? Okay, that's a good question. Total defense doesn't mean shit, okay? It's just a breakdown of all this stuff here. If you just go 2 plus 1 plus 5, it equals 8, right? So, you said arrows killing a unit. Okay, so defense skill doesn't make any difference to arrows. Ignore that completely. So when it comes to arrows, this moves down to 7. So for Byzantine cavalry. If we're shot in the back... This no longer matters, which means armor is only applied. So depending on the situation, depends on what the defense is used. But defense skill, that is melee defense, means nothing for um, for archers, for arrows. Whereas armor is always applied, and shield is applied depending on whether or not you're shot at the front. But that, that's a good question. What about missile resistant percentage and ward serve? Obviously, the calculations are a lot more simple in Medieval 2 than it is in Warhammer. Okay, one unit of heavy cavalry taken out for free. Are cataphracts any good in, in this Total War game? Oh yeah, absolutely. I just usually don't get to that stage in the campaign where I can actually recruit them. Yeah, cataphracts, you know, super high armor, but they're really slow. Obviously, every unit has a drawback to it. There's no unit that's just absolutely invincible. Unit, 
They must be pretty tired because us running here made us tired. Look how slow they're moving. Bunch of units that have run out of ammo now. Oh shit, their infantry have actually caught up to their cavalry. Jeez, that's not ideal. General's bodyguard's almost gone. These guys here should be pretty damn tired. If we could just kill the enemy general. Then we could just charge on in and just rout the whole army. Got good fatigue. Good, gonna need him in a minute. Okay, okay. Well, all these guys are really tired. Let's let's do this. Most of their cavalry is defeated. They don't have many missile units, so if we kill him quickly, we should be able to get a chain route. We should be able to get a chain route even if he doesn't die, although he does have a good amount of command. General has no honor. Glorious heaven above. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. GG, GFG, it's over. Suck it, guy. seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. <laughs> oh boy. Does fatigue have any effect on stats? The yeah, big effect. It reduces nothing. all their stats. They have lost especially morale. So making an army exhausted before charging into them is, as you can see here, pretty fucking effective. Praise the almighty! Our enemy mm, has keep lost his stomach to fight! We must push our advantage! One thing is good for more experience for these guys. They don't get it automatically. And it'll mean more executions after the battle. <laughs> Which means more dread. Alright, we're done here. 
The enemy are overcome. Two percent This casualties. is a great victory. Hi Legend, I am playing CD version of Medieval 2 and I get this crass message. Medieval 2 has encountered unspecific error and will now exit. Do you know a fix? Um, that is an unspecific error. Um, the, the chances are, is that you ran out of RAM. Um... Yeah, look... Um... I'm not the right person to ask about that, I, I know that there was a solution. Yeah, I think you ran out. The game doesn't utilize all of your RAM, and I think you just ran out. The game sometimes can have memory leak issues where you just. Mm. I, I don't have a solution for you, sorry. Thanks for. Yeah. Uh, Yippee Kai Nay did a $10 super chat. Just another plug for trying an SFO Grimgore or Wazag. Have a great stream. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, it's up for the Turks now. Let's see what they do. <laughs> He just ran away. I, I think I got him this time. Okay, so this guy here. Yes, let's get him, because he'll participate in the fight against that army that we've been tracking for a while, and we've finally caught it. Four gigabyte patch? Yeah, I, f I feel like the the amount of RAM that the, the game used, utilizes is not... It doesn't utilize all your RAM. I just, I can't remember what the actual issue is with it. I mean, unspecific error doesn't give me a whole lot to work with, Let but me strike, my lord. Uh, I'm not yes. sure. Command me. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Name thy enemy. Your orders? Moving ashore, my lord. Command me. Sibni Rawadi. Infidel. Who do I face? Right, this guy here should be able to do it on his own. My lord. Should we spare any of them? Bringing in a second army isn't really going to help me. If I put it under AI control, they'll just go and just run straight into the general. <laughs> yeah. Like, I like the fact that you do have the option to um, put AI under your control, uh, your reinforcements under control. I think it's really good. But, man, I've seen so many times my generals get killed that way. So, in a fair fight, I think this will be fine. No matter how they beg, let none escape. Attack! Um, Ira Duncan did a five dollar super chat. What's your favorite medieval two faction? Something with good horse archers like the Turks. I'm assuming Turks are usually my favorite. Yeah, I really like playing Turks. They're, they're in my opinion, the most powerful faction in the game. And I think they've got a good variety of different types of units as well. So you, all throughout the campaign, I think they're really good. As much as a lot of people bloody hate it when I say this shit, but it's just I'm just speaking facts. Um, the Muslim factions are actually more powerful than the Christian factions in Medieval 2. Ah, but legend! <laughs> no! Sorry, it's just a fact. Just a fact. Their rosters and their campaign abilities are stronger. And largely thanks to not having a Pope. Pope is like a gigantic, like, chain around your ankles. Alright, um, we're on the low ground here, which isn't good. Alright, in this battle here, I think we should lose formation at the start. Look how much extra space that takes up. Where do orthodox factions rank? At the bottom. Yeah. So it goes like this. In terms of culture, there's only three... There, okay, there's three major cultures and then there's subcultures within those cultures, right? So the subcultures are... Actually, there's four subcultures. There's Muslim, Christian... Sorry, Muslim, Catholic, and Orthodox. And then the other one is, is Pagan, which that only really applies in um, the... Uh, the kingdom's campaigns and somewhat. So in the um, which which of those 
major cultures, I should say religions, I suppose, is the most powerful. Islam is the strongest. Then it goes Catholic, then Orthodox, and then Pagan. Pagan don't stand a chance. Um, and then within those subcultures, Turks are the strongest of the of the Islam factions. Of course, you could say that, that Mongols are the strongest, but they're not present at the start and they're also not playable. You could also say that Timurids are the strongest. Again, same issue. But if you were to if you were to take them all at the start, then the Timurids would obviously be the strongest because they've got access to um, those massive fuck off elephant units, um, which are insanely powerful, bloody cannon elephants. And then within the Catholic factions. Um, Star positions matter a whole lot, but it's actually, believe it or not, Hungary is the most powerful of the um, of the Christ of the Catholic factions, which a lot of people wouldn't realize it. And the reason for that is because it's actually on the edge of Christendom, which means it has less bullshit to deal with with the Pope, so it can go straight to fighting somebody without dealing with the Pope. And it also has a really strong roster. I mean, and it also starts off with some pretty damn good territory and a. It's an earshot away from Constantinople, so Hungary is actually the strongest of the um, of the Catholic factions. After that would probably be the Holy Roman Empire, because of your massive star position allows you to sort of gobble up territory really quickly. And if the Pope gives you any grief, you could just fucking kill the Pope straight away, which is always great. Um, and then of the Orthodox factions, obviously the Byzantine Empire is the strongest. Russia is just weird, because... It's got a good roster, but its star position sucks. The day sunset, really sucks. So it takes ages for them the to get going. But they also don't have any serious betrayed. enemies at the start of the campaign, but they also have to deal with the Mongols at some point. So that's not ideal. And with, without a crusade or jihad mechanic, that gives them a disadvantage. And then as to, uh, sorry, uh, pagans just don't really have any advantage whatsoever. So Spain and Portugal are very powerful factions as well, but I still think Hungary is the strongest. It's got a really strong start position, if you know what you're doing. Because it, it, it's a position where you you don't have to attack another Catholic faction, where you don't get hamstrung. Like England, for example, your only choices are fucking Scotland or France. <laughs> you're going to get excommunicated unless you play real slow. Which a lot of people do. Mm, we're kind of winning, but it's not going great. I was hoping that they would charge at us. But they're not doing that. initial skirmish is not ideal because I've actually just pinned myself up against the wall here a little bit. Might be a good idea to actually go in loose formation. Okay, it looks like they're starting to advance now. Maybe. I also it was France. Best archers. Good KF. ETC. Uh, France doesn't have the best archers. England does. Yeah, you got to take into consideration more than just the army roster, but the best units in Medieval 2 are always going to be cavalry. So whoever's got the best cavalry will instantly be the, the strongest faction. So that would be Turks. Turks have the strongest cavalry in the game. Well, I should say, Turks have the strongest cavalry, cavalry play in the game. Now, Byzantines have really strong cavalry game as well, but not having access to a crusade mechanic uh, fucks them over in that regard. Hmm, they're really not wanting to advance. I still wouldn't use this in this situation. I don't think it's useful. We are getting the upper hand, but it's just costly. It's just trading units. When to use crossbows and when to use bows? Okay, use bows on unarmored units. Use crossbows on armored units. Real simple. 
I often kill, uh, I've, sorry, I often call my crossbows general killers. They're really good at sniping generals, bodyguard. Because they just pierce through armor like butter. High missile damage. Wasted on peasants. Really good for armored units. Makes armor basically worthless. Not, not completely worthless, but it, it's not worth very much. Against, um, crossbows. Alright, if they're gonna play it this way, we might as well start advancing. Since we do have to climb up this hill. I thought that they would come at us, but they don't seem to want to do that. They should be getting fairly tired because they're constantly reshuffling. Of course, walking up a hill will still make you tired. The bouncer power has been improving though. We're just not getting a lot of kills. But that's that's typical of a skirmish phase, historically speaking. Oftentimes, not many kills do happen. We do have a bit of a high ground here, so that should give us some something of an advantage. Good, knock that one off the battlefield, that'd be great. Good, another one. Okay, yeah, the skirmish phase is definitely working for us. And it's charging in. Guess they've had enough. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. It would be great if we could capture him, but I think he's going to get away. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but yeah, there he our is there. men are winning the battle. Now guys are too tired to be able to catch him. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No. Come on. No, he's just going to withdraw from the battlefield. That's fine. Alright, I don't think I need loose formation anymore because we now have missile superiority by a pretty significant margin. What's my opinion on Rome Remastered? Um, it's not good enough for a remaster, but it's okay. Yeah, it's basically, it's more like Rome reskinned. <laughs> um, it doesn't do enough to update Rome Total War to a 2023 standard. Because Rome Total War is really sort of outdated now. Okay, they still don't want to advance, so I'll keep advancing a bit. Our guys here are almost out of ammo. Kind of satisfying watching a historical army just walk towards battle rather than run everywhere. It is very satisfying. Why are so many people asking about Rome Remastered? I don't know, people are curious about it. Like I said, I don't think Rome Remastered is bad. I just don't think it's good either. Like it's just it's just Rome Total War. That's what it is.
But yeah, not having the high ground here does give us a disadvantage. But since their captain has left the battlefield, and they're probably a little bit tired, and our guys are nice and fresh, I don't expect that they're going to put up much of a fight here. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true this and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Yeah, they had so many horse archers. Are you hyped for Mana Lords? Yeah, I'm like a 4 out of 10 hype. I'll give it a shot. I thought the demo was alright. We'll see. We'll see. Oops. Blooded. They have lost half their men. The enemy flees the battle. All right, that worked out down well. those worthless peasants. But we really need to make sure we run down every last one of them. Although, I don't think these guys have any friendly area to go to. So, they'll probably get wiped out regardless of whether we get 85% or not. But still, let's just get 85% because I want to execute them. Need that dread. Why are horse archers so good in this game? Because they're incredibly versatile, right? You've got a unit that's an archer that is able to fire in a 360 degree angle while moving that once they've run out of ammunition, they're actually able to fight in melee as well. So they're able to cause morale shocks. So a really versatile unit and they're not that expensive. And for a lot of the different factions, they're actually able to recruit them very early on. In fact, earlier than heavy cavalry. So there's just a lot of versatility with these units. But a solid spear and archer line can completely destroy horse archers. The thing is the AI doesn't really know what to do in that situation. So it doesn't use them very well. Okay, that should be enough. What did we get? 92, okay. All of 80, oh, 86%. We got the victory. All right. There we go. We've been hunting him down for a while. Finally got him. Alright, what's the damage? A little bit of damage, mostly on the horse archers there. That's okay. Yes. What I'll do is I'll send the boats back to Limasol to go and recruit some more so that we can reinforce them. Because by the time they get to about here, we should be able to reinforce them with some more horse archers. Okay. Leave this guy behind, obviously. Yes? Yes, Lord. Bringing our troops together. Yes, my Lord. Bringing our troops together. Let me strike, my Lord. Yes, Your Majesty. Move out. Okay, that should maintain public order there now. Commander. All right, I was supposed to leave the ship there so they can actually get across. Name thy enemy, Lord. Oh, well. Men, let me strike, my Lord. Approaching, my lord. Continuing tomorrow. Bringing hmm. these lands under Goob. Nice name. The two, uh, twenty dollars super chat. I know you're not keen on streaming mods, but since you have medieval two installed, I think you should check out the Tsardom's Fall of Constantinople mod in your free time. Best looking campaign map I've seen for medieval two. Yeah, I might, I might have a look at that one. I've heard a lot of good things about it for sure. 
Thanks for super chat, appreciate it. And we'll see how we go. Oh shit. Man, I didn't realize I was gonna get through this so slow. We're almost at six hours. I'm freaking tired. <laughs> okay. do, do you guys really think that I'd struggle against Venice though? <laughs> With what I've got here. Alright. I'll keep going for a bit longer. But I, I am getting tired. I shouldn't go and if I if I keep live streaming beyond a certain point of tiredness, what ends up happening is that I get really irritable. And that people can get under my skin really easily and just ask me questions and I get pissed off. It's not your fault, but that's what happens if you're tired. I do love this game though. Even after all this time, coming back to it, it's still... It just... The combat in this game just feels really good. It's like clunky, but it's, it feels good. Like, things just, things just do what I want it to do. I'm just like, I want that army to die, and then they die, and I just like that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put in a little bit of effort, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Alright, how are we going to go about this? I reckon this is the point that we should park ourselves at. And break it in over here. That way, if they come in this way or this way, we've got it covered. Eat a Snickers? Nah. Oh yeah, I should probably mention. Guess, guess which Total War YouTuber I met in person the other day. Maybe he's already mentioned it on his stream, if he's actually streamed, I'm not sure if he has. But I met a Total War YouTuber in person two days ago. In fact, they were right here two days ago. <laughs> they came over here. Mercy. That's right, Mercy the Mad. Mercy the Mad came over here uh, about two, two days ago. So we've now met in person. Oh, I don't think I need that. I usually just build the siege equipment because it doesn't cost anything and it's um good to have backup just in case one gets burnt down which is rare for it to happen but you don't want to take precautions when it doesn't cost anything to do so the walls fall it is time to charge men through to slay our ungodly foe did you cycle charge him uh no no he came over we had essentially afternoon tea and then he went <laughs> did he wash himself in your sink no? Alright, so what have we killed, like 50%? Just about. Did you serve him cheese? Uh, that would have been interesting. We did have cheese, but no, we we didn't. And tea and biscuits. <laughs> did you guys actually drink tea at afternoon tea? Yeah, we did. We actually had tea. Me and my wife actually drink a fair bit of tea. He's nice. Or maybe they had coffee, I can't remember. Praise to our Lord! Our men have slain the enemy general! Now his men will lose heart!
And you got to meet our dog. And the dog that we're looking after at the moment. Or is this my parents' dog? Because they're out. I need someone to look after him. Where'd the rest of their units go? Oh, they're hanging around over here. Turkish archers and... It's got to be more than that. Turkish archers, okay. That's easy enough. Sometimes you gotta give the order more than once, because they just otherwise won't listen to it. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> Alright, that should do it. All that attack time. And you go around the other way, because you should have no trouble killing the Turkish archers. They're not good at melee. Which Total War has the best general's bodyguard? Uh, like I would say Medieval 2. But it depends on how you use it as to the best, but I would say Medieval 2. Super overpowered. The enemy's walls. Rome 1 has really strong general's bodyguard too. When you reach the Marian reforms, they become essentially... Super heavy cavalry with two hit points, and they're super quick. Okay, that's not good. He's right up front. Don't want that. Good, he's backing off. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Five hundred pounds to delete all your armies. Yeah, man, I'll take that. Yeah, if you if you donate five hundred uh, pounds, I will I will delete everything except for generals bodyguards and start again from scratch. You pay the money first. That's a Legend of Total War promise. Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah, 500 pounds, I'll, I'll buy that. Half the enemy force I will disband remain. every single unit that I've currently recruited, which will put me in a really bad spot because the, uh, the, 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 Our men the dingoes are on the way. Of the city. Yeah, I'll, I'll call that bluff. All right, yeah, all right, 500 bucks. Let's hear it. I don't think you can donate 500 pounds. The enemy flees. That's too high. All of Christendom but, will you know, be all 500 American dollars, I think, is the max today. that you can do. Um, yep. I'll do that. Obviously, you can't disband General's Bodyguard. Yep, every single unit. I'll disband them. Victory! We have crushed them! This and and if you do that, I'll do another stream of this. Okay, for 500. Okay, that'll buy you another stream. So... Just to, just to make the rules, okay? So... Payment first, I'll erase every single unit that I can erase, and I will do another live stream of this campaign. <laughs> I, I don't think he was going to. 500 pounds seems a little bit much for, for that. Because the thing is, I'll, I'll lose a lot of really good units, but I'll recover. I'll recover. It's like, we have pounded the enemy here. It would definitely slow me down, especially considering how much we've recruited over here. Like, to just disband all of that, having done so much with it, that's not great. Alright, just, um... Get these ones over here because the Crusaders will be arriving pretty soon. We shall continue tomorrow. Move on. Yes. Yes, my lord. Full sails. Who do 
my face. I'm gonna save it because I'm otherwise gonna have to. Do it. One hundred and fifty of that goes to YouTube. Rip, they take thirty percent. That's okay, I don't mind. Command me, my lord. It's okay. I think that's that's worth it. Shit, man, fifty percent of it goes to the fucking Australian government anyway. <laughs> you think you think what YouTube takes is bad, man? Get a tax man off my back. Tax man has his hand so far in my pocket, he's basically touching my balls. Not in a good way. <laughs> Tax man. Yeah. Every time I get pack paid, Tax man's like, mine, please, money, please, I'm like, leave me alone. That's nah, fine. Oh, look what they did there. Okay. I've only got one unit of long range archers, so we're not going to be able to slaughter a lot of them from distance. But we got a lot of melee infantry here. We haven't used the Greek fire throwers yet at all, but there hasn't really been a good opportunity to do so, because everything's freaking a missile unit in this one now. Are they big balls? No. Do you think mercenaries should be expanded upon in Warhammer 3? Yes. I think that if they, if they were to add in a Dogs of War, Faction, I think adding in a mercenary me mechanic similar to what they did with the ogres, where let's just say you go into a region and you open up mercenaries and there's just local things that are willing to to be purchased. Or what if what if they had a, like mercenary companies? Like you pay say ten grand and you have an army that you know various different companies, sort of like what Crusader Kings Two does, and you pay them upfront. And then they'll last like 10 turns and then they disappear again. But, but, if you get them wiped out, they'll fucking hate you and they'll, ne and next time that they, next time that they, um, are available, they'll double the price. So, if you use a mercenary company, you should, if you intend to use them again, not get them wiped out. Otherwise, they'll charge you more next time. But, if you give them great victories, then they'll charge you less. I think that's a good dude system. Like you can have actually re um, relations with your um, mercenaries, and eventually you could like have a mercenary company that's so like in tune with what you're doing that they're you know they're like your best buddies. Upkeep free. No, I mean like you pay up front. Like you pay a big amount of money up front, and you get like a mercenary company. Like it's a three quarter stack of medium to high tier units and I'm talking like 30, 40, 50 grand like a lot of money to purchase them a non-trivial amount and you pay them up front that way if you get them killed in a single turn you still have to suck up that fucking money so you want to try to keep them for the full 10 turns because if you think about it if it lasts for 10 turns and you paid 50 grand for it, that's 5 grand a turn. That's a pretty expensive army. Or they could just do mercenaries the same way they've always done it, which is a bit boring, but whatever. At Rome 2, Carthage is bust for using mercenaries. Yeah, in Rome 2, vanilla. Uh, mercenaries are so ridiculously expensive for most factions, they're not even worth recruiting. You just recruit them for the moment, or unless they're like really good units. Because their upkeep costs are ridiculous. But yeah, for factions like Carthage, where it's cheaper to recruit mercenaries in some cases, it's, that's, that's a decent system. But yeah, in Rome 2, mercenaries are ridiculously expensive. Although, to be fair, in Rome 1 and Medieval 2, mercenaries are kind of cheap, which is why I hire them all the time. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I may not get another opportunity to do this, so I'm gonna do it now. No, stay, stay, I'm about to bring on the fire party. Yeah, that's it. That's it, here we go. Welcome to... Here we go. We 
go. I got it at half speed there. Go again. Look, it's Iron Drakes. The dwarfs are just a copy of the of the Byzantines. Too slow. Here we go. Big flame coming in. I can see. We're about to do it. Big flames. Let's go. This at point 0.1 speed. It's almost paused. This is the only Total War game you can slow things down this much. Everything else just says it at half speed. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie, mate. <laughs> no! Okay, there we go. Good. Yeah, it's gonna break. I think that did its worth in damage. Look at that, they went from like no experience to that much. Cool. Okay. If Medieval 3 ever comes out, it has big potential because of period early and late Medieval. It's just that also for Empire 2. Okay. Alright, I think we should just charge at them. Unwise to praise the day before sunset. Right, too many but arrows are thrown around over here. Okay, you go around this way and cut them off. Victory. Only half the enemy force remains. Yeah, we cut them off here. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Yay! A 
Good, these guys here, we just cut them off. General's bodyguard's taking a bit of damage, so we gotta pull them back. General has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Phrase to our... My lord! Our men have taken control of the city. Okay, there we go. This is a clear... ...goes to only men of great virtue. Stream lag for anyone? Shouldn't be. I've had literally zero drop frames to the entire stream. So if you're having lag, it's your fault. Oh, I'll destroy the port. Should always sack it, or else you just end up with public order problems. So six units of Dromon at my capital. Yes, my. That's not my capital, but thanks for the ships. Great. Now I gotta pay for them. Son of a bitch. I guess I could use the fleet to come down here and get rid of the these guys. Yes. Your orders? Yes. Hmm. Your Majesty. Okay, so we didn't take that much damage here, and I shouldn't need to leave too much behind, since the culture seems pretty much the same. Uh, this might actually be. Oh no, no, just leave it as is. It's fine. All right. Name thy enemy, Lord. Get them over to the other side over here. Let me strike, my Lord. Approaching, my Lord. We shall send them to hell or worse. March. Okay, cool. They will relent. Command me. Let me strike, my lord. All right. What else do we need to move? Hang on. I think this guy over here. We can get him to move down south now. Although that public orders doesn't look great. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh, look, a merchant. Why not? I did not recruit a merchant over here. No, I recruit a spy. Well, that's a bit useless there. Whoops. Alright, let, let me just check something. Somebody was saying that... Yeah, it doesn't increase the income at all. Yeah, improve roads and trade. If we have a look at the upgraded... Uh, where is it? Roads. Yeah, it's just the same thing. Alright, what if I was just to leave a unit behind? Just, let's see, like a unit of... Trebers on archers, maybe? How bad's the public order? 55. Uh, okay, I have to leave another unit behind. Armenian archers. Okay, cool, it's under control. Cool, we don't want to leave a huge garrison out here. And next stop is to go down south this way. He'll meet up with the other general, and we'll go down that way. Cool. Who do I face? Men, we march. Stop in for the night. Let me strike, my lord. Name thy enemy. So where's my 500 bucks, huh? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. You get this kind of shit all the time. Okay, let's do some construction. We got heaps of money. Public order over here is slowly going downhill. Good amount of population. Uh, if we build this... Public health. 
Yeah, why not? Why not? It'll increase our population growth, but I believe squalor caps out at 80% here anyway. So even if we do get more population, I don't think the pub public order can go down any further. So it's fine. So increasing pop uh, population is just all a plus at Constantinople. Unless we move the capital further east. Well, we're getting, getting closer to Jerusalem. Okay, this castle here, Limassol. Oh, I, I'm recruiting from it, aren't I? Um, yeah, just, so just get that going then. Iconium. Yep, it's fine. Public order. Yeah, Adana will be fine. Uh, maybe also grab that one. Oh, wow. We sacked Antioch, and we still had... Um, this available. But I'm out of money, so I'll just have to build it later. Yeah, keep the taxes low. Oh, I haven't moved this army. And look, I can hit this. Orders. 55%. Name thy enemy, Lord, your will. Who do I face? Yes. 65%, 70. Okay, it'll be a, it'll be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, a spy out here could be good. And a merchant? Nah, fuck that. Okay, if I was Let to hit strike, this guy here, Maybe would he stand and fight? I think he will. Looking at this, there's a lot of troops there. I think, I think he's, I think he'll stand and fight. Command me. We yeah. On our These guys are just too good in auto resolve to not stand and fight. Hopefully we get just a nice big plane. Jeez, even a lightning strike here doesn't give us amazing odds. What's our um dread? I'm working really hard to get more dread. What's a guy gotta do to get ten dread? Alright, let's do this. Please give tip on how to fight to fight sorry, how to fight defensive siege battle in medieval two. Um, yep. Okay. Well, it looks like there was a stream fight or something. A lot of people left. Okay, so obviously if, if you're really good at the game, you won't get attacked, so you don't, like I haven't fought a single siege defense in this entire campaign so far, but things to keep in mind is that if you're fighting on, you have to understand the strengths and weaknesses of the settlement type that you're fighting, so if it's like a wooden palisade, there's not really much value in holding that wall at all, so you probably just want to fight at the town square, you're probably going to lose, but what are you going to do? Um, the bigger the settlement, the more opportunities that you're going to have. Obviously, when you get to like citadel level, where there's just layers of walls, you will have loads of opportunities and you should try to fall back constantly. Don't have all of your forces hold out the wall. Try to have your towers um, shooting at the right targets, holding the right units up on the wall and knowing when to pull back. But it takes a lot of practice. Also, having cavalry going out to annoy the enemy can be really handy. Don't just keep your cavalry sitting inside your um, settlement doing nothing. But a siege is a complex situation, and so a generic guide is useless. It just requires practice. Just be open to trying different things. But if you just sit there and just like don't micro and just sit there and like hold all the walls and just like watch it and go like, oh, why am I not winning? Then you probably need to actually try to do something. The enemy have brought up more men. They right, hope I to am make up in numbers. Not gonna bother shooting at these bravery. guys, I think. No, I will shoot at them just a little bit, but I'm gonna charge at them as well. Before these guys show up. I'm gonna go straight for the Armenians here. Because otherwise they're gonna shoot at us. Do you accept Medieval 2 saving disaster battles instead of the steel? Um, not at the moment. 
I mean, you can send it in, and the worst thing I can say is no, but it's just not on my to-do list right now. My lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned no, against us. No, it's fine. It's just a reinforcement. We must act and halt this turn of events. I pray the course of this battle changes, because defeat seems almost certain. Man, that advisor sure is a naysayer. I was hoping that we could kill him with this, but I'm just not really taking it. I'm going to pull these guys back and just try to keep these guys as exhausted as possible. See, so these guys here are being faster than my bloody horse archers. That's really annoying. Going eight to seven. Oh, we're not winning. That's not good. There's those Armenians. I need to take them out. They're isolated now. It's also not good that it's raining. Our missile damage is seemingly significantly. Rich. Come on, man. You got to be more responsive than that. You're not tired. Guys, it's kind of a big battle. I need you to perform a little bit better. Slowly grinding him down. That's using up a lot of our ammo, and there's still this whole other army here. Damn it. I must be at the red line. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I am. Sometimes big armies can be quite cumbersome. We've almost got this guy. He's lost a lot of his hit points. Almost got him. But yeah, he's proving to be quite a pain in my ass. Literally. Oh god, there's nowhere to fucking run. This guy's giving me a pain in the ass. Alright, it's not too bad, but we're not, we're not slaughtering them. That's the problem here. We should be trying to slaughter them, but it's not really working so well. There's another general, isn't there? I've really got to collect myself and figure out what the hell I'm, my game plan is here. Because this, this kind of went to shit really quick. Alright, if there's another general, I need to know where he is. Is that him? That's 
definitely not him. for a moment okay the fact that these guys here are seemingly fighting to the death is quite an issue for me That's, that's good there, we took that guy out. Alright, there's that general's bodyguard. Just keep them there, let them have a bit of a rest. Alright, there's the other general's bodyguard. Right, we need to kill both of them if we want to win this. We're already really tired. And yeah, that rain is really hurting us. Oh, there's a lot of cavalry here. God damn it. That's not a good sign. If our guys are routing with a 10 star general, that's bad. Bad. This is actually not looking as good as I was initially thinking. Our army is yeah. tiring. Yeah, okay. I'm not, I'm, don't call it out yet, but. We gotta get all of our ducks in a row, get all of our guys together. Okay, at least he rallied, that's good. I still think we got this. The bounce of power may have been slipping a little bit, but I still think we got this. Because a lot of their cavalry should be getting pretty tired now, and our guys are... Uh, pretty tired as well, actually. Their generals are taking a lot of damage. And they're worth a lot more than my horse archers. Guys, poor guys are very tired. Come on, move. It is lucky it's raining. Still got that ability with my Emperor, but... That's not essential. It's not gonna do much. Yeah, I think the problem here is that my guys are exhausted and theirs aren't. I probably shouldn't have rushed at them at the start. We really didn't get a huge advantage on that. What we did is exhaust our units. See, our guys just can't outrun their bloody knights. Uh, Matthew Pigman did a $1 super chat. Thanks, dude, appreciate the support. That's okay, they're eventually going to slow down. It's okay. Alright, these guys here are essentially melee cav now. Put them in over there. Are you losing a battle? We haven't lost yet. We haven't lost yet. I still think we're... F Look, 22 of our guys versus 25% of theirs, percentage-wise. Per percentage-wise, we're winning. It's just the balance of power meter... We've bitten off a lot more than I thought we could chew easily. All right, charge in on this one. This is the commander of the larger army. Okay. 
Okay, I now need to organize these guys into those that have ammo and those that don't. Which, there's not many that have ammo left, but that's fine. General flees like the coward Come on, capture him. Need to capture him. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Come on, need to capture him. Fucking got away. Alright, get back, he might rally. Because I think that guy's a good commander. We're back. Him leaving the battlefield is not as good as me killing him. Doesn't look like he wants to rally. Which means that the force draw out isn't going to work. If he gets away. It does look like he's going to get away. Oh well. Still going to win. There's no way we'd catch up to him now. Yeah, he's going to leave the battlefield. You see my tweet about mana lords? No? <laughs> I don't know. You want to jog my memory? I don't know. His message underneath the super chat? Oh, okay, sorry. Um, hey, Legend, can you explain why you keep units with low counts around rather than merging them or disbanding them to recruit four units? Is there a benefit I'm not seeing? Um, I usually do merge them. It's just I've got a lot of different types of units. So, for example, this one here, that might be the only unit of that type in my army. I know it looks like I got a spam of everything, but that might... I would otherwise merge them. There's no advantage to having, like, a unit with one in it. Um, I would retrain it if there was any more available, for sure. But yeah, thanks to be chat again. Alright, we've killed 29% of them. Still a lot of cavalry. But there, the main general has now left the battlefield. This guy over here is commanding a handful of troops. So... I think if we charge on in, we should be fine. Because these guys here really shouldn't fight for very long. Alright, let's pop this down. Here we go. Big charge incoming. This is where we win. We turn it all around from here. You know, unless our Emperor dies. In which case... Yeah, look, see, they're already starting to waver. Because their they're General left the battlefield. Oh, Legend's gonna lose a battle, guys! Only half the enemy force remains. Ooh, I think the game just crashed. I think the game stalled. The AI went Alt F4. Just when I was mass routing them. The thing is, I feel like this is a fairly long turn, and it's been a while since I quick saved. Another chance to get that general though. Yeah, but you don't understand. Um, it's it's been a while since I quick saved.
Yeah, the game crashed. Poo. All right, we'll get back into it. Have a look to see when the last time I saved was. Oh, it's not going to save any of my damn settings, is it? so annoying I was winning why couldn't it do that when I was losing hang on I need to check my keyboard settings did it save any of them no it didn't fucking hell I gotta actually save it all right so it goes that's no, no. that's Yeah, if the game crashes, it forgets the settings that you had because it applies it permanently when you exit the game. All right, we last saved it at 3.41. Ah, oh, that was 40 minutes ago! <laughs> well, we should still be on the same turn, so maybe we'll go fight that battle and call it a day. Ah, oh, I fucking won that battle! Name thy enemy, Lord. My Lord. Son of a bitch, you fucking bloody stupid crashy piece of shit! <laughs> what do you know? I won the battle. We show little mercy. <laughs> they deserve none. We must. All right, we'll go fight this battle here. Command me, Your Majesty. Name thy enemy. Command me. Who do I face? Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. Command me. We shall send them to hell or worse. March. Cheating of Total War. Hey, no, I just, I quick saved it, just went forward in time. Alright. The Let's enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in bravery. So this time, maybe we don't rush at them. Am I going to do a Shogun 2 campaign? I don't have any plans to, but that doesn't mean I won't do it. I usually don't plan things in advance, so I would say maybe, but we'll just have to wait and see. Hmm... Okay, how are we going to do this this time? Because, yeah, my guy's being exhausted for a huge part of the battle. I think it was a big problem. But this guy here has got more fatigue than the others. So I'm just going to charge him straight into the Armenians. And see if these guys start chasing after me. And I'll lure them into, um, into this. Okay, I think they've just turned around because they, their reinforcements have arrived. That's fine. I think the stream died. No, I'm still here. Alright, that got their attention. Damn, that uh, unit didn't rout.
Well, they fought to the death, and they died. Alright, need to kill him, although the other general is more important. They're just allowing me to shoot them in the back, which is fine by me, because that makes it way more efficient on my ammunition. Metal Lords is a new medieval RTS coming early access in April. I think it could be a real contender again to Total War and CA. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so, but um, it's worth having a look at. It's worth having a look at. It's more of a city builder than like a um, real-time tactical battle simulator, but we'll see. Who knows, maybe it will take Total War out of the market, who knows. I'll definitely give it a fair chance. But let's just wait and see. You know, getting your hype up is probably not a great idea. You know, give it a fair chance. Hey Mercy, how's it going dude? I'll just tell everyone how you came over here and robbed me blind and punched me in the face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Such a troll. Alright, we've used up a lot of our ammo. And their cavalry sitting in the back, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off fire at will. Run back over here. Although these turkopoles, they kind of need to be shot, or else they're gonna shoot at me. So. Starting to get tired. Yeah, no, don't shoot at them while they're in this formation. That's not ideal. The hell? What the? What the? What the I turned around and like fucking 25% of people are gone. What happened? Is it all because of that fucking crash? <laughs> Jeez, everyone just fucking left. YouTube just went down? Yeah, that's what it seems like. It seems like people are having issues with YouTube at the moment. It, it's not at my end. I'm, I'm having perfect internet for once. This time it's YouTube being YouTube. Right, I'm going to charge at this. Because shooting at them isn't working. Do they have like high shield value or something? Reasonably high, okay. Yeah, I see what they're trying to get me to do. No thanks, not going to fall for it. Come on, move back, move back. Okay, a lot of Knights of Antioch on the way. 
Would much prefer it if the general was there, but he's not. But these are still important units to take out. All their heavy cavalry are an issue. Oh, wow, we actually ripped them to shreds because they turned their back on us. But these damn Turkopoles, they keep wasting my ammo and annoying me. I can't catch them because I run into them and they run away. Someone's here. Can someone please just get rid of them? Good, they broke. Uh, a hang on. Cooked Penguin became a new member and Agrippa did attend all the Super Chat. Hey, Legend. I'm loving these Medieval 2 content. Do you think the vanilla Byzantine unit roster is underpowered compared to their real-life counterparts? Personally, I think they should be stronger. Uh, no, I don't think that they're underpowered. I think it's just a... If you know how to use them, you can get a lot of value out of them. The reason that the Byzantine Empire is weaker than other race, uh, other cultures is simply the lack of, of uh, crusade slash jihad mechanic. That's it. If they did have it, they would easily compete with the rest of them. Thanks for Super Chat. In fact, you could even go so far as to say the Byzantine have the best unit roster in the entire game. Even better than the Turks. If only they had that mechanic. Something odd's going on with YouTube, being kicked with the stream thrice now. Yeah, okay. Well, as look, it's not my fault. I can't really do anything about it. But, um, fair enough. There's the general. We didn't kill the other general, did we? I did a lot of damage to him, but I didn't kill him. I want you to try to get around this way before they lock us in. We don't want to shoot at their melee infantry because we can route them easily enough. Mounted sergeants. Fresh mounted sergeants will be able to charge at us quite easily now because we're exhausted. Well, it looks like we're ripping them to shreds. Anyway. Yeah, our guys are tired. But their, their fatigue is going down, so that's something. They must be at least somewhat tired, if they're going to be like that. Good. God, they were really getting in on my case there, but we got them. They broke. Got to get out of this spot here. They're going to pin us down. My guys are still fresh here, my melee cavalry. That's good. Capture them so we don't have to do it later. Good. Okay, I think we successfully got around them. Starting to get low on ammo though. That's okay. Guys, I gave you an order. Orders are not optional. Go, 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 go. This is actually going better than last time in terms of percentages, because at this point here I was about 20% casualties. This time I'm only at 15%. But we've taken 26% of theirs. Good, all my guys rallied. Nice. Alright, we finally got this guy chasing after us. This is really good. Although we're at the fucking edge of the map again. Alright, I'm gonna charge in here with my melee cavalry because I think I can handle him. Because he's been damaged a lot now.
Man, most of their units got uh, caught with the ability there. Okay, he's just about to break. Well, he was. This time he's not escaping me. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. The Lord above is kind. We got him. We have captured we got him the enemy's time. general. Right, that's one of them. There's that still another one out there, the though. But run. that's the commander, now I think, of the main army. Oh, that's Renald de Chatillon. We got Reg Regent Renald. Oh, damn. Mad Eye Moody just got him. Brendan Gleason. Oh look, the general only has three units in that other one bodyguard. Alright. Oops. We got this. Mass route, here we come. Praise to our Lord. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now Both generals are dead now. Keep pressing Alt S. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. We got this. Easy. And this time we actually took fewer casualties than we did last time. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost The weather was better for us this time though. Praise the Almighty! Our enemy has lost his stomach to fight. We must push our advantage. So that crash was actually quite convenient. Gave me a second chance at this, even though I won it the first time. Well, looked like we were. This was a better victory. Okay, I'm gonna alt F for you again. No, I think it was just a the memory leak issue. It usually happens. Like, what I should really do when playing um, Medieval 2 and Rome 1 is like every six hours, exit the game and just get back into it. Ooh. <laughs> I do like Quite doing a draw out. Alright, cool. We're going to call that a day there. We didn't get to the um, the fourth crusade, but I, I think I'm in pretty good shape for it. Um, yeah, I'm in pretty damn good shape for it. Alright, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and we'll call that a day, because I'm absolutely knackered. Alright, I doubt anyone is streaming Medieval 2, but I'll just go and check. Uh, there is actually somebody else streaming, but there, it's not in English, so I don't. I'm not going to host someone that's not streaming in English, unfortunately. Uh, okay, we'll we'll host a. Actually, let me try Rome two. I don't think anyone is streaming Rome two. All right, let me just check my Discord. Maybe I'm even the creator network. Somebody wants me to stream uh, host them. Okay, okay, I think we've got one here. Okay, I think someone from the Total War Network wants a host. Let me just check here. Shame we lost like friggin' 40% of our viewers right when we were bloody, <laughs> right near the end. Uh, just because of bloody YouTube. That really sucks. Because we had stable viewership the entire time, but then YouTube decided to shit itself and then just dropped off there. But it's also getting late, so it's fine. But I really appreciate all the support today, guys. It was actually a really good stream. So we're going to chuck the host over to Battlesea. He's doing a campaign. Nakari, no money, no loss. Damn. Okay, we're going to chuck the host over to, uh, to Battlesea. So hopefully you guys... 
show him some support, help get him to, what's he up to now? He's at 9.5 thousand subscribers. See if you can get him to 10,000. Oh, I doubt we'll do that. It's, seems unlikely, but we'll see. All right, well, let me just get the host set up. Go and show a fellow creator some support, and I will come back soon. Uh, probably next live stream will also be a historical total war. Possibly Attila? We'll see. It could also be Rome 1. We'll see. Feel like having a Roman themed couple of weeks. We'll see. All right, cool. The host is set up. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Also, I want to point out I didn't lose any battles. <laughs> anyway, see you guys.